just got you feeling too much It's feeling too much for you Then all my love is gonna dance with someone Someone that shows love not to If all my love has got you feeling too much It's feeling too much for you
Welcome to the stream, everyone. Good to see you. It is brand new campaign day today. Brand new mod, as you guys are aware. We got some new stuff to do. Specifically, playing with the craziest mod Welcome I've seen. To the Himalayas. Not the Himalayas mod. Snorkel? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 don't worry. It's lemon. Thanks, Departed, for the resub at tier 3, my man. And yes, today, fantasy mod for sure. We're playing it. We're playing the Legends capable version of it that is uh, compatible. Because uh, the normal fantasy mod isn't compatible with Legends very much. So there's the nice patch that's been done, Abyss Cranes, given the. Uh, says the authors, your contributors, is Rio Rao and Wu Zhang. Wu Zhang, Jing Zhang, I, Jing, Jia Jing, Jin Jing. I can't say those names. I'm horrible. But uh, a very much big shout out for all those lovely people working on this mod. And uh, we're going to have lots of fun because we have a lot of new things to play with. And uh, I did a little bit of testing and it's pretty crazy. Pretty crazy stuff. So I'm I'm already loving some of the cool backgrounds and the builds that we could make. i am already got my mind going over 5 million possible builds we could possibly do. And I'm super keen to try and break this game. So <laughs> it's time to see what's OP, what's not. So welcome you all to the stream. And uh, glad to have you all here on a lovely Sunday that isn't delayed by hockey, which is good. Uh, they didn't need me today, although there was a chance that they could have, but they didn't. So everybody was nice and healthy. No one got sick, and they didn't need to sub me in today, which is good. Played some ago, wasn't too into it. Most were into the mod, mod Geomancer for the win. Of course, of course. Fancy Heroes is good. It is a good one. Now, I'm going to go with the Custom Heroes story. Now, they don't add very many origins in at all, and I think this is the only one they add in, which allows you to be very customizable with your start. You can have a ton of really, really strong characters to start with, or you can just start with one as an avatar. I had a look with a bunch of the avatars. I haven't seen all of them. I don't know all of the characters, uh, but I'm going to choose one of them specifically because I can understand that the mid to late game is going to be, or even like the early game, is going to be pretty tough regardless. So, uh, I won't do a spin for the starting custom hero. I'll, I'll choose the one, and I'll show you as to why I'm going to choose a certain one. It's not the most overpowered one. It's going to be the most helpful one, per se. So, we're going to go with Fantasy Brothers. And do we have, like, a nice fantasy sort of... Oh, dragon? Griffin thing? Yeah, the griffin kind of works. I never really used that one. If you were to be transported to BB, yeah. what background and build would you be snow? Chat join in as well. Hmm, that's a good question, Departed. And thanks for the 100 bits. What background and what build would I be? Oh, the Kraken's pretty good too. I think I'm gonna... Oh, the dragon! Why didn't I think of the dragon? The dragon's perfect. Which is also a Lindworm. Um... I would probably be a hybrid... No, would I be a hybrid? No, I'd be a throwing weapons build. And... What background's good for throwing weapons? Juggler, I guess? What background would I be? Yeah, I guess juggler throwing, because, you know, entertaining. Yeah, it'd probably work. Be a peasant. Yeah, jugglers are kind of peasants anyway, so, you know, it works. <laughs> kind of works. Uh, I agree with it. Most helpful is clear the snowbot. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Uh, staff build. <laughs> staff build. <laughs> uh, Orc Behemoth or Wildman? <laughs> that is... Juggler yeah. flail or throw when PTR. Juggler fail throw in PTR. I know, I know. You gotta go for those throw builds. Um, is the game crashing? That's a good question, Starphase. It started out fine for me last time. Come on, game. Don't do this to me. It is crashing. Well, that didn't happen in my testing. What did I change? Did I, I change the vision radius? Maybe I fixed that. Let's put back the old vision radius, deploy the mods, and start again. Because, yeah, I mean, that's not a good start. Clearly the banner was the fault. Yeah, maybe the banner was at fault. But I didn't change anything else when I started. 
Okay, let's go custom hero story again. Same ban- Surprisingly, the game gave me the same banner. That's some sorcery right there. Out of all of them? The game kept the same banner. It's gotta be the blessed run. I updated all my mods. Yep, my mods are all updated. Thank you for double checking. Trace this thanks to tier one gifted to Super Power Belly. Much appreciated, man. And it works! Okay, so it might have been the vision mod. That's weird. The vision mod's what it didn't like? I'm gonna go with the theory that it was maybe some sorcery. Um, and I'm not gonna try and blame the vision mod, but maybe. There's a slight chance. But, uh, it wasn't... Yeah, see, it's a lot, it's a lot faster load than it was the, the time... Yeah. Anyways... Aim with a reach weapon because I'm a wuss and can't aim with, and crap with a bow, says Arizona. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There's something safe in the back lines. Because Battle Brothers, you just die in it. It's crazy. Where's the spin? We're not even in the game yet, Karen. There's no spin just yet. <laughs> oh, hype train started. Stoko? <laughs> no, no, no. Don't worry. It's lemon. It's lemon indeed, Pope Salami. Thank you so much for the reset of Tyrion for two months, man. Long time VOD squad. Happy to catching a live stream. Glad to hear it, man. Glad you're enjoying the VODs as well, and welcome, welcome. Don't forget to join today's BB name list spinner. That is true, don't forget to join the name list before I start building the team, so you guys can be in on the love and wonderful enjoyment of being a member that dies in my party. So, uh, what's important to remember is we can choose any character and a lot of really crazy options. Now, I'm not going to choose these ones. Now, uh, let's go with the next page. We've got a bunch of these options. I've never seen what an elf does. Uh, I know what the other ones do. I think I... I don't know what a... Oh, no, I don't know what these four do. Yep, I do know what those are. And I think I know what all four... Though. Yep, I think I know all those four. The only one I don't know is the elf. But I do know all of those, except for the test. I never tried the test cheating one, and I tried the 12, which is hilarious. That's a bit too crazy. Uh, Sing, thanks for the... How many is that? Ten subs? Holy crap. Thank you so much. Contributing the hype train and uh, the support. Much appreciated. Uh, that is a sub for Jack Get Wet, Ludwig, Ludwig the Damned, uh, Dr. Babylon 98, Crank 9966, uh, Cess Hormoni, Hormoni, uh, Samuel Marston, Pidpad, The Morgus, The Morgus, Low Rider, uh, Erebos Chaos. Congra Chaos. Congratulations to all your subs and sing. Thank you so much for the generosity. Much appreciated. Choose the dwarf. Uh, I'm gonna choose royalty, surprisingly. I'm not gonna go with the test. Uh, royalty is the right start for us. Um, yes, exactly. Not because it's what I swore to destroy. It's because of the cool ability of royalty. I know, I know. We'll have peasants, but we have to choose royalty because, hear me out, Things are expensive in this game, and the royalty has a very cool passive ability. A very important passive ability to have on day one. Very important. 200 gold for every single battle you win, and 20 gold whenever you kill a human. And yes, whenever you choose this origin, the characters that you choose to add to your party get all the stars. So it's wonderful. This is the chosen one. I was supposed to be the chosen one. Exactly. The stars are always like that when you start the origin. But all the other characters you hire don't have those. Uh, Holy Crimson, thanks for the 500 bits, man. Much appreciated. Thank you for supporting the hype train and me and the channel. But yes, this guy's a bounty hunter. He's not really royalty. Even though... He's a royalty turned bounty hunter, pretty much. Um, now, there's he's got all of the, like, uh, noble traits. Noble... Uh, what should I call it? Noble perks. So, like, when you start with the Noble Origin... Who is our Royal? Who is the Royal? That's a good question. We will have to find out, because he is technically a player character, and we can't lose him. I don't really want to put myself in here, but if you guys really want me to be the Royal, you can try and push that. But I'll probably just give it to some random name list, which is fine. What's the third attack skill? Oh, this is a fun one. This is a fun third attack skill. You can bribe enemies. It's great. Thank you for the 500 bits, Drazes, for asking who's the Royal. And Scabbled 500 bits, thank you so much for supporting. Much appreciated as well. And the hype train's up to level 4, supposedly. Dre's this wants to be him. <laughs> the mod himself is trying to swing the votes. 
But yes, bribery to... I think this instantly kills an enemy or instantly makes an enemy flee for 200 bucks on a 70% success rate, but it uses all your action points. Which is pretty tempting, but not early game. Definitely not early game. This one, I've tried it, but I don't know how effective it is. It says, commands all allies to use shield wall, spear wall, and repost. But I think they have to be equipping either a shield, a spear, or a sword. Because I used it with other allies in my party. And I don't think they got the buff of any of those. So I think it has to be like specific weapons. Which is really nice. So like this guy can be like Go a support. Snowby our gambling king. Snowby our gambling king. Yes, the more gambling the win. Gotta keep it the gambling. Uh, but shields up and then there's push forward. Yes. So this is like the noble start where you have all the cool abilities to tactically guide your party. But also still have the power to join the party. Snow for royalty. Snow for royalty. <laughs> I appreciate the push for the royalty. Uh, I can take him under my wing to try and uh, appease the masses. I don't know what I'm building him. He's got everything good. Does he have mind over body? He does. He also has relax, which I don't really use too much. So he's got to be a mind over body build for sure. Not fencing. Lord Snow the Greedy. <laughs> Lord Snow the Greedy. Yeah, that'll work. Greedy mind over body. There we go. <laughs> I'll take him. I'll take him. And then all the other another characters you guys will get. So, now, hear me out. The reason as to why I chose this character first is obviously for the monetary reasons. But the reason for the monetary reasons is this game is going to be getting pretty hard. Uh, it definitely ramps up in difficulty. It's clear that the goalie, yeah, I gotta stop all the, save all the pucks, save all the bros. It ramps up in difficulty and... When I'm doing greed if I <laughs> Greed. Uh, where is it gonna spawn? Of course it spawns in the south. Okay. We're gonna live in the desert a lot, chat. But, uh... I want to be the right hand man for the King Kappa. Oh, you do want to be the right-handed man. Of course, of course. We have to get the recruits for that reasoning. But Fantasy Town is the new location that is added to the map as soon as you start the game. This is where you get all the new backgrounds. It can spawn anywhere amongst your vision. But unfortunately, it's spawned in the desert, so I'm going to have to somehow get down there safely. Um, yeah. That's where we get all the expensive bros. So all the new bros are like 3 to 5k or 3 to 6k. What about giving brothers titles if they earn it? Titles in names. Oh yeah, that's always been a thing, Departed. If you guys really need me to up your title or something and request it, like if you're like the person who killed the linworm, that's perfectly fine. When in doubt, greed it out. When will they hate you? Oh, no, 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 they don't hate you. No, no, no. Um, that's just a visual thing. They're red, but they don't hate you. They're perfectly neutral throughout the entire game. They're not going to ever hate you. For any reason. That's just a visual thing, so don't worry about that. But good question, regardless. Um, but yeah. So we're going to try and earn a lot of money, and it's going to be tricky. I need to make a melee build of some sorts. One-handed swords, dagger, polearm. Do I go melee polearm? I think I have to go melee polearm build. I don't like being meta. Looking forward to counting choice, how many 95% misses happen this run. <laughs> I agree, Pope Salami. Thanks for 200 bits. And Holy Departed and Dre's. Thanks for 100 bits as well, my man. Um, but then I can't buy that one on AoEs. Can I capitalize on AoEs with this? Mm. Then why would I go mind over body if I'm going pull arms? That's weird. No, Snow, the king doesn't fight. <laughs> yeah, the king doesn't really fight, does he? Do I go daggers? That doesn't sound right. There's not many weapon options, and I'm kind of sad. What pull arm in the game will let me do AoEs? I mean, I could go sword staff. Which does the AoE? Does he have berserk? He does... Some of these are a bit conjumbled, so... Like... There's a few in the different wrong spots, so I don't know if he does have Berserk. I don't think he does. If he did have Berserk, then it would still make sense. Holy Crimson, I do agree. Oh, Hype Train over. Thank you guys so much. Tactical Pulse, no. Yeah, probably that, Dre's. This probably I have to go with it. 
But thank you guys so much for the crazy support at the start of the stream. And uh, yeah, let's just get into it and try and build somewhat of a tactical pole snow, I guess. Enjoy all those emotes that you guys got added to your accounts, and uh, yeah. Greed is good. Oh, they didn't nerf Greed in this build, did they? Maybe not by two. Oh, no, they did. They kind of did. Yeah, I still think they they need to nerf Greed a little. <laughs> no, on the fencing sword. I just don't have the fencing perks. That's my sad part. One-handed sword build. Could just work. I could just go fencing perks. Fencing build. Without the fencing perks. Then I go alert, I go dodge, I go relentless. Where's relentless? What? No relentless. Okay, I guess I can live without relentless. Uh, steel brow is very important. Resilient. Uh, underdog. Uh, get rid of the... Fancy perks, because I'm pretty sure I can get more of them. Nimble, Mind Over Body, that's a 9, 10, 11. Uh, Duelist Killing Frenzy? Is that right? Do I get rid of Steel? No, but Steel Brass stops you from getting stunned, which is amazing. Because this is the Legends version where... I mean, it carries through to, to, to uh, Fantasy Bros, where you're still immune to stuns, which is very good. S-Stock as a two-handed... Because then I can give up on Duelist, and I can go S-Stock. That's not a bad idea. Oh, but then the problem with, um... problem with S-Stock is this is one-handed Sword Mastery, not two-handed Sword Mastery. Which is how Legends... I don't know why Legends did it. I'm going to be very honest, and I don't know why Legends split up one-handed swords and two-handed swords, but not any other weapons. It confuses me. Is this emote a horse or a hippo? Uh, that's a horse. Oh, wait, is it a horse? Or is it a hippo? No, that's a hippo. Because of the ears and the the little teeth. That's definitely a hippo. But it did look like a horse to start with, Depart. It definitely did. Go pull tactician. Mm. One-handed sword sounds... Oh, there's berserk. I'm blind. Oh, my goodness. No, I can go pull tactician with berserk. Yeah, that's fine. I can give up on Duelist. I can give up on... Do I give up on Dodge? No, because I'm going Frontliner. I could go Fearsome Mind Over Body? Perfect Fit with Mind Over Body? I don't have Perfect Fit. Welcome to the oh, I do! What the hell is it doing down in Tier 6? <laughs> no, 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 don't worry. It's Lemon. This is so confusing. I hate it when starting characters ruin the position of perks. Because then I just can't see them. I'm just visually blind. Scabble, thanks for the tier 1 resub for five months, man. Much appreciated. Glad you're enjoying. Uh, what do I go with? Uh, that is 12 perks. Okay, so I've done something wrong, and I've chosen Fearsome. Then... Do I ditch Resil... Mm. I don't know if I should make him a support. Also, give me one second shot. Gotta be right back. All good. Um, yeah, no. When it comes to the perks, I don't have any perk. I don't have enough perks to make the build, so I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to mute for a second. All good. I'm a silent as a mouse. Yeah, I'm the most silent snowman you've ever seen. Uh, I think I can give up on gifted because the stats are already good, right? And then I can just grab something else. But then I, I, I can't physically tell myself to give up on stats. Get the new money perk, Gifted, the Greed? Uh, hmm. No. These aren't new perks. These are perks we've had in the past, but I've never really used them. Uh, but 
I'm gonna go DPS. I'm gonna have to go gifted. I'm, I think I'm just gonna go gifted shot. Attack, defense, and then I'm gonna go with a five because that's a really good roll. Wait, 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 wait. Fortified mind for the eye of mind of a body, right? Right? And that makes these cheaper. I'm already doing these things as support. So I don't need these supports. But I have to ditch Gifted from Port on Mind, right? I have to. Avatar doesn't need Gifted. Well, he does! Everybody needs Gifted. He, they do! They just totally do. Okay, I'm gonna go with the health roll here. And I can't get Colossus, so I'm okay with this. Okay, we finally made a decision. That was that was tricky. Let's save up so I don't lose all that. Ah, uh, this is fantasy. Ah, Sunday fantasy. And then one more, and then we're good. You'll get gifted in the veteran levels. Yeah, that's true. You're probably right. I could. There we go. Do you want to write royal in your current run? Um, nah, it's fine. The Royal's not super fancy and key to the uh, run. It's just the start that I chose for. It's not. It is the. It's not really the origin. The origin is just we've chosen a bro. Royal will be just confusing if somebody comes in and reads that. Does it give it a little to anything? The avatar? Yeah, it does. It does. You'll still get the the stats and whatever. Okay, so we start up with twenty four hundred, which is not too amazing, but I need to start getting some easy quests. And some bros to start us out. So a caravan is good. But we need to start amassing money. Follow the tracks is big. I can earn so much money off of that. Cargo, not so much. Okay, can we get a good bro? Now, we will not see any new bros in town. There are no new bros here. We won't find any fancy backgrounds at all. The only way we can get fancy backgrounds, chat, like the royal, because I can get more royals. That's the thing. We can just stock up on royals. Only way is at Fantasy Town. Because that's where everything spawns in. There's some really cool weapons that I need to dash down there quickly to get. Because I really want to get some new weapons. Um, there's a really cool quest system. It's kind of like an arena, but it's a quest, but it is an arena. It's kind of weird. But it's kind of like a fancy arena with fancy enemies. Um, and you can earn a little bit of money there. And it slowly gets more difficult. And we can also buy really cool items. So that is this is where we need to hover around for like as much as we can to try and take the benefits of the new stuff. But for the most part, the rest of the game is kind of normal-ish. Except it's not, because there's new enemies and new locations to find. It's going to be a bit crazy, but we'll go and see what we can do. In the south, the indebted army is perfect area to hunt in. Yeah, if we can kill a lot of indebted Diagrin, we can start farming up the cash too, so we'll try and do that. And I know you want the spin, Karen, I know. But first I'll do a little bit of hiring, then we'll do some spinning. So what is on the market? I do like fishmongers. Double defense. Do I want that right away? Ooh, that's horrible. Uh, Militia's too expensive. Also, this is on the latest version of Legends, so this is still with the new development updates, kind of like how we're playing on Tuesday. So if any of these backgrounds look too expensive, kind of like the Militia... Uh, no, actually, we can't really blame the Militia. If anything looks different and weird, it's probably because of the new updates. Um, Fishmonger. No. Apprentice? No. Fishmonger. Why are my fishmongers betraying me? This is rare. I may have to just take this one. Shield expert, please? No shield expert. What? The double defense. Uh, I'm gonna try out the cheap gambler. No. Cheap widow? No. Okay, bad luck to start the stream like this. Another cheap widow. No. Grave roll. Okay, here we go. That took its time. I spent like 400, 350 bucks to look for a good bro. Don't you fail me, buddy. Don't you do it. Roll high. <laughs> Why? Why did you have to fail me, buddy? Rolled a 46. That's like one of the lowest rolls you can get. And then his range sucks as well. I don't think I can keep him. 
I know I spent the money. I'll consider maybe keeping him as fodder. Time for the crash sound effects. Yeah, exactly. I saved before this event, chat, so we can get away with it, right? Uh, maybe the caravan hand. No. Maybe the healer? No. Caravan hand? Double defense on a caravan hand maybe is worth it. Shield expert, he has it. So I'll take him. Washerwoman is probably better than that dude that we just had. The monk lady? <gasps> Golden nun, let's go! Uh, what else do we have? <coughs> Washer lady. No, okay. I've lost like two grand on a crappy grave digger. A caravan hand with two defense. But he has shield expert and he has other things. So he's kind of, yeah, he's a tank. And then a m none that has disappointed me in melee, but is also, a t I've got two tanks. And then a disappointment. Uh, <laughs> sure, why not? I won't count him out yet. I won't count him out. It's a meat shield. He's something. Technically, Lord Snow has to get all the kills in order to earn all the money, for the most part. I mean, not all the money. But we'll see what we can do and not get them killed in their first fight. Uh, how much are we paying per day? Oh, Lord Snow costs nothing because he's an avatar. I love that. Okay, I'm fine with this. Uh, food is bad, so we buy another piece of food. Nets could be okay for that backliner. That's true. You're right. I could make him a net person. Uh, but I think I just need to give them armor, chat. I think that's just, like, you know, the slight need that has to be met at this point in time. Also, some wooden spears wouldn't be bad. <laughs> we gotta start economically, somehow. Uh, do I have a pole arm? Is there a wooden pitchfork? There is not, so I'm gonna buy a net. Well, that's about it. So I put a net on this dude... Spear, shield, spear... Actually... Put a spear on this dude just in case, as an emergency. Armor, armor. Salvage that. I just need one more shield, and I think I'm gonna feel confident to fight Rabble. Go full price on that shield, it's worth it. Tank. Tank. I'm not feeling super confident, Lushkin, but welcome and thank you for the confidence boost. 33 range does look really crap, so I'm not saying no to that initial assessment. Uh, what are we doing? Lord Snow has no shield. Oh, I'm okay with that. He's got... Oh, I guess he does have six defense. No, Moha, you might be right. Maybe I should get him a shield. He is kind of important. 21. He's... Dr Why is he drunk? I mean, he's bright and strong, which is nice, but I didn't expect him to be drunk. Uh, that mean, I guess he just does more damage. Eh, it's fine. That's fine. This mod's on Discord? Oh, I didn't link it yet in my Discord, so I will link it... Probably should have linked it before the stream. I can just link it now. Where is the submod file? Here we go. Let's go and... I don't remember you link it to the discussion. Because if you lose the discussion, yeah, let's just do it like this. Um, dum -da -dum -da -dum -da -dum. Let's do it from here. Copy message link, I think, is correct. Net in the offhand? Uh, oh, yeah, because he doesn't have a shield. Yeah, yeah, net in the offhand is better. Good idea. Let's put this in the sub chat. So if you guys want to play this, this is the Legends version because you can't you can play this mod in vanilla, and just add it on. But it's important. Yeah, it's important to make sure you have the right one for the Legends version. Uh, as seen on no no not as seen as. Seen on Sunday's streams. Make sure to get the latest updates in the thread. There you go. So all you guys can now have an option. I can pin that. There we go. So you guys have an option to find this mod and play it yourselves. If you can find it on my Discord to find it somewhere else. Ask Seen. Yeah, Ask Seen, exactly. That's what you saw, for sure. You saw nothing else. Uh, but let's start getting these names in here, and then we can start doing some spins, because that is exactly what we need to start getting into. So, names up and running. Do, 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 
do. Uh, the spin claws should be behind the names there, so it doesn't get in the way. Yep, yeah, that's better. Uh, where's my name spinner? You guys have all added yourselves in, which is wonderful to see. Clear that up. How to Bros. Rise 50 battles, he gets a title from the king from his loyalty to the knighthood. <laughs> 50 battles? Oh man, that's gonna take some time. Maybe. Maybe something like that. I, I usually like giving out titles if, whenever it does happen, and whenever I remember to, uh, on, on based on, like, achievements. So, like, if you've killed a Lindworm, or you held off a giant army by yourself as a tank, and stuff like that. So, yeah, all that kind of cool stuff is a lot more... I think that's better than just being like, oh, I survived 50 battles. Because it's more impactful to be like, hey, I, I've done a really good contribution in this one certain way. But I do like your thinking to try and, like, push for something. And that's the way I sort of like to see it. Uh, but yes, let's get some BB gods and pray for some RNG chat. Because here comes the spins. Our very first person is the Caravan Hand, who is going to be a tank. Most likely pretty good because he's got decent stars for what he needs. And it's going to be... Rassiege. Welcome to the team, man. I promise that whenever you do die, it's not going to be my fault. Um, you're probably not going to die. Maybe. Maybe not. Um, but our crazy nun, who has got surprisingly good defense, and the skill in the melee was a little bit low, as was the other dude. But talented means we do have the option to getting gifted and, you know, somewhat tank ability. It'll work. And here we go. Like last time, so she has... Yeah, yeah, exactly, like last time. Uh, our new nun will be... Diagrin, welcome, welcome. We're not doing a staff build, but... There is a staff. Never mind. We will think about it. We'll think about it. Uh, it's AI because I, I'm typing too fast. There you go. Welcome to the team, man. Good to see you. Pash goes to joining the name list right at the last second. No worries. I'll add you in. One more chance to get in for this first crew. Then again, we might get better bros down the line, which is what we're hoping on. But welcome regardless. And uh, last but not least, to it's Ambi to be the support somewhat thing. <laughs> no, 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 don't worry. It's Lemon. This is the uh, fodder question mark, because I'm not entirely convinced. But welcome to the team regardless. And Pasco, thanks for the resub at Tier 1 for 14 months, man. How time flies indeed, but I'm glad you've been enjoying the entire time and still hanging around and in definitely being a part of it. Why is fodder in the back? He should be in the front of the king. I know, but I want the king to get the kills. I want the fodder to just be on, like, the flanks. It kind of kind of makes sense. That's how I kind of do it. Because I don't want people to die in front of the king and make him unhappy. You know, he's got to keep the ha king happy. But to be his shield, that's also, that's also an interesting thought. It is an interesting thought. But let's save up, and let's get the RNG spinner as well, so you guys can start buffing your lovely bros. Where is it? Yes, there we go. Was there a spin that I missed? I missed a spin? Oh god, it's a necro. Well, Fall the Tracks will be our first quest of the day, because that is going to be the moneymaker of all moneymakers. And Neob gets the first spin, combat at 20. Yeah, oh man, definitely combat at 20. And, oh, I forgot to test if the spin broke when it comes to spinning, spawning monsters. So we will have to see how that goes as it comes to day 20. Because I'm not entirely um, convinced that I can spawn in... I guess I can spawn in normal things and the game doesn't really break it. Maybe when it comes to monsters, it's going to be a problem. But we'll have to see. Uh, Neob, thanks for the spin, and uh, let's see what we get. Also, Morphin3, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Uh, Streamlabs, that took you a little bit too long. Thank you very much. Random events, okay. Indebted farming, yeah, we'll slowly head south for more indebted farming for sure. Uh, random events to start off. Interesting. Yeah, have a nice run. Thanks, man. We're gonna try to. We definitely have a lot ahead of us and a lot to enjoy. Catching a thief in the middle of the street is a good start. Twenty-five dollar dues. Uh, what else do we get? Oh, it's the glint in the sand. If we go for it, we can injure ourselves. It's a good chance to injure ourselves. I've never really succeeded in this without a miner or a tiny person. 
So I'm going to go and ditch that. I'm not going to get distracted by the loot chat. We're going for the actual loot we can get. Let's go. Hand it over. Hand over the ring, buddy. Hand over the ring. See, I go for results, Sev. As much as I'm a minor gambler in my current state, I go for the better results. That's the one. Oh, I'm happy with that. So we'll take those. We'll take those. I, I, it's our first fight. I don't want our, our, our lord to get injured. We can't. We can't risk it. It's Bandit Rabble. Okay, thank God. Because I did a different fight to try do some trial and error in this game. And by God, I did not want to tell you guys what happened. Um, so yeah, the early game might be difficult depending on how you approach it. So I'm just going to let you guys have a little bit of spoiler there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Lindworm appearing. Mm-hmm, L Lushkin, that... Not really exactly the case, but I know, good thinking along that line. Uh, Digrin, we need to... They're gonna hang back, aren't they? They got ranged. Of course they are. Showing the old man who's paw. Yeah, just beating up the old man as a Lord Snow, you know. We'll do that. Test the spim claws? <laughs> no, thank you. Oh, come on, 40% my ass on the main dude. Okay, I'm gonna rush them. Screw this. These guys have to learn to be dealt with. In we go. Kill. Maim. Destroy. Please tell me I'm faster. No, I'm... Of course not. Am I faster than any of them? What? 35% plus 40% do you need to be doing at this stage, Rat... Rassiege? You can't hit him on 45s and he hits you on a 35. Oh, no. That's not good. You know what? Maybe I need to use the net. That's kind of sad, but I think I need to use the net in a rabble fight. Oh, and the double scare by the hammer, dude. Blacksmith te techniques, he needs to die. Same with the dagger, dude. Oh, the dagger is almost dead, let's go. Good hits by Digrin. Now, Lord Snow, don't you freaking fail me. And I have the money coin sound, let's go! Snow, you beautiful thing, you killed him in one hit. I mean, you missed your first hit, which is not as beautiful, but that's okay. The Arming Sword does not fail me. Don't fail me again, Arming Sword. Wait, does he have... He has Hate Baylor. No, oh, that's gonna hurt. Don't fail me, Snow. Oh, but you have to hit him again. I knew I'd fail! Son of a... But I mean, I cut his leg muscles. That's okay. He's slower. Links, you haven't said much chat. Just say unknown for me. I don't have access to Link. I'm missing a Discord roll or something to see it. Uh, maybe refresh Arzo Discord? The link sends you to a... Oh, it sends you to the Legends Discord. I mean, the ones that I just put up recently. So if you're not in the Legends Discord, then you won't be able to access the links. Because it sends you to a chat spot in the Legends Discord. Yeah, that's the... Yeah, there. That, that's what I was thinking. I was like, wait a minute, that didn't sound right. But yeah... That sounds right if you're not in the right Discord, to have the link to another Discord. It doesn't let you bypass getting into another Discord. Yeah, that's, that's about it. Sev, thanks for the tier 1 gifted to Lushkin. Much appreciated, man. Thank you for the support. And congrats, Lushkin, on your gifted. Uh, Rassiege, you are staring down the barrel. You need to kill this dude. Oh, you hit him, let's go! Ambi, save him. Win this for me. Don't leave my heart on a string. Thank you. That's a good kill. Oh, we can win now. We can most certainly win now. Go. Win. And come back and tell me, because I love your stories. Oh, good stuff. Okay. Now all we have to do is make sure these guys don't escape. Okay, you're a jerk. And I need to steal the kills with Lord Snow to get extra money. No! 59%. And that missed. Wow, we are not doing well on our first fight. I'll tell you what. Stop him from running, Ambi! No! Wait, why did he run back? Okay, we got the money from Lord Snow. Uh, you're dying to a dagger, Rassiage. That's bad. I'm just gonna let you know that's not a good thing. What did he roll on you? 21. 
Of course he did. Ambi, don't fail me. Oh, he's not failing me with the 60%. Oh, come on. Lord Snow with the extra money. Poacher, come back here. Don't run away from me. Ambi, fourth time lucky. Fifth time lucky. Yes, there we go. Run him down. Oh no, he's probably going to die to the spears. Dang it. Wait! Okay, I got the... I, I got confused because the money sound happened after the end of the fight, even though I didn't get the kill. Because I get 200 bucks at the end of the fight, because of the royalty thing. Yep, that's fine. Was confused for a second, but I'm fine. Need to steal kills early game. Uh, Noble Lord to get a lot of early game cash. It means only the primaries get level up. Yeah, that's true. It could be rough. Also, the stream is struggling. Wait, what? Uh, is the stream struggling? It had just a momentary unstable... Okay, just a bit of... That's horrible. Chat, I think it's lagging. Is it? That was a bad little dip. Yep, lag. Yep, it's tanking at the moment. The town is alive with wild merriment and desperate jubilation. Desperate jubilation for sure, but for some reason the stream ain't happy. Mm-hmm. Oh, now it's gone unstable. Come on, this is the Battle Brothers night. This is when the stream shouldn't be lagging. Darn Australian internet, man. But that's a good quote, though. No, it's not you. Surprisingly, it's... Sometimes it's just a random viewer that struggles. But on a rare occasion, now recently, this has been weird. I think Twitch has been struggling within the last month. But I also slightly blame Australian internet too, so I don't know which one it is completely. Wow, it's really bad. Aussie internet is trash. Yeah, it can be. It's It's been being so good to me in the last handful of months. In the last year, but now it's just bad. Why is it so bad this month? Come on, catch yourself up, you darn internet. I don't know if it's my internet, though. Let's see. Close Trevor Shooter. No, I think it is my internet. Yeah, the goblins are eating the wires for sure. Yeah, it's gotta be the internet. Oh, wait, is it back up? Is it back up being useful for once? And man is trash. Well, sometimes it can be, but yeah, sometimes it's just a pain. Okay, that's a little bit better. That's better. Okay, it's back to green. There we go. Tell me when that's back to being good, chat, because it's good on my end, finally. Come on, go back to being stable, you darn thing. Is there a it spin is. that I missed? It is. I missed a spin? Oh, God, it's a necro. In an emergency star phase, that would be what I would do. But at the moment, it's now looking green. And it seems fine. So as long as it starts catching itself up, I think the stream just needs a second to catch up. It should be fine now. I don't know why it decided to have a, hit, a hiccup. I don't know why it started to be annoying. But I'm back in the menu. Hopefully you guys can see the menu. And Arzo did a nice spin, so we'll do that in a second. Uh, we did take some injuries from that last fight, which was really painful. But uh, just hopefully the stream is catch, caught back up. Yes, the good old gambling for sure. Definitely some good gambling to help this team start getting off its feet. Because obviously a legendary difficulty will make a difference. Definitely is. Did, I, did you say something? It, <laughs> nice try, Drays. This nice... Nice try. So, yeah, it's just delayed. Okay, that's good to hear that it's not too bad. But the stream just has to catch itself up. And if I refresh my things, that's going to be annoying. So I think, yeah, it's just going to take a little bit of seconds. This is kind of what happened with the Zelda streams, but now it's happening to the Battle Brothers streams, which is weird. Yeah, you better stay stable, you darn... 
Twitch and internet and everything. Yeah, blame Zelda. It's always that. <laughs> Though for some reason, I'm just blaming my internet because it just seems like the internet's having a problem. Yeah, I know the spin's there. I know the spin's there. I'm not completely delayed from seeing what you guys are saying, at least seemingly. Hopefully. But I'll do it in just a second. I did see that. Um, sorry, I'm just, like, distracted. Uh, Trippio2, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the stream, man. Oh, there we go. Okay. Resident Fine now seems to catch up. That's good. Thank you, Starface. Glad to hear it. It's all gone green. Everything's gone back to stable, which is... I just don't know why it does that. It's just frustrating. Five to ten seconds is not too bad. That's better. Five seconds is better. Yeah, that's good. So I'm glad it's cleaning itself up now. Uh, that's some permanent stats. So, Mr... Mr. Arzo, where would you like to see those stats go? I want to get none power going. Ah, not a bad choice. With the 47 and 7, we can start getting to do, actually do some damage. But also just getting that defense more up. Or, maybe even making go staff tank. If we, she gets a couple of more buffs, maybe I can consider staff tank. A weird idea, but maybe. Regardless, so Digrin, congratulations. Uh, dev tools. 51 and 10 from 47 and 8? 47 and 7. 48 and 7. I, I mix the 7s and 8s. Anyways, regardless. Good stuff. How's the nun's melee? Not really amazing, but she'll get there with a couple more buffs. Which is what we hope. Staff tank for the win. Yeah, that's that's what we're hoping for. So with all that, we got a decent amount of money from that, I think. What was the money we started with? Were we at like 400? Yeah, we were, weren't we? Nice. I'm just making sure that the mod works and it gives me the money I'm owed. <laughs> so we're back up to 951. That's pretty good. Pretty good indeed. What are all the stars on snow? It's crazy and rigged, Blood Mess. I know. It's way too rigged. But that's how the origin goes, so I'm not complaining in the slightest. Uh, I'm going to keep one of those. I'm now going to keep... Oh, i got to change my settings always. Whenever I start up and change up my mods, I have to reset the... This one. This one. Control shift left click. There we go. That's what I like saving it to. Uh... There we go. There we go. A little bit of extra armor along the way. And I think I go for the caravan? Where's Hermanshoff? He has a cripple and dead and need a juggler for entertainment as the king. I know I do. I'm going to go to Hermanshoff and then go over to Wollenfest. I'm going to start heading slightly south. I think that's the right play, chat. Ditch this quest. Screw that. Don't do a cargo. Uh, food's fine. Money's fine. We're only paying 20 bucks a day, so we're... We're at the very good stage of the game where I don't have to worry about money, and I can start amassing everything else I need to do. Uh, meds finds, ammos, tools, but I think I'm going to go for some more meds just because, and also get some injury repair, because I'm going to take some injuries a bit too often. So let's do it like that. Oh, wait, no. Three hour difference is not much, so I'm going to make everyone do meds. Yeah. It's always staff, you'll make it work, says Digrin. I know, I know. You're going to live and die with the lovely staff build. It's the only way. The only way. I think mod use is too much as power. I think you may be slightly onto something, Rassiage. <laughs> but you got to be careful. He's got the power. <laughs> oh, first ambition. Okay. Uh, what are we looking for? Battle standard? Uh, money isn't really what we want to start wasting on. We want to get the good backgrounds. I think beasts are going to be pretty common for us. Or eight contracts. No, no, eight contracts is better. I was almost tempted to go beasts, but let's go contracts. Staff tank or riot? Hey, hey, you get a couple more of those greens rolls, and then I might consider it. I gotta, gotta hold on to what can work at this point. He's got the power, indeed. Uh, nice bit of meds, nice bit of healing. And, uh, yeah, that's not too bad. A little bit of experience almost gets us level ups. Oh, so close. What's the quest? Uh, follow the tracks. Yes, that is a moneymaker right there. Hyres. Hmm, Ratcatcher? Hmm, Farmhand? No. 
Why are these ranged farmhands a thing? And sure shot getting, getting nerfed ever so slightly is not really a nerf. Uh, I don't even know. I'm just tempted to go for this poacher, but I don't have the money to, to convince myself I can do it. I'm not doing it. I'm not that insane, chat. I need to get food, though, so you guys don't starve. Or get upset at me for not feeding you. You know, whichever one comes first. Uh, I kind of want to get a pitchfork of some sorts. 26 bucks versus... Hmm. It's Herman's Hoff, not Herman Schoff. Did I say it wrong? Herman's Hoff. Oh, the SH. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whenever I say an SH, I, I link the SH better instead of the NS. Thank you, Mohawk. Herman's Hoff. Herman's Hoff. There we go. Professional hay throwers, exactly. Ready to get the Legend of Fantasy Bros? I got it linked on my uh, Discord at the moment. So it's in my Discord. And then you can find it in the Legends Discord, but it's easier if you go to my Discord to find it there, because then... You don't have to go searching in the Legends Discord. An elf is an archer with 10% damage and a special multi-shot attack that attacks up to three targets with a bow or penetrating shot with a crossbow. That sounds very similar to the... Goblin thing. Thank you. I've not tried the Elf Arzo. That's the only one I haven't tried. That sounds very similar to the Goblin. Because... Um, the Goblin has 10% damage with archers and does a piercing attack with his crossbow. So thanks for checking him out. So that that's weird that they both have the same thing to them. Very weird. Rabble before nightfall. Oh, actually, wait, nightfall's better. They have a single poacher. How bad can one poacher be? We'll be fine. We'll be fine. It's the same as in Snow's car. Yes, exactly. Snow's car. Not snow scar. Yes, yeah, snow car scar. That's what it is. Um I think I wait for them to get closer. But I can stab the dog with Diagram because he's got the high ground. Eliminate the danger. I know it's mainly the hammer and the daggers and the spears and all I mean they've got militia practice fudge. That's a lot of danger. Oh, big hit. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. I know I stole a kill with Rassy Edge, but 20 bucks is not worth the dying. Perfect. That was beautiful. Ambi starts scaring things and gets a kill. Let's go. This is a good formation shot. This is a good formation. And now it's broken because he ran above me. <laughs> you jerk. Hello? Hello? 35%? What? I'm sorry, what? Also, why do I only have 20 armor on Lord Snow? That's not good. 35% what? And I can't hit 65s? Are you kidding me? I, I have this OP spin, character. I missed. I missed a spin. Oh god, it's a necro. That's four 65s missed in a row. No, okay, I think we're dead shot. There's no way we win this. Unless Rassiage carries us. That's not enough. We lose. We dodge 250s. We win! There's... We win! Oh my freaking goodness. Unless I got sniped by 5% there. Oh my goodness. It's over. That one speed tie that Lord Snow just barely beat and dodged to 50%. There's no way. Oh, 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 oh. Also, I might get Lord Snow killed here. That's a problem. 9% my ass. What do you mean 9%? And he's bleeding too. What? Ambi's faster. 
No, but then Ambi can't bandage him because he's in melee. What? I can't bandage him because he's in melee. That is dumb. I can't bandage him myself. Because now he's fleeing. Mm. I know I missed a spin, but it's not for combat, Star Phase. It's not for combat. How can I win this? I'm just gonna have to hope he gets struck down. Oh, he's dead. It's over. Come on! Come on! That's so dumb! 9% my ass! For 20 exact damage. That's like a high- that's a max roll. No, 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 that's a max roll, chat. Festering fear consumes the mind. What a chance on that. Because in my honest opinion, chat, that dagger can only do 10 to 20 damage, can't it? I need- I need the science. I need the science. That dagger can only do 10 to 20. Where is it? 15 to 25. Okay, no, it can do more. So it rolled a 20 damage on a 9... 9%. So there's a 50% chance on a 9% that it wouldn't kill me. And there's a 50% chance on a 9% that it would kill me. <sighs> Come on. Come on. Oh, we have to reset. <laughs> so round two, chat. Round two. Different avatar? Well, I mean, we could. We could try a different avatar. Because... <sighs> the Zelda stream, but what a great way to start the Sunday stream. I know, Nykrix, what a great way to start. Oh, uh, what's another good choice? I wanted the dude for money. Like, I know I need so much money in this run. I need a lot of money to get good in this. None of the other dudes get you money. Hobgoblin, that's the one I was remembering that was good at ranged. 12 people? No, no, 12 people is too much. 12 people is way too much. It's 12 of the exact same. Hmm. You know what, chat? I'll poll it. You guys can have options. You guys can have options. Which avatar to start? Because you're going to see something new. There's so many cool avatars in the game. I'm going to choose a few that I think are good. Uh, which ones do I want to play with? I think the druid is freaking OP. The Druid is a really good start. Uh, Royalty is really good for money, but obviously we just died to stupidity there. Uh, I don't like the Necromancer very much. I think the Baku is disgusting. Uh, what else is there? Uh, I'll give you a little rundown of each one, because some of these names don't make a difference to what you guys think they are, because reading the name doesn't make sense to what the build is and what, how good they are. Uh, I think Wizard's a cool start. Uh, Pyro's pretty good. Oh, Amazon's my favorite, and you'll know why. It's one of my favorites. Uh, what else do I think is really good? Uh, Wolf Knight's interesting. Spell Sword's pretty interesting, too. I'm kind of interested in Enchant Enchantress because she's pretty strong, but she's just... Oh, let's go Fight Master. Let's go Fight Master. Okay. Okay, so these are the cha choices, chat, and I'll explain the choices so you guys don't just pick on a name that doesn't make sense. So, our five choices are Druid. Druid is the support character that does the root abilities, plus he's got some other really strong ones, and he also can get us a bear eventually. So that's a nice little rundown of the Druid. The Baku is a beast person, so it's basically a furry. Uh, has an insanely strong ability to do tons of damage, but it takes a 30% a off the durability of your weapon, so it does like a big big hit. So playing with quick hands is probably the best way to have multiple weapons. Uh, Wizard is really cool because he's got three magical spells that do some pretty good AoE, and he's pretty strong for that. Amazon is the throwing expert. Literal throwing expert in the game does insane throwing weapon damage. And the fight master is the unarmed dude that will do some good unarmed damage. So, these are your five options. Very difficult options for you guys to choose from. Amazon is Muscle Mommy. Amazon is Muscle Mommy, and she does have throwing weapons. So, that is the fun part. So, see what you think, chat. 
And uh, Hobgoblin is ranged. Jotun is the Ice Giant. Uh, Jotun Ice Giant is kind of like an unhold because he throws people behind him. But I don't really think that's amazing. But th there's many options, chat. And uh, all these five, I think, are really good fun ones. I also think... What else is there? Shamans are pretty cool. Wulins are... I don't really like the Wulins as much. Uh, Immortals and Ghouls, I don't really seem them to be amazing as well. Immortals just are like kind of like skeletons, but they don't have the health problem. Uh, spell Swords and Wolf Knights are really good. But yeah. Muscle Mommy Snow. <laughs> yeah. I said the word furry, I've been summoned, says Lushkin. <laughs> no, I didn't say you. I was saying Bakus are basically furries. They're beast people, supposedly. And uh, they have a really strong melee attack. Really strong. It's disgusting. But you can't do it too often, it's really expensive for them to do it. But I think it is decided. I think everyone wants Snow to be Muscle Mommy at the moment. In the Zelda streams and in the Battle Brothers streams. <laughs> Did we restart? Yeah, we had to restart Scabbled because uh, we died. On a 9%, 50% gamble. It wasn't even a gamble, it was just... Oh, it wasn't a gamble. It wasn't a gamble. It was the end of the fight. And we also had to cut stupid artery. <sighs> and we lost the 33% chance to be struck down. So it was a 9% on a 50% on a 33%, and we lost all of those rolls at the same time. I don't know why I'm cursed. I don't. But somehow I am, and this is my life. But, fair enough. Let's go start yet. Yeah, you guys are ready for the Amazon? I'll show you how amazing she is. So, Amazon Start, which is the character I love the most, because, look at that beautiful thing. Esclarmond, which is a very interesting name, uh, has extra bonus damage whenever you're using axes, javelins, and throwing spears. And, chat, because you guys love throwing bolas so much, she actually is viable for using throwing bolas in late game. In early game, not so much. But in late game, amazing. She's got bad lungs, you guys can fix that. Uh, we'll fix that later. Sad that she starts with bad lungs, but she'll be fine. But there we go, we've got the amazing bolas. Now, she also has this ability, regardless of what weapon she wields. Holy Spear has a 100% chance to hit when somebody's wielding a shield. Yeah. That is beautiful. That is a lot of damage. Very good against armor. 111 damage to armor, 74 damage to hit points. Compared to your normal javelin, which does nothing. Now, this is the uh, ability you have whenever you have a throwing weapon. This is the... Not the, not the spike bolas. The spike bolas get the crazy damage and a different thing. But if you have axes, javelins, and throwing spears, you get the goddess strike. And the Goddess Strike allows you to do uh, a little bit of bonus damage instead of just normally throwing your Javelin. And it also uses your Melee Scat if you want to as well. Actually, no, it's not throwing Javelins, it's hitting in Melee. Yeah, you can stab someone with your Javelin, that's what it is. Yeah, yeah, sorry. So if you want to be in Melee with the... So she can be like a hybrid build because of this. It's weird. So I think I build her as Japan... not Japanese. Why did I is read Pro Vissi's... I missed a spin? <laughs> <laughs> oh god, it's a necro. I read Probissi's comment in my mind as I was explaining how I wanted to build her. Because you guys said Valkyrie Mommy in Japanese. And I was like, I'm going to build her Japanese. I'm like, that doesn't make any sense. Now I'm going to build her maybe hybrid. There's a chance for hybrid. Um, Because of this ability. But the problem is it says it might use a weapon to stab in melee. And if it uses one of the charges of your throwing weapon to stab in melee, I'm not super happy about that. I could build her Japanese for sure. Um, but yes, there is a spin that I did miss. I know Bavarian spin now, and I had to spin Drazus' spin from 10 minutes ago. So I'll do that as well. And then I already did Arzo's previously, so let's go for that. Uh, I think I'm just going to build her as a throwing build. I don't want to build hybrid. Even though she has so many stats. Uh, she does get just normal perks, so it's nothing fancy. I can make her super fast. I can go Wind Reader, which is the better way to go. Wind Reader into Bags and Belts, Quick Hands into... don't think I should go Rebound. I think I go Recover, Muscularity, because she's going to be Muscle Mommy for sure. Nimble... Duelist? Yeah, Duelist works! Holy crap, Duelist is amazing. Close Combat Archers, then go um, re-range defense. 
Uh, Berserk's pretty disgusting. That's 10 perks and I'm out of perks. How am I out of perks already? Was there any other perk I needed? Hit chance on Javelins. She's already got insane stats, so she doesn't need it. Any other damage that I've missed? Killing Frenzy? There's no Killing Frenzy. Hmm, I think I'm okay with this build. Do I even need the Colossus Muscularity? Not really. I could ditch Colossus Muscularity for something else. But I'm gonna be honest and say there's not much else I need. She's already good as she is. Yeah, no, Colossus Muscularity's fine. Yeah, yeah, we're fine. Oh, Throwing Mastery! Oh, fudge, you're right, Rassi, it's Throwing Mastery. Hmm, that's a problem. So what do I ditch now? Yeah, I need Throwing Mastery. I forgot about Throwing Mastery. There's no opportunity. opportunities. What's bottom right? Bottom right's Freedom of Movement. Uh, the one that other doesn't look make sense is the Evasion. Uh, so the, there's no new perks, per se, on these bros half the time. But we'll see how it goes. What's the last perk on the right? Oh, that's Adrenaline. That's... I already answered your question there, Barlow. That's Freedom of Movement. What's Wind Reader again? The one that gives you range defense is range skill. Uh, what do I do? Do I ditch Colossus? I think I ditch Colossus and keep Muscularity just so it keeps me a little bit of health. as the bonus. Anticipation. No, she doesn't need it. She doesn't even need Piercing Shot. Everything else is important here. This is more glass cannon if I go muscularity. But it does give me 7 extra damage, and that's kind of important. Yeah, I kind of need it. Okay, so this is the build. Uh, we'll go with... You guys were suggesting Snow Wife. <laughs> That'll work. I'll quickly save, just so I don't lose the progress of me starting with this character. And then we've got, what title? We've got the Snow Muscle Mommy. That, that'll work too. Snow Muscle Mom. It's got to run out of type. Uh, and then we've got our throw build. Because that's more important. No health but dodge and freedom movement. Oh, uh, I could, but then she's not going to get hit. Having nimble's all she needs. Snow Mommy. Yeah, Snow Mommy for sure. <laughs> Thanks, Holy Crimson. What's next to Wind Reader? Oh, that's Heightened Reflexes. That's the one that converts your range defense into initiative. This is the one that converts ranged defense into uh, ranged attack. Wind Raider is a lot better than uh, Heightened Reflexes, unless you're building dodge. And then Heightened Reflex is really good for a dodge, overwhelm sort of build. But I never really use this perk. Like, this is a good perk. I just never have the stats that can justify the use of this perk. That's my problem. Uh, let's go recover to start with. Four, five, and... Fatigue? I'll jump between fatigue and health, and therefore that's going to give me muscularity. So then I can justify doing what I'm doing. Yep, that's fine. Uh, I'll use this shield on some new bro that I hire. It's fine if she's a glass cannon. Should be, should be in the front. No, 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 she's not going to be in the front. That's the, that's the best part about throwing builds. She'll be fine. Resolve's bad. Ah, she'll live. She'll live. She'll make everyone else work for her. So we'll go for the spin so I don't forget. That is Drazus's... Oh, no, no. I need to get the... Look at new recruits. New recruits first. Also, let's see where... Fancy Town spawned literally next to us. That's perfect. This is such a good zone. Okay, chat. This is the blessed run. The blessed run. Uh, let's see. Please be a good bro. Mm, no. Cheap Taylor? No. No. Maybe rat catcher? No. Oh, fishmonger with uh, paranoid and defense and sh no shield expert. Grave robber, no. Widow. Oh, widow with tree attack. Yep, I'll take that. Uh, cheap, no. Expensive, no. Pit pocket, triple defense, yes. Please tell me you have shields. God, why don't pit pockets use shields? They're the best tanks. That's frustrating. Double attack, rat catcher. Yes, please. 
That was a lot of backgrounds here. Holy crap. Monk? No. Staff tank. I know you want a staff tank, but your staff tank died. Maybe the rat catcher could be a staff tank. Maybe. Washerwoman with plus one. Mm -hmm, maybe. Cheap fisherman. Holy crap. No, he's not worth it. Can I make staff tank out of this? No staff mastery. Look at that. No staff mastery, no shield mastery when it comes to the pit pocket. Maybe I just have to go triple defense regardless. That's sad. I mean, let's have a look at who we have first. Okay, that wood widow is amazing. Widows can be sometimes very weird and strong. Uh, horrible defense, though, so have fun with that. Ratcatcher is garbage. Holy crap, how did you roll a 42? How is that physically possible? I don't even think that's possible. What? You died, I didn't, says Digrin. Well, that is technically true. I died and let you guys free on the world. How is this rat catcher so bad? Widow polearm 100%. This is 100% a polearm brother, and she doesn't have it. So she's going to be a reach mace, reach hammer, or reach cleaver. Well, probably reach cleaver. I do like reach cleavers. There's something wrong with this rat catcher. That's not normal. Uh, he's got to go. He's just completely useless. No, I can't risk it for him. Uh, I'm going to go for maybe the other rat cat. Why do they have a ranged attack? I don't know. Uh, oh, fudge. I'm going to try the pit pocket just because the pit pocket is going to be reliable. Yeah, fodder, but I just... There we go. Pit pocket with six base defense. Okay, pit pocket's good. Definitely a good pickup. No shields, no nothing, but I can somehow do a dodge build with them. Dodge, Relentless, Underdog. Pathfinder, Alert, Recover. No, maybe not Recover. Resilient, something, something. That'll work, that'll work. And then, last but not least, I want one more, because I still have a teeny bit of money. Do I try the Rat Catcher with the one attack? Do I have an alternative? I have the Dexterous Fisherman... I have... No, no, the Fishmonger. The one attack, the one defense with the Paranoid. This is probably the best choice. I could go next town, but I think that's the best choice. Yeah, none of these are really instilling confidence in me as much. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the $200 dude. Please, Gerdig, don't fail me. He's good enough. He's good enough. I can work with this. So I've got two frontliners, two backliners. Yeah, I'm okay with that. He's not amazing, but he works. Best worst choice. Sorry I've got out of work, how dare you? I know, Legion, I know. But welcome to the stream, man. Is that type of mod pack? Yeah, it's pretty crazy. It is pretty crazy. It's already the second try. Yep. Well, it's because we got unlucky. That's that's my excuse. It's definitely the right excuse. Uh, but let's start uh, naming the dudes and doing the spins, because we want to get in here and Was there a have... spin that I missed? I missed a spin? Oh, God, it's a necro. I know I missed a spin. I have three spins stocked up that I need to get into. Thank you for the spin, though, Sako. Okay, in the way with the name. Let's go. Good timing, for sure. Uh, it is going to be the Fishmonger, who is a half-decent frontliner, some sort of off-tank, some sort of frontlining, something. This is going to be... Well, you came right on time, Legion. Holy crap. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. How on earth? That is so rigged. Uh, welcome to the team. <laughs> he pops into the stream. How's the run going? Oh, I got a character. Hey, great timing. <laughs> oh, you can't predict it any better than that. Well, next up is the crazy high defense pit pocket. Let's see who that is. Your first pick on the animal run too. Was that right? Oh, you were. You were one of the first picks on the... I don't know if you were the first pick completely, but you were one of the first picks with the hyena as well, Legion. Damn, how much are you paying me? I don't know. Maybe I should get some money out of you. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. 
Superpower Belly, there you go. Congratulations on the insane defense there. I see Legion wasting some extra points. There you go, there you go. He's he's definitely paying me in snowballs. Uh, super power Belly, my man. Happy to have you as the tank. Uh, muscle Mom's here, and then we've got the Crazy Attack Widow. Plenty of opportunities there. Can Diagran get one? Here we go. Diagran, it's going to be you. Totally. This is going to be your character. It was really close. I'm sure it was. Blood Mess, welcome to the team. <laughs> I couldn't rig it that hard, unfortunately. I didn't have the power. Uh, this is pole arm build. Pole arm some sort. Oh, this is reach. Just reach. Because I don't have pole arm mastery. I have the other ones. Uh, but that is the team for the time being. But we'll get into that in a second. We need to quickly save. And start doing the spins that I owe. I tried, Departed. I tried. Uh, Streamlabs, wake up. There we go. Good Streamlabs. That's a free heal. We don't need that. It's the start of the game. We could have used that so we didn't die. Uh, that's a level up. Let's take that. I will take that to the bank. Uh, I think Muscle Mom might need the level up the most out of that. And this is Drazus' spin player. Yep. I'm gonna go for the player character. Yep, good call, good call. So, Mom is now level 3, extra stats, very important. Do I go for the health roll? Either of these are fine. Let's go for the health roll this time. 80 health is good, quick hands is good. Next spin is... Not Sokka's, it is Bavarian's. Yes, Bavarian, what do we got? Something to help the throwing team. A random events. Okay, they could be good. Ten tools. Great start. No, 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 no. Don't do that, Bavarian. That... It's a new mod. I don't know the capabilities of its crashes. Don't keep me on edge. <laughs> the stars on the main character seem confuse me in the damn OP, but it's so much fun. Yeah, but then when you start seeing the late game enemies, Blood Mess, you're gonna realize that we do need it. It's kind of like how we played Abyss Crane's mod, and we're like, hey, these characters are pretty strong, Abyss Crane's so generous, and then we verse the monsters, and we're like, yeah, maybe he should have been more generous. <laughs> oh, the boy climbing up a tree, let's help him, chat. Yes, Muscle Mom! Muscle Mom decided to start with a crippled kid, chat! Let's freaking go! This is the way we start our runs. This is the blessed run, 100%. The kid's down, crippled for life. It's perfect. Uh, now, all we need to do is win this run. Snow's now mom, it's snow mom. Blessed run, blessed run. Last event, but not least, we will steal from the cart and get three extra tools. Perfect. What a blessed run. Let's now spin for the third time for Mr. Sokka. Which I do believe is the person that is... Yeah, it's Sokka's spin. Now we know why she's Muscle Mommy. Yeah, it breaks everything. Uh, that's a positive trait. Let's go. Where would you like to see that positive trait, Sokka? Four opportunities. Four bros to go. And a positive trait can be helpful for sure. Give it to the player character. Oh, we are buffing Muscle Mom for sure. Let's go for it. Uh, we have Bright, Asthmatic, and Brave. No freaking way. Sokka, no way. There's no way we get freaking sure shot on a throwing build on a player character. That's amazing. That's exactly what this build needs. It doesn't need accuracy, it needs damage. And that's the only trait in the game that's gonna give us damage. Yeah, we'll fix the asthmatic later, just ignore that. That is like the only one that's gonna really buff us the most. We got the best trait for the character. This is the blessed run. I can't die now, chat. There's no way I'm allowed to die in this run. We have to go. And the fact that we have the fantasy town like literally next door to us, this is the perfect run. Okay, let's get into it. Where's follow tracks to start with? Yes, please. What else are you offering? A delivery? Maybe, unless if it's really close. Maybe. 
I'm going to caravan to go two days to the desert. Maybe, maybe. We'll see. What does morale decrease for the company do? Literally nothing. Almost literally nothing, Pope Salami. So if you start making people hate you and thinking you're complete villains in this game, it does nothing. So reputation system is something you can completely ignore when you're playing even vanilla Battle Brothers. It's worth it. It's worth just being ignored. Completely ignored. Of all the tracks will be good for us whilst I quickly stock us up on some armor. Can't forget that. 100 bucks for an armor that can be... Oh, yes. Let's go. 28 bucks. Weapons. Uh, I'm going to buy a staff, maybe? Let's bless this run with a staff. Let's bless it with some shields. Uh, wait. I only need one of those. No, no, no. I can use Muscle Mom to have the... Wow, she's got good armor. Um, let's give Superpower Belly that. Upgrade Legion. Give a staff to Blood Mess. Then I need to give Helmets, which is 54 bucks. 78. Wait, I didn't need this one. Okay, then I can sell that back for its full price. No? I sold the wrong one back. There we are, 78. Now I need to make sure I don't go too low on my money. That's important. I need to get 78 bucks. That's important. Uh, upgrade Legion gets a knife to mock someone. Yeah, gotta get the knife. Muscle Mom must have huge as a trait. Yeah, that's trait. Huge can give 5%. 5% range damage. Uh, sure Shot's better than huge, but huge, I forgot, Dow does give 5%. So we might need to get huge next. That is the goal. Uh, I think Blood Mess doesn't need any better armor. He'll be fine. 50, 55, 30. 30 and 100. I think this is good. I think we're ready for a fight. I think we should repair these quickly before we go fight. But let's do it. Save and continue. Uh, we save up here. Camp for literally two seconds. No, 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 I click this. Two seconds, one med, and we're ready. Uh, exclamation mods. There you go. I have it all linked in Discord. I don't have the mod list in Discord just yet. But I have the link to it in the sub-mod chat. And it's got a cooldown, so you guys can't spam it, that's why. <laughs> Does Drunk give range damage? No. Drunk just gives 10% melee damage, as far as I can remember. I don't think it gives ranged. Uh, where's the tracks going? We are going southeast. Now, I know it's a poacher, but we can fight during the day. We'll be fine. Exclamation mark timer. I, I, there's no command for the timer. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's a stupid bow, dude. Ah, uh, daggers. Can we win with daggers, chat? Yeah, if we can accurately hit, then we'll be fine. How does one spell spin claws? That's how you spell it. Did you not know? Oh, I forgot to give Muscle Mom a weapon. Nah, she won't miss her... She won't miss. There's no way she misses Chuck. What games does this diminutive fool play at now? Is this a spin? Oh, God, it's a necro. There's no way she misses. Let's go, Snow Mom. Stream title says it's spim claws. Yeah, yeah, it says spim claws. That's how you. That's how you type it. Speaking of spins, yeah, we'll hopefully not have to worry about. Oh, he's on four health. Why was that a headshot, Legion? Legion, that's meant to be a body shot. What are you doing? Forty six and blood mess misses. Okay, this is a bit of a rough fight. Come on, stab him. Let's go, superpower belly. Let's go with the double dagger forty. Let's go. Beautifully done. Oh, he walks back up anyways. That's going to be annoying. Come on, come on. Don't do it. Stupid 42%. 52%. Don't. How are you faster? How? You're on four health and you have stabbed freaking guts. How are you faster? Hmm. Love this game. 
I love this game. This game does not disappoint me. Son of a freaking biscuit chat. Thank you, Snowmom, for finally getting those kills. How did he... If you didn't hit him in the head, Legion, we would have been fine. Also, I got stunned. Really? Really. Oh, we might lose this fight. Why am I losing to Rabble, chat? I hate the Rabble got buffed. I absolutely hate it. 90%. 48%? Really? You know what, chat? Snow Muscle Mom is gonna carry it. She's out of ammunition. Son of a biscuit. I need to pick up a weapon off the floor. There's a, there's a cleaver. There's a cleaver on the floor. Come on, Super Power Belly, how did that not kill? You did 18 damage when you can roll 16 to 38. Why am I cursed? What kind of number is that? Oh, of course you missed the second hit. <laughs> I need to pick up this weapon. Wait, I can throw the spear without having a spear in my hand? There's a chance I win this. I rolled a 56. This is the blessed run. Don't you fear me. Don't you do it. Double 35s is not enough because I'm rolling 81s and 82s. Come on. Come on. I can do this. 37 my ass. No! The stun on a 30%. I can't hit... Come on. No. Uh, I need to hit you back, buddy. I need to go here, and we win! Let's freaking go. No, you can't come back, you stupid... Okay, okay. No, that didn't make him flee. He's faster than Snow Mom. Doesn't... Make a difference because I'm missing 58s. He rallies. What do you mean he rallies? These are rabble. Yes, let's go. Yes, let's do it. No, the freaking 5% my ass. 5%, what are you freaking doing to me? Kill him. Can I scare him? No, it's not possible. Don't you dare hit me. Don't you dare think about hitting me. Come on! He needs to die! Now! No! He's too exhausted. He's too exhausted! He can't do anything with a deep abdominal cut and he's dead! Flee from me! Flee from me! Yeah, I'm not chasing you. I'm not doing it. Oh boy, that was painful. I lost two bros. Damn it! Big win, though. Absolutely big win for the fight that we struggled too much in. Like, we could have... Like, Legion didn't have to die. That's the thing. The whimpering dog flees to his kennel. <laughs> He's just a hyena. He's not really a dog. <laughs> oh, where's your spin hated? Oh, no, no, we don't do the combat spins until day 20. Sorry, man. We have to hold off on it because it's a bit too much. Um... But Legion didn't have to die. If he didn't get a headshot, Legion, if you went for a body shot instead of a headshot, you could have literally killed him. You literally could have killed the dude that killed you and set you up for failure if you didn't headshot. A body shot could have saved your life, but you had a 100% headshot chance in your entire life, and that's what failed you. That fight would have been so much easier if you didn't hit a freaking headshot. We already had the party wipe earlier, hated, but welcome, welcome. Oh boy, what a fight. But Muscle Mom with the damage, holy crap. Number one. Well done. Oh, she's gonna hold on to the cleaver in case of emergencies to switch back into melee. Uh, I'm gonna put the... is the hammer better than the dagger? No, the dagger is better. No, hammer's better. 
Keep the dagger in the back pocket. So it's just the two of us against the world, isn't it, Super Power Billy? Yep. Regardless, uh, I think we can make it. With the extra money, we gotta go hire someone new, though. <laughs> That's the hard part. We'll go and do the spin right now, though, Hated, and see what luck we can get for the party after that difficult fight. No, not load, save. There we go, save. There we go. Tough losses, though, I'm gonna be honest. Didn't want to lose those bros. <gasps> that was almost yellow. That would have been nice. That would have been nice. But it's red, which means we can finally get rid of the asthmatic. And I'm okay with that. Not like it makes a big enough difference, but I'm okay with getting rid of asthmatic. Oh, it's on the wrong side of her. I'm gonna have to take a couple of restarts on this. Both? It's not both, chat. You can clearly see it's in the red. And now I accidentally let go of it. There we go. I know you guys want it. I know you want it. But the asthmatic's gotta go. And that's the only buff we're getting. Red like your neck. <laughs> I've never been called a redneck, but I do appreciate the try. Oh, uh, is there anybody in here that I actually cared about? No. No, I can't get any more dudes. Maybe I care about the rat catcher for 100 bucks? I mean, he's really fast. Maybe I just don't risk it. But he's five bucks a day. You know what? He's worth the risk. 53 is actually pretty good. Eh, it could have been better with the stats. But he's not the worst. Is Back to Basics what I think it is? Yes, yeah, the, the Legends one. Eh, we can make him a spear build. It's a yellow. Someone's taking this really seriously. That last one had his clarinet in it. Are you trying to bribe me, Mr. Holy Crimson? Are you trying? Because you're slightly working on it. I appreciate the thousand bits, man. <laughs> appreciate it a lot. Uh, we can turn this guy into a spear dude and it'll actually kind of work, so it's not, not the worst in the world. Drazus, welcome back. We lost a few bros. Um, <laughs> at least you're blatantly obvious and uh, honest with it. Yes. <laughs> thanks, thanks, Holy Crimson. <laughs> I appreciate the honesty. Uh, <laughs> definitely looked yellow to you on your spin. Yeah, yeah, totally. It definitely did. I'm glad you guys have some color blindness more today than usual. Going back to capitalism. Mm hmm. We are going back to capitalism. Fame throwing up his. You're trying to convince me, and... It's not Rick, he's a hoser. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hoser's Canadian, yes, that's right. Yeah, hoser, for sure. Who died? Legion and Blood Mess both died, unfortunately. We do have a name spin for the brand new bro, so that's the most important one to get started. And uh, we have to add some new names to the list. And I am slightly considering the bribery. Buy-ins win. Yeah, see, you guys will keep trying to bribe me for more things like buy-ins. I know, it's too much, too much indeed. Sumblezade. Oh, welcome to the team, my man. Was there a spin that I missed? I missed a spin? Oh, Now okay. I'm rigging the name spin. You are rigging it indeed. Did I spell that correctly? I did. There you go. Welcome to the team. We have ourselves a spear question mark build. Nice. Wasn't fast enough. I know you tried. You tried. It was almost El Tafeta or Sharador. Very close. Very close indeed. Thanks for the 100 bits, man. <laughs> and Sev goes for a spin. Perfect timing, man. Perfect timing. It's not going to be yellow this time, though. It's pink. Snow, it was in the middle of the line. Just accept it. Are you commenting on my eyesight as well as colorblindness, Legion? Man, I, do, I am overdue for my eye doctor appointment. Just the, you know, like the yearly checkup thing. I am overdue. Maybe it was. Maybe it was on the line. Hmm. <laughs> Sumblezade has something up his sleeve. We can pick up, we can beat up some kids again and take the cat out of the tree. 
No! No, you helped the cat as a rat catcher. I forgot. But you did it differently, so you get permanent stats. So I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I didn't get to maim the kid, but I got away with getting free stats. So, that's eh, alright. Some of Zade suffers a broken nose. Okay, for glasses. Oh, thousand. It's for glasses. I have glasses. I don't need glasses. I have glasses. But thank you for the thousand bits, Legion. Oh, now I can read what you said. Oh, there it is. It says F O. I think that's an R G I A asses. For, for G I asses. That's what it is, right? For both. <laughs> Yeah, glasses in both eyes, chat. See, I only have glasses for one of my eyes. That's all it is. Grandpa fell down a well. Did we save him? Oh, we saved him. Oh, nice. Fine, you get your yellow. I'm trying to bribe my arm the entire way. Maybe my glasses weren't wearing on this time. GI asses bonked the streamer. <laughs> we get the dog. Okay, that's the that's the final event. Well done. Well done. If for glasses, but not on eyes. Yes, yes, for glasses, so I could drink out of the glasses instead. <laughs> Sumblesada, let's give you that nice dog, and what yellow did you want? What did you want? Uh, who was it again? It was... starts with an H. I've lost the name. There it is, Hated Hollow. What yellow did you want? Snake, weak snow, say no to peer pressure. I know, I know. But it's hated, it's hated's choice wholly. Because it's his spin technically. I mean, you bribed me. You guys want to see a throwing weapon. I know. A throwing weapon would be amazing. If we get the throwing weapon, that's going to be completely rigged. Still wait or a buy-in. I know you're still waiting for a buy-in, Drays this. I'm still waiting for um, the Twitch integration and stuff. That's coming along eventually. We'll have to see how that goes. Maybe I'll have to do some sort of buy-in thing to bring it back. Oh, famed sights. Prodigious Is size alone does not weapons? dissuade the sharpened blade. Come on. No streamer luck today. Oh, this crossbow. Okay. There's an invisible... Probably should not be able to see whatever that is. That's 8,000? That's probably illegal. Oh, it's a fake weapon. I'll take this, and then I will say goodbye to everything else, because I think I broke the game by having that in my inventory. There, you paid for the spin. There you go, Holy Crimson. You did pay for it now. <laughs> okay, you're happy now with your gold, chat? You're happy that Mom has a 21% chance to hit the head with an axe? That's actually pretty good. 145 against armor. Marvelous Breachers. I'm gonna breach their defenses. Yeah, there we go. You guys are happy. And we got the spin paid for. Weak streamer. I know, giving into capitalism is the worst thing. You don't see it often. You don't see it often. Someone's got to pay the bills for mommy here. Ah, <laughs> uh, where are we going to go? We got to go to Salt Haven. Please tell me I can get some more good recruits. Oh, I didn't go to Krautmark as well. That'd be nice. 46 head percent. Yeah, uh, currently, 46 is good. Uh, I can get it higher with nothing because I'm not going to get any good perks for those sadly but eventually you can do throwing like headshot builds it's a lot easier in PTR of course but you could do some somewhat of a throwing headshot build without PTR follow the tracks that's a really good quest for us even though we're not making extra money off of them secure to ruin amber collector that could be spiders which could worry me at a 30% chance uh, I'm going to quickly heal us up though Kind of desperate for that. Nice. What's the play today? Apoth, welcome to the stream, man. We got Fantasy Bros. Really cool mod. And uh, lots of crazy stuff happening with it. And Muscle Mommy, of course. Because, you know, very important. Snow's OnlyFans is going to start now. Yeah, that's, that's how I make the money, chat. It's the only way. <laughs> Fantasy Town. Yes, yeah, so we're going to show the Fantasy Town. Uh, in a second, uh, I need to quickly... Why did that not repair? What? Is it repaired? It is repaired. Oh, it's just that visual bug. I'm panicking, chat. Just ignore me. 
Uh, I need to buy some food, desperately. Buy a new bro. Food. Food. Perfect. Please be a good bro in here somewhere. Brawler? Triple defense, paranoid brawler. Let's go. Please tell me as shield expert. He's a disappointment, but he's still great. Now I'm out of money. That's fine. I don't care. I have a triple defense paranoid brawler, and that's good enough. That is good enough for me. As long as he doesn't die in my first fight with him. Because that would be really annoying. Staff bat, uh, knock out somebody with stuns. That's probably his, his job at the moment because he doesn't anything else. People shall rise. Yes, yes. Snow's RP corruption. RPing the Soviet Union. <laughs> you guys are RPing the Soviet Union. Not me. I'm, I'm innocent. Oh, I can't use a shield with the loot. I can go cleaver build for the start. I didn't want to bash people over the face. Do I buy the wooden spear? Yes, it's six dollars. Do I buy the other wooden spear? Instead of the cleaver. Yes, I need accuracy. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Keep the cleaver in the back pocket in case of emergencies. And I'm okay with this start. Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. Punchy boy? No, no, no. He's got taunt. Taunt's alright. It'll work. Shield experts, but taunt's nicer. Mmm, I wouldn't agree. I wouldn't agree. I think shield expert's more important than taunt. Because you have to deal with things like orcs that break your shields, and uh, losing a shield as a tank is, like, super critical. Whereas making sure an enemy stays on you isn't the most critical thing if you position well, I think. Though taunt can save lives, um, positioning can save lives with less... With more effort, but less perk usage. And shields can keep you alive longer. Like Snow ever took taunt. It's a very... I've done it before. I have done taking taunt. And I've, I don't, don't take taunt these days because the helmet... The juggler helmet gives you taunt for free. So I never really take it even more these days. But it's possible. It's possible to take taunt. Now, we do have one more new bro. So I do need to name him. So let's quickly save. Get him in and go after these tracks, chat. I paid mommy to get some new jewelry. Yeah, it's a new axes. That's what you did. And you got away with it, too. Uh, nameless, let's add Apoth and Maledix in. Do, 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 do. Let's hope we get some luck, chat. Oh, Arcadius joins in at the last second. Right before I'm about to spin. Good timing, good timing. Thick thighs save lives. Yes, that's true. It definitely does. It's Sev! Welcome to the team as our punchy boy who has pretty good defenses, man. Do stay alive for me. And uh, let's hope that we don't die like the rest of them. Mm-hmm. Yes. Because I'm a good commander and nobody died yet. <laughs> Sev's worried. There's nothing to worry about. It'll be fine. You won't feel a thing. Probably after the next fight. Uh, let's go for the Bonds of Friendship. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Nah, I don't know what you're talking is about. There a spin that I missed? I overconfidence missed is nothing. Oh god, it's a necro. Oh, we gotta do a spin before we jump into the fight. Let's do that first. Unrelenting Silence, thanks for that. Let's see what you get. And overconfidence is not an insidious killer. It's a great killer. It's a perfect killer. Positive trait, let's take that. Events would be interesting. I don't know if we'd get anything good from events, but you never know. It's a color. It's not yellow, it's a color, Bavarian. It's good, you got it right. Bavarian's the only one who called it. Uh, so, positive trait, where would you like that? It's a color wheel. <laughs> we can buff Superpower, we can buff Symbol Zade, we can buff Sev, or we can buff the Muscle Mom herself. Fishnets will be my demise. Exactly. Can't stay too long, Del, Del Boy, but hope everyone's having a wonderful day. Oh, yep, thanks for hanging, man. Do have a good rest of your day, but thanks for popping by. You want to buff Muscle Mom? Not a bad choice, Unrelenting. Not a bad choice. Maybe we can get huge, and then this is the truly the best run. We got Dexterous. Okay. That can help us 
a little bit because of how Holy Spear... Is it Holy Spear or is it... It's God S Strike gives you... It chooses your melee stat if you need to when you're stabbing people. And when she has to switch into a melee role for emergencies whenever I give her um, what she needs, which is a melee weapon after bags and belts. So that's still good. That's still good. I'm happy with that. Huge is definitely a good buff, though, if we can get it next time. But I do like Dexterous, so thanks. What's the mod? This is the Fantasy Brothers. It says it down here. And uh, it's a good it's a good mod. Lots of crazy stuff in it. Single poacher. Yeah, we should be fine. It basically adds a lot of new enemies, a lot of new abilities. I did not repair this weapon before coming into this fight. Not the end of the world. Uh, and... It's pretty crazy. There's a lot of new backgrounds. Come some new abilities as well. Does PTR work with this mod? No. Unfortunately not. Why am I missing 65's game? Uh, Muscle Mom, I'm not going to waste ammunition. I'm going to throw Holy Spears until they get closer. Damn freaking straight you did that, Muscle Mom, you beautiful thing. One-shotting people is amazing. And also, here's the other cool thing, chat, that you may have noticed, I may have mentioned it slightly. There's damage scaling based on your level for most of these cool abilities. Um, so it's really, really lovely. And some of the passive abilities, like uh, Muscle Mom's got the passive ability times 5 your your level for the bolas and the staff sling damage. So yeah, pretty disgusting. Holy Spear does more damage to Fane weapons? Uh, no, Holy Spear just always does the same damage, I think. I don't think it changes depending on what weapon you're using. But I have to test that out. I can't remember if it changes, but I think... Well, maybe it does. Maybe. We'll have to see it. But it doesn't waste a, it doesn't waste a charge. So Holy Spear is really cool. It doesn't waste a charge of my throwing weapons. But Goddess Strike does, and throwing normal does. And always charge, it always hits the guy with a shield. So I need to make sure there's an enemy with a shield eventually that I can try it. But the spell doesn't say that it changes based off of the weapon. It just is a spell. It just has damage based off of my level, supposedly. Because that's the way it says it. Yeah, it's the level minus 2 plus 7. Yeah, times 2 plus 7. Yeah. So that's pretty much what it seems to be. Um, but yeah, I love that ability. Yeah, the dogs don't get any fancy ideas. Okay, lucky 29%. Hopefully that's the only luck you get. Oh, come on! Okay, at least the Holy Spear is the only thing that's hit so far. Ow! Sev, come on. Don't die on me, buddy. Please. Sev, Sev. It's not a good look. Also, these dogs are not freaking dying! Oh, good kill, Sev, almost. I can't kill the dude that's killing you, Sev. I can kill that one, and then I can try and kill this one. Damn it. Wasn't enough! You gonna check my mod list? Oh, come on, Sev, please tell me that's a struck down. He's dead. 24% from the stupid dog! Chat, why am I getting all these bad numbers? And why are these dogs not freaking dying? 36%? What is this? Headshot 36%. Come on, Rabble. Died to a dog. I didn't put the mod list up, unfortunately, Apoth, just yet. Uh, I need to stab this dude. Thank you, Snowmelon. That's a good kill. Oh, Superpower Belly, you suck at accuracy. And this guy's got the high ground on us now. Just someone die. No! I said someone die, but I didn't want us to die. What's freaking going on? What's that 43% headshot insta-kill going for? This is why I needed money, chat. Because the game hates me. My zeal for blood rituals and summoning rites had begun to ebb, as each attempt invariably brought only failure. 
and disappointment. Muscle Mom's killing Progress everything. Was halting, and the rapidly accumulating surplus of wasted flesh had become burdensome. 33% my ass. Go away. Go away, you stupid bandit rabble. 81%. We could be winning these fights. That's the thing. We could be winning. It doesn't have to be this way, chat. It doesn't have to be this way. No, we win this. We win this, chat. We just win with horrible losses. Tough day. Tough day at the office when you're hitting 33s on me and I can't hit 31s on you and I can't hit 76s on you. There we go. Finally. That is bullcrap. I hate these rabble, man. We have a complicated relationship, Finlander. That is the right call. The head can fly, indeed. Um, Snow Mom is doing amazing. Like, how many kills did she get? She got six kills. 431 damage. But her front line just crumbles. We keep the dog. The dog didn't die. We get a bit of loot. Super Power Belly somehow survives. Because he had the better armor. And, wow. Unlucky hits just don't need to keep going our way, chat. Super Power Belly loves up, though. He doesn't die completely. I give him fast adaptation. I think that's the most important thing right now. Uh, even though he's a tank... I think I'm desperate. Oh, he doesn't have any health buffs? Oh, he's also drunk, which is why he's so bad at accuracy. No, I'm going health. I can't let him die. The plus four defense is big, though. Muscle Mom, please save us with the plus five, plus four, plus five. That's beautiful. And I need to go bags now. I desperately need to go bags. Give her some sort of weapon so she can clean up in melee as a 67. Do I give her the net? No. Need to give you the spear. Sheesh. This is rough. Just a little bit rough because the rabble buffs are not helping against us. You gotta get the bags? Yeah, the bags are important. Amber Collector. I don't think I can do that right now. I'm too weak. I have the bag here, the Traveler Sash. That's the one I have. Someone must survive more than two fights and still is on the party. I know! Two battles, two kills, level two. The 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Superpower Belly's alive. I need someone else to join him, though. Do I take the cripple? Plus one defense. Anyone else really cheap? Housemaid. Plus one attack. Monk, plus one attack. Paranoid Weasel. If you start fleeing, this is a good choice. I'll take the Widow. I'm running out of money. Is there a spin that I missed? I missed a spin? Oh god, it's a Necro. I think these two are the best choices. Why do you have negative five as a cripple? Oh, that cripple's gonna die. Housemaid, don't fail me. Uh, I'll take that spin with happiness, and uh, hopefully nobody dying in the process. Cripple, just... Sta oh, wait, I've got a pitchfork. Cripple with a pitchfork. There we go, that'll work. I'll have to buy a lottery ticket, apparently I'm psychic tonight, says Stev. You are psychic indeed. Arzo, I'll get that spin in a second, as I'm trying to somehow manage the death of all my bros. Can I get another helmet? Ooh, 100 bucks for a good helmet. Do I go for the jacket too? I think I go for the jacket. Jacket, helmet. Dagger. Good shield versus... Actually, wait. 
That's better. Can I sell anything for money? Yes. I'm running out of money. Ninety-three bucks is pretty good. Cripples a Christian, then cheeks three turn. Oh, such scary stuff, chat. I have to win this next fight. I need to win this money without any losses. Or else we are on a horrible spiral downwards. This is gonna be rough. Maybe we get random events from Arzo's spin to get us some more money. Maybe that ring could be nice, please. Sheesh. Gotta start rough to get all the good stuff, chat. Oh, positive stats? I'll take that too. Arzo, where's those stats going, man? I mean, Superpower Valley's done such a good job to stay alive this entire time. He might need him. Or you wanna buff Mommy again to be better? Oh, that's true. Oh, and also the name. Yeah, I forgot to do the name first. I should have done the name before the stats. I'll do the name, and then we can see if the stats want to be put on some of the new guys. If uh, Arzo does actually get a dude. That is right. Uh, there is no new names to add to the list. Let's quickly spin. The Widow is... Probiki. Welcome to the team. Uh, this is a... Survive front, please. Uh, and then we've got the cripple who is uh, definitely fodder. That is fodder for sure. It's God. <laughs> Welcome to the team. Definitely playing as the fodder cripple at the moment. But yes, we want to make sure that the mommy carries us the entire way. So, uh, we'll take those stats and happily give them their Arzo. So, Mommy, every single stat gets buffed, as everyone else does, and extra range defense, extra everything makes such a big difference. She's now never going to miss a Holy Spear, which is going to save me ammunition. Well, she still might miss it, but, you know, never, never not. We'll see how it works. Extra health helps her with her uh, muscularity, extra fatigue, extra everything. It's going to be nice. Speed. Speed is what she needs, because somehow she keeps getting outspent by all these annoying enemies. But let's jump into a Ruined Ember Collector fight. And if it's spiders, I am going to end stream. Mm! Mm, I'm not staying true to my word. But why am I cursed, chat? Well, it was a nice stream today. It was a nice stream. Two hours. 30 freaking percent chance of getting spiders. I better get some high ground. It's completely flat. Mm, there's some high ground over here. I can hide in the trees. End stream or riot? <laughs> you guys are the best. Uh, let's... Oh, I didn't even heal up at before the fight. I'm so stupid. Uh, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. We've got Mommy. She'll protect us. Who are we raiding today? 20% uh, chance to rebel with Gobbo. Good luck with that. You've got a net, buddy. Just save us. Uh, we go here with this net, and we walk. We can't walk away. 78. Holy is 43. Let's go... 50 for mommy to hit the stupid spider. What? I missed an 80%? I should have put the dog out. That would have been smart. But the spider's gone. Probiki, save Gobbo. I don't know why. Oh, she's going to get hit with the poison. No, she's fine. Gobbo, save her. Oh, Gobbo's good for something. Hey, the net and the save. Good job, Gobbo. Good job. 60%? Is this the right play? This is the right play, 100%. Let's go! Let's freaking go! Use the spin claws? That's a horrible idea, and you know it. Dog, go save us. Super Power Blade doesn't break out, that's fine. Dog's gonna be the distraction we needed. Distract, distract, win, survive. Shield wall... Don't die. 54% with the shield wall. Are you kidding me?
God, dying to poison sucks. <sighs> Only I dodged that one hit, that would have been nice. 19, 12, no, that's gonna hit. Oh, actually, I did hit the 19. Takes a 45 back to back, really? Okay, the dog's doing well. Nine, 17, why am I getting these low numbers? Why am I getting these good numbers? I don't want these good numbers. Shield bash. Javelin. And it misses. I rolled a 66 instead of 64. Come on. And I failed every single breakup from Superpower Belly. What is he doing sitting there, man? Oh, the dog. The, the spider's trying to kill Superpower Belly. That's so mean. I hit another 21%. What's going on with this? What's going on with this game? I hit... I missed two freaking 50s. And the 60 from earlier. What? Do I do plastic models? No, I don't paint models, unfortunately. Or fortunately? I don't know. Okay, you wasted your turn. Dog helped out. I need to win, like, now. Oh, God. Muscle Mom, don't fail me. 43, 53. I can't do either of those. I gotta go for the 53. It's a big hit, but it's not enough! Smart with money? Yeah, because we dodge a 48. Why couldn't I dodge that earlier? I dodge a 59? What? I don't know what's going on. I hit a 27. I don't know what's going on. 46 was worth the risk because he rolled a 90 anyways. 41, this isn't going to kill. But I need to break out. No! <laughs> Down he goes. Yep. Sir Power Belly's finally dead. The dog gets the 21, 37. What is going on? Uh, it's not nice to call people plastic. I mean, that is true. But we win. No. No, he didn't deserve to die. On the last freaking hit. This was the weirdest fight when it comes to numbers. The weirdest fight. Why did I hit so many 20s? I don't know. I don't know how Gobbo did 13 damage. That's a lot of damage for a dude with his fists. That was just bad. Two deaths for every single fight we've done is bad. This is not good, chat. How are we gonna survive? I'm staying consistent. I don't know if that's a good thing at this stage. You know what? I might as well take the beast fight and lure them into something. I'm gonna have to cheese this. I gotta get some sort of cheese going. I take the cheap woman, and I take the cheap monk. It's all I can afford. I'm just rinsing through dudes, and it's not working out for me. The monk is garbage, but the housemaid is not the worst thing in the world, so maybe we protect the housemaid a slight amount. Is there a spin <laughs> that I missed? I missed a spin? Oh god, it's a necro. Well, if it is a necro, I may as well just give up. That's that's all it is. But thank goodness it's not going to be a necro, right, chat? Right? 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 Oh boy, oh boy, this is gonna be rough. Uh, let's save and continue, and hopefully the spin makes a difference. I mean, the snow mom's doing amazing. That's the one consistency we have, chat. She's amazing. And if she can keep carrying us, maybe we have a chance. The rest of us are just not strong enough. Nobody needs a necro on the team. Yeah, with all the deaths we have, the necro on the team would be good. Another positive trait, Arzo. Name spin? Oh, fudge. Yeah, we did have new bros. We did get new bros. Survivor, and welcome to the team. That is going to be our lovely housemaid. I knew you were going to stack the mommy anyways, but we may as well say hi to the new bros. The ones that are just going to die in the next fight. <laughs> I mean, you're going to totally survive. You guys are brand new, ready to get in here. You're not going to die. Um, this is 
survive, please. And then, um, next up, <laughs> it's going to be a great ironic name. Uh, Dennis, welcome as our monk who has got some of the worst stats for a monk I've ever seen. Uh, welcome! Yes. Also, survive. There we go. This is gonna work well. Totally well, chat. But yes, buffing the mommy, of course. It's the only way. As we get into more bodies for the grid. Well, death row, they're just gonna sit right next to yours, unfortunately. Man, I get you killed too often. And I'm getting these guys killed too much, so it's just gonna be the same old, same old. Uh, team player, I think I just gave her. Yeah, that's kind of good. I mean, I don't really aim, but in, in emergency situations, maybe it'll help us. Maybe. I know, with ranged weapons, it's the only way it's really helpful. And the only time I say team player is good is in a very desperate situation that a bro that an enemy is on like one health and you have to do the gamble to get him killed from like an unlucky ranged d d angle. Team player does help you get those desperate situations, at least a little bit more commonly than not, but I still don't like team player per se. Uh, okay. I think Dennis might need a helmet. But I can only spend 13 bucks. So, uh, Mr. Monk, here's your friar cap. You look like you're ready for battle. And uh, in we go against some beasts, right, chat? I'm going to lure them into some nice defensive. Oh, the town loves me. Well, at least someone loves me. <laughs> Let's go and do some eight contracts. Oh, caravan! It's direwolves. Come here. Company, come here! These direwolves are too freaking fast! I can't even see them. It's nighttime. I hate my vision on the world map. I hate my speed on the world map. There's a caravan next to me. I'm really happy that it walked towards me instead. Where is those beasts? How did I outspeed them? There's no way I outsped them. What? Come back! This way, this way, this way. Yes, follow me. Good wolves. Come on. We don't have all day. How are you slower than the caravan, buddy? Caravan, come back! Oh my god! I'm luring these, these direwolves so far. I'm taking my dogs for a walk, and they're not reaching my destiny. They're not, we're not at the dog park just yet. How are we not catching up? There it is. Holy freaking crap. Caravan, come back here. Come back. I can't trust anything else but you. And we're just like ever so slowly. Look at look how slow the gain is. Come on. It's so bad. Oh, it's because the south caravans are fast. I lost the dogs. You're freaking kidding me. This game hates me. Why are Southern Caravans so freaking fast? What? Dogs, you are so stupid! Why are you so slow? You're meant to be direwolves! I get outrun by everything else on this map. But direwolves are somewhat immune to me outrunning them. I lost them again. I'm gonna die to rent and money and food. Um. 
sure. Let's enable fantasy events. Oh, why? Why? What is this picture, chat? I'm not on desert. I'm on step. What is this picture? Wh what am I looking at? Normal day five. Yep. Protect your darn cities, you stupid guardsmen! Guardsmen! You guys suck. Screw it. What the freaking hell is going on, chat? I don't even know anymore. The five baby knocks are the easy fight. Everything else is just painful. There we go. Walk to your death, buddy. I know it's not a South DLC thing. I wasn't in the South. I was in the Steppe, which is different. It's South-ish. Okay, you're dying on two health. Good job. 49 misses. Great. Don't do it. Good kill. Nice. Go, doggy. Don't fail me, dog. 61. 61! Come on! What do you mean? Chat. I'm losing my mind. I'm losing... I'm losing my freaking mind. <sighs> Mommy, don't fail me. That didn't one-shot it? It's not enough. Yep, dog's dead. Our distraction's gone. That's a tier two, because I can't stop him from moving. Chanced it, because I wanted to stop him from eating, but I can't stop him from eating. Oh, it's over. Mmm! Oh, she's such a good character, but everyone just dies around my new characters. Baka, next to Avatar. Yeah, the Baka's really good. The Baku. But, I know, we can also do Druid. Druid's pretty strong. I couldn't even kill five freaking Nox. I mean, losing bros to those stupid RNGs every single time was not worth it. It's not worth it. So no Muscle Mom couldn't carry us. She's dodging 61, surprisingly. Why is she still rolling on 48s? Uh, I guess because she's breaking now. Uh... She was good while she lasted, man. It was just... It was just not a... Too much. Too much to deal with. All those losses... I think we had the blessed run, chat. But just not the blessed RNG. Damn. Now, I'm going to be honest. The other reason we're struggling is just because the recruits are being horrible. But we have to do starting a new uh, poll. New poll. Can I do the same polls last time? No, it's not going to let me. I have to type it all out again. Um, which avatar do we choose? Uh, we've got the Baku, we've got the... the Wizard. We've got the Druid. We've got the... what was the other one that I was choosing? It was the... Fight Master, that's right, that was the Fist Dude. And then a new one that I can add to the list will be... Ah! 
How about Wolf Knight? Let's add Wolf Knight to the list. He's pretty good. Wolf Knight is... Uh, he's got a dog that he rides, so he kind of rides a dog into combat. And he doesn't really have anything else that's super special. But it kind of gives... He's kind of like a Goblin Wolf Rider. So that's what it is. Uh, Free Souls, welcome to the stream. Thanks for the follow. Much appreciated. Doesn't the Baku have HP regen? I don't remember if he has HP regen. I didn't see that on his list. But Baku hits really freaking hard. Is there a spin that I missed? I missed a spin? Oh god, it's a Necro. Well, Departed's ready to give a nice spin to start us off. We'll have to see. Gotta get the names in, of course. Cake's gotta save the day. Gotta get Cake to save the day. Oh, it's getting a bit split between the Baku, the Druid, and the Wolf Knight. Yeah, they're all good starts. The Baku will hit really hard if he can be accurate with it, but I think he has a buff to his accuracy as well. According to my memory, the Baku's really reliable. Uh, the Druid's really reliable magically, and I remember the Wolf Knight is really reliable just because it's recommended, and he has the nice uh, dog that he sits on to give him more movement speed across the battlefield. But I don't think he gets any other buffs. I can't remember what his other buffs were. We can always experience it together. Is the Baku fun? Yeah, the Baku's really cool. Because I, because what I did is chat when I did the testing for this mod, like the slight testing that I did, I went through the characters and I was like, what sort of builds would I build on these characters? And I was like, yeah, the mommy is definitely for the throwing build. Uh, the mind of her body is definitely for the noble build because he's pretty insane with his stats and the mind of her body. He's kind of like the noble. Uh, I was seeing the Immortal as the Undead Tank, the Ghoul as the Necrosavant, uh, the Wulin, I can't remember the builds. Shaman's kind of like a support, he heals people. The Elf is the Sniper, as well as the Hobgoblin is the Sniper. Pyro and Wizard are both magic people that do ranged stuff. Warlock is a Gren Grenadier, which is not what you'd expect. Necromancer is a Necromancer. But the Warlock's a Grenadier. I don't know why he's called the Warlock when he's technically just a Grenadier. It's weird. But you guys have won the vote with the Druid. Okay, very, very slim chance. And we start with the Druid. So, as you guys know, we've had did a YouTube series about this. Druids are freaking strong. And in this mod, definitely no difference here. Uh, why do we have such horrible starts with the Craven and the Nyctophobia? We'll survive. But I'm sad. But, welcome to Druid. You get 5 HP and 3 fatigue recovery return. Uh, so you heal every turn. So, that's nice. Not like we desperately need it, but it's nice. Now, the other stats we have is we have two uses of Force of Nature. Which goes, it's true damage. That ignores armor. And it also gives a root on the enemy with poisonous vines. Use it twice per battle. We also have Summon Spirit Wolf. I forgot about this one. You now have a wolf that you can summon to the enemy once per battle. And at level 10, it, like, increases itself two times fold. It's just stronger. Um, the other fun part is you can still learn Insect Swarm. You can still learn Bears. Uh, you can still learn Decay and all these other ones if you want, which I don't use as often. You can summon Wolf. You can summon Dog. You cannot summon Dog, but you can at least summon Wolf. You can do Summon Storm, which I never use. Uh, do you get the root normal ability? Yes, you do. Like, you get the root normal ability on top of this root. Which is broken as hell. So it's Bear Daddy for the win. Yeah, it's Bear Daddy. Even though he does have a wolf as well. How about, um, wait, is DevTools on? Please tell me DevTools is turned off. Good. How about this is Snow's... I'm really hesitating to write this. Uh, mm. Wait, how do I... Oh, 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 uh, yeah. Snow Barrington. Barrington, is it? E-A-R. Barrington. Snow Barrington. There we go, that'll work. <clears throat> Hippie Snow. Like, Hippie Snow could work as well. And the build here is just uh, magic. Mag slash support. Even though he does have good, like, pole arms, I guess? Staff build? Because you kind of need the staff for the magic, don't you? Maybe. Maybe. Snow bearing. I know. I know. We're bearing north, chat. It's the only way. Uh, do I go? I don't like wither. Let's go with the student to get fast levels. Ah, uh, mind of her body. 
with miasma's interest. I don't know if I'm gonna do miasma, but maybe. We just need fatigue, resolve, and I think we go HP or just we can go melee skill to do damage. I could go range to be throwing weapons. Memory of mommy, name him Smelly Daddy. <laughs> He could be Forest Daddy. Snow Forest Daddy. And that fits that fits perfectly. That'll work better. Sickle build? Yeah, but he doesn't have the best defenses, and I don't want to put him in danger because he's meant to be casting a lot of spells and having like support things. He's meant to cast Insect Swarm like almost every turn, especially against resilience. He's meant to use root, he's meant to use his force nature, he's meant to get his spirit wolves out. He's meant to cast his own wolf. So it's costing a lot of stamina. So it's a high stamina cost build. And I just want him to hit something every now and again, so maybe with like a staff so he stays out of the fight. So I'm thinking ranged weapons could work, like I go throwing mastery, but then I'd have to go with things like bags and belts, which he doesn't have, quick hands, which he does have, so I think staff's the better play. I like sickle for self-defense, but in order to make sickles good, you have to go one, two, um, you're already get, I'm already getting recover. And then I have to worry about being in melee as well, so I need to make sure that melee defense is up. So I'm not going to be spamming melee defense, but I'm going to go with fatigue and resolve. So I think staff is just the better choice. Because then I can get myself defense with staff block. Yeah, nimble helps. Yeah, nimble's a good play. So I can go staff block, staff mastery, nimble. And then I can justify going in the back lines without having to spend melee defense. And still being helpful. Yeah, I like your thinking, Rassiege. I do, but I, I think the staff might just be a little bit better. Just a little bit. Why am I 500 out of 500? That better not be bugged. Okay. Is it bugged? I'm going to save, and I'm going to double check. Do you need high resolve in the druid for mind over body? Yes. Not for anything else. Okay, he's not bugged. Okay, good thing I checked. Yeah, I gave him the level up. You know, Moha, exactly what I was thinking. Just in case. Uh, we are on the edge of the map, surprisingly, and Fantasy Town is really close to the Black Faction over there. Looks like we're heading west, chat. Before we go, we have a nice big city. We can start recruiting some of you guys in here. Sixty dollar dues. Are you a good choice? You are a great choice. Welcome to the team. That's an expensive cultist. I'm not taking you. Monk? Uh, nope. Fish? Maybe? Fishmonger? Ooh, plus one, plus one, but I don't like Craven. Cheap cultist! Mm. Monk with paranoid? Yeah, I'll take that. Do I take the... Maybe. Cheap juggler plus two? Yeah, I'll take that. Plus one, plus one on the fisherman. With no craven. That's a very cheap flagellant. He's a very useless flagellant. Okay. Uh, I think I go for the fishmonger because I like them better than I like fishermen. And she's cheaper. So, let's have a look at our crew. <clears throat> Am I running Legends with this? Yes, it does say it down here, Aboth. It says it on the stream. <laughs> it says Fantasy Bros with Legends. Uh, but yeah, so Gambler with Iron Lungs and the Defense. This is a good tank. Definitely a good choice. Tank for the win. Post the mod list. <sighs> What's my mod list? Uh. Mod list is my usual, and I just added fantasy on top of it. I can try and do the mod list now for you. I'll be nice, I'll be quick. Where's my mod list? Oh, I didn't even do my mod list for last Tuesday. I'm a horrible person. I need to do Tuesday's mod list. Uh, Sunday. Legends, no red court, it's just fantasy bros, legends, 
mod version. And then I think that's it. That's just my mod list. Did I change anything? Video stream really simple is still here. Combat text is floating, isn't it? Yep, it's still there. Armor indicators. Plant and perk swifter. Yeah, there you go. I gotta fix Tuesdays. I gotta remind myself to fix Tuesdays mod list. It's something I can't forget. <clears throat> Have I tried the Vampire Rising mod? I missed. I missed a spin. Oh, God, it's a Necro. No, I have not. I'll have to have a look at it. Uh, Paranoid. I'm assuming you're saying V Rising. Because I know you guys are trying to get me to play V Rising. So I think that's maybe an inside joke. Or it's maybe an actual Vampire mod. Because I haven't seen a Vampire Rising mod. <laughs> we did play Red Court, which is similar. Prediction how many deaths in the first fight. That's a good choice. Mon list is pretty short. My lawn list isn't too short. It's it's medium length, I guess. Uh, juggler is a disappointment. Fudge. Wait, I can make him a ranged dude. He's better ranged than melee, and his range doesn't even have skill. 33 health! Oh, that's bad. Okay. Ignoring that shot. Uh, Fishmonger is kind of okay. And the druid's amazing. Okay. Uh, let's 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 let get to know the team before they inevitably die on us. Because I'm sure they'll be fine, chat. I'm sure they'll be fine. And in the left corner, our naked gambler is Fall Zero. Welcome to the team, man. You are going to be a good tank. Very keen on having you on the front line. <clears throat> so next is that vampire boss fights. Nice. Uh, Tsaka, welcome to the team, man, as our monk, who is somewhat tanky. I hope that works out. 19, 70 to 27 plus the 5 is 22 to 32. The melee skill kind of sucks. Can go spears. Definitely something of a tank. Uh, off tank, per se. That'll kind of work. If you donate, you'll get some more chances because of all the rigged. I know, I know. It's just the way to sell out. Uh, Fishmonger is... That's a melee build waiting to be a Butcher Cleaver or Spear build. So this is Butch slash Spear. And that is going to be... Lushkin, welcome to the team, man. You have 27 resolve, which is really crappy, but hopefully that doesn't become a problem. Hopefully. I'm... I'm yeah, we'll see. We'll see if that comes into play. I can always fix that later. We'll work around it. We'll work around it. Uh, and last but not least is our 33 health dude, which I might convert... I'm really leaning towards converting him to throwing weapons. I really think that's important. Sing, welcome to the team. Let's hope we juggle those dead bodies. Uh, throw. Because 44 melee skill sucks. I'm gonna go re-range defense, throwing. Uh, I don't have bags and belts. That sucks, but I still have quick hands. Gifted, which helps solve that issue slightly with the f wind reader with this. Uh, double strike only works on melee damage, according to my memory. Just wish I had bags and belts. Uh, yeah, okay, we'll still work around it. Fast adaptation to help. No, oh, there is recovery. Yep, good. Maybe even going clarity could be disgusting. I might consider it. We'll see how it goes. <clears throat> But welcome to the team, everyone. Already 500 on mine at less than two deaths. Oh, wow. Well, I appreciate less than two deaths on the first fight. I need to equip these dudes as well. This thing going throw build. Lushkin at the front line, front line, front line. Uh, Snow sits on the edge. Let's use the rest of our money to support these bros somehow. You predicted wrong? You're expecting them to die more? Oh, dear. Just tell me you don't support me and 
think that I can actually do this. Just let me down easy, chat. Uh, fall zero, let's buff you up a little bit, actually. Try and spread out the armor a little bit. This way, this way. I'm wearing a 30 armor. That's kind of sad for me. Helmets, ooh, they're bad and expensive. I need to buy another 40. Why is everything so expensive? It's a big city, that's why. Tempted to buy these two. I need to buy the shields, though. Oh, I'm running out of money. I'm going to waste all this money and they're just going to die. 18 bucks is worth it. Uh, wow, the weapon choices are horrible. Do I have to go dagger? I have to go crappy dagger, don't I? Or oh, actually, I go malicious spear. No, no, no. I can, I can spend the extra cash. Oh, it hurts. It's so expensive. We go Lushkin with the spear because he's the only one with the accuracy. Everyone else has no accuracy. And then we just hope this works. Snow Forest Daddy, I'm looking at you to maybe get a reach weapon. 180 for a pitchfork. I'll do it. Yeah, I don't like this, but it's all I can do. Oh, wait, that's a 35 base. No, it's a 30 base. 30, that's a 30, that's a 55. Perfect, okay, okay. We have a chance, chat. Don't know if that's giving you much hope. But we have a chance to do okay. And I'm hoping that the power of the druid gets us through. Follow the tracks, it's a great start. I'll take it. Question, I have no DLCs, but can I add Legends mods somehow, older versions or something? Uh, not that I know of, Loving BB. Legends has been incorporated with all the DLC for a very long time. I think all of the Legends versions have been still archived in the Nexus mods. So there might be a super old version, but it's not going to be working, I don't think, at a certain level that it is recently. So, yeah, I, I understand that's sad because not everybody has the money to buy all the DLC. That's why I tell everybody buy the game on sale and the DLC on sale. But I highly recommend getting the DLC... There are other mods you can enjoy that you don't need the DLC for. Like, Fantasy Brothers, you don't need the DLC for. You don't need Legends. You can... But Fantasy Brothers recommends you use the DLC. But you can use it to play without the DLC. Also, I need to save. I need to do the spins. Uh, I forgot about the spins. Uh, Departed and Moha. You got two spins. So, departed. Where's mommy? I want to eat myself food. My mommy's gone. I know the mommy's disappeared. That's a heal. No, no, we can't do the heal. Spin, spin again. Uh, random events. Okay. That maybe, maybe it's good. Sing gets happy because you juggled and... Juggled in front of people. Cool. Made a nice entertaining. No, we're not crashing on these events. I'm doing a good job, Sakel. I'm not crashing today. Uh, oh! Yes! Yes, there's a barb- There's a wild man in a cage! Bring him into the team! Let's go! Let's go! What an event! We get the falcon and we get the war dog. And we get the free bro! And he's a godlike tank! And he's good at damage! We have a carry! He's actually good! He's going to cost a lot per day, 20 bucks a day. But he's actually good. He's got good uh, morale, good fatigue, good health. Wow, okay. I need to keep this dude alive, but I've got no weapons or armor for him. He's got to have like a staff or something in the back line. Uh, I'm going to make him a damage bro because I think he can roll well enough. Yeah, 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 he'll be fine. Plus two, plus three. He doesn't have shield expert, does he? He does. I can make him a tank. No, I need DPS. I need DPS, chat. This is amazing. What a free good bro. Like, an actually good bro. You do not get free good bros in this game. It's rare. 
muscularity build into something. He can be maybe flail or whatever the hell he wants to be in his life. So many options. What an event. See, you guys hate on events half the time. Such a good event. Uh, that's good for the events. We'll do the next spin in a second, but let's get the next spinner up. And see who is our new bro. Jinkaloid joins in the name spinner. And who's it going to be? Free good bros sound like heresy. We should purge it. <laughs> Any event could have been a yellow. I know you're right, Nykrix. It could have been a yellow. Everything could be yellows. It's Nykrix! <laughs> Nykrix complains. And he gets the bro. <laughs> Chat, everything today is rigged. It's all rigged. Welcome to the team, man. All the dev tools were on. Did I save? I think I did. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did, right? Save over the next autosave. Load here. I always save. I don't know why I still had stupid dev tools on. Yeah, he's here. He's fine. He's fine. Nothing to panic about, chat. Nykrix, welcome to the team. <laughs> oh, okay. Extreme Bunny adds into the team, which we will add his name. But uh, I think there's no more new bros, so we'll have to see how that goes for the next one. Oh, boy. I'm keen on this new bro. I just need to make him stay alive. So somehow I need to buy, like, a crappy pole arm. Was there a arm. spin that I missed? I missed a spin? Oh, God, it's a necro. I don't have crappy pole arms. I just got nothing for him. Nothing at all. I gotta have him hold the dog. Have Sing hold the falcon. I could buy him a dagger, a shiv. A $2 shiv. And then I have to be, like, insanely careful with his life. Oh, we'll see how it goes, chat. Only on fleeing enemies could he really be helpful. Uh, I see the spin there, Arcadius. We'll get that done, and then we'll go into the fight. No, 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 wait, no. I need to do... Moha's spin first, and then Arcadius' spin. That's right. Are ba barb weapons bad on normal bros? Yes. That was only two events, or am I wrong, says Moha? It might have been just two events. But I think I'm okay with the One more event. Oh, okay, one more event. Nykrix, you have coins on you. I don't trust it. I've never won that event, so I'm not trusting it again. Uh, so there we go. That's the last event. And then we're going to level up. So Moha says give it to Light Wild Man. Nice. Good thinking. He's already level two. Level three Wild Man. Plus three. Good rolls. There's hope for him yet. So much hope. And we go gifted. Yeah, just for the accuracy. 69. Plus three. Plus three. Plus four. Let's go. 72 at level three. He's better than our main character. I mean, at this point in time. He's not going to be better than the next level. Sheesh, he's good. Love it. You meant barb weapons? Yes, yes. Oh, you meant don't give the stats to him. You said, oh. <laughs> Sorry, Ma. I thought you were talking about where you wanted to give this, the level up. It's worth it. It's still worth it, but I appreciate that it's okay for the spin to be the way that it was. Uh, Arcadius, what are we doing? Did we wipe? Yeah, we wiped twice, Ill John. It's, it's rough. It's been a rough day. We're working through it, though. We're working through it. Uh, positive trait, uh, Arcadius. Where are we going with that? Yeah, we wiped twice, technically. Look at me. I'm the main character now. <laughs> Precisely. Precisely. Positive trait. I mean, the wild man's doing amazing, so I just need to make sure he gets a good weapon. Actually, you know what, chat? You know what? Sing, you've been demoted. I'm sorry. It had to happen. Nykrix deserves this. He needs the staff to win. Just because you were here first, Sing, doesn't mean you don't get to hold on to the staff. <laughs> I don't have a choice. Arcadius has buffed the druid. Oh, not a bad idea. The druid has some bad traits. Let's give her a good one. Him. Him a good one, probably. Let's freaking go! That is so lovely! I love Mad. 
We're getting good traits. Lost the talking stick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mad. We're never going to get by mere fear and mind control on our main character. Although we already have the immune to charm. We're now immune to fear. So it's not as good because player character already has that. But immune to fear is lovely. So now our support will always be a good support. Nice. Good stuff. Okay, let's continue. Let's get out of here. Let's quest. Uh, where's the quest going? We need to quickly repair first. Because I will forget. And I know I'm going to forget. Two hours. Let's also get some meds. I hate when I double-click that. It doesn't like me. Okay, onwards. And we're going northeast. Okay. Son one. of a budgie biscuit. Son of a budgie biscuit, indeed. Uh, can I click on these things? I hate being on the edge of the map. It's so annoying. But welcome, budgie. Good to see you. Okay, so we have dog. Do we have two dogs or one dog? One dog, one falcon, six bros. Let's get into it. The dog will engage immediately. Yes, perfect. I'm not killing the dog right away. No, 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 no. I'm going to be nice. We go for hammer bro first. And we also go for bandit rabble with the dagger. Those are the crypt. Oh, I hate the butcher strike guy as well. Oh, forest daddy. What are you doing, man? It's doggy time. Probably not the right thing to say. Um, go, Spirit Wolf, go! Uh, we also don't like the rabble there. He's going to be annoying. So we go here. Stab a dude. 32 on the dog with Sokka. Not bad. Fall zero. Good 60%. Uh, sing... Not sure what to do there. Annoying hunger sets in. Turning the body against itself. Weakening the mind. What a low roll. What a low roll. That's 22. I could have rolled 24 to 30. 20 to 30 and I roll with 20, a 24 or higher would have killed. That's alright. He's completely ruined with a fractured hand and muscles, but... Could have been better. Nykrix, bring up the dog. Thanks for the good quote, Bavarian. All those believers in chat. This is for you. Yes, the wolf! The wolf did it! Now I'm still worried about this rabble. He's gonna outspeed my support. Oh, I hit a 45. Uh-oh. No, don't do it! <laughs> you know what I'm gonna do, chat? I'm gonna do it. Sing, run up there. I'm sure that was still the right call, chat. I'm sure it's still the right call, because hear me out. Good job, Lushkin. Do I put the roots on him? Let's go! The Roots one-shot him. Oh. One-shot him with a good high roll. Roots for the win. Roots for the freaking win. Druid for the win. We can get out of this chat. We can go home. We can be free of all this. Wolfie, go. Dog, go. Sing, do I rush you up to the front? He's got a knife, you've got a knife. He's got 5 armor, you've got 30 armor. You can win this. Stab the hand. Yes. He misses a 27. Yes. It's all ogre. It's all ogre. No deaths. No, the dog. Don't die. I don't want to jinx it, chat. The dog's got to stay alive. Wait, why can I only use this in three tiles? This is a very... Low distance of where I can see. Uh, I think I... Oh, I don't have my own dude. Let's just go for the kill. That's fine. It's all ogre for sure. And they're fleeing. Let's go. No deaths on the first fight, chat. If this happened... The last run, we would have been fine. And even Sing gets a couple of hits in. Nice. But it's all ogre. Does the dog death count as a death since it's not a bro? Mm, it's, a, it's a middle way. I don't know how I'd swing on that. We'll have to see. Oh, predicted no death star phase. You did it. The true believer. Told you Druid was good. But also, we just had such a good start. Such a good start. Do I betray the town? No, I can't betray the town. I know it's triple the pay, and I know I'm desperate for money. But I can't betray this early. 
You and Moha are both the believers? Nice. Nice. Thank you, guys. You missed the gambling, Sisev? Oh, it's alright. We'll get some more gambling for sure. There's caravan two days to the west. That's not too bad. Don't know if I want to do the, the delivery, though. That's not worth it. What are you guys fighting? Hyenas. <laughs> Maybe I don't want to do the caravan. Maybe I have to. Oh, that fight was beautiful. Oh, we get a level up for Snow Daddy. That's perfect. Uh, I don't know if I want to go Staff Block. Not yet. But I think I am going to go Staff Build. Unnerved. <clears throat> Unbalanced. Unbalanced indeed. A little bit of balance goes a long way. So, Nygrix is at 72.14. Snow Daddy's at 73.2. I know he's a support build. But still, like, Nygrix is going to stomp. Do I want to do anything else here? I don't like Scry. I don't like Gatherer that much. I don't like Wither. Yeah, no. Uh, I'd either go Colossus here, or I'd go Recover. And with that kind of health pool, I'm not really putting points into health. I think i got to go Colossus first. And I'm going to consider Resilient. Uh, I know I need to get Roots next level, 100%. Like, that is the 100% build. So I maybe should have gone Recover to prepare for that, but... Eh. Oh, we get a nice simple leather jacket, which is going to be an upgrade for Lushkin. There you go. Don't die, buddy. And then I'm going to give Sing a... Sling. And a Spare Dagger. Uh, because that means the enemies will come towards us with a ranged weapon, is and Sing's technically a better I range a skill. Oh god, it's a Necro. Technically better range skill, if we want to call technicalities. There's a nice spin before we head off on our caravan, I think is what I'm going to go with, Moha. Uh, let's see what you get. <laughs> Fancy Bro like the D&D Origin Legends? Yeah, it kind of is. So Jinkaloid, Fancy Bros incorporates a lot of like D&D &D stuff and other things. Is it called? That's a yellow. Oh, that is a yellow. Wow, okay, we are getting the second blessed run of the stream, because the first blessed run failed and burned in fire. Uh, what are you thinking, Moha? Wow, good job. It looks like a red to me. Oh, wow, of course you would say that, Legion. Of course you would. What, do I need more weapons or armor? Um, <laughs> I need everything. I need weapons, armors, helmets, and shields. I don't, I don't even... <sighs> I don't know what would be the best thing at this stage. You choose. You choose something you think we need. And whatever you choose will be helpful regardless. What do I prefer personally? <sighs> Maybe a weapon for a final build, just so we can in enjoy the fun of a weapon for damage. Because weapons are expensive and stuff, and we're going to slowly accumulate little bits of armor from enemies, but maybe weapon's the right play. They're fun, they're always viable to the end, yeah. Let's go for it. Our two options is a one-handed axe, which is mediocre, or a bardiche. And you already know me, I'm going to go for that bardiche. That's too beautiful. Please tell me the wild man knows axes. God, he does. He does! Nykrix, my man. I know I want to give you your staff. But God, that is the right weapon to have. The Battleforged Conqueror, like, what a name. It's beautiful. Like, the one-handed axe, yeah, it's alright. That would, that would clap heads, for sure. But this is gonna clap people in, too. It's glorious. Thank you, Moha, that was wonderful. Oh, now I just have to keep him safe, but I know he's going to hit hard, so that's what I like to see. Let's go on a caravan. I'm going to trust the caravan, chat. It's a lot of money. Al has read... We're going to go through the desert, which is going to annoy me. The druid can use the staff. He can, he can use the staff, but the pitchfork's better at the moment. Pitchfork does so much better damage than the staff. I could give the staff to Sing... So at least Sting can start the fight with the sling to try and like bait them in. If it's an all melee fight, or, or a melee or one versus one range. Then I can switch to the staff so Sting doesn't have to go into melee. So that's probably the better play, but the pitchfork does better, so. The druid can use the staff later if I go staff build, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. Al has read, uh do I do it? It's through two sets of like deserty-ish. 
And I'm going to only have Northern Caravan Hands. They did just kill some wandering parties. I'm going to, I'm going to have to risk it. I want this money. That's good money. And I'm getting free food along the trip. And I can train? I can get some nice free levels for the entire team. Yeah, first training montage of the stream. Let's go for it. I believe chat, and I'm also not going to look at the stream. I'm going to watch chat. Because chat always knows that I'm going to be safe when I'm not watching. Is Amir just pimping the Wildman too hard? You're pimping him too hard, but it's worth it. Like, he's got good stats. Okay, what's happening? We have a Battle Standard, a Fame and Fortune, 25 Trade Goods, or Visit the South and do Employment. I don't like any of those. Because I'm not going to do any of those. I think the only one that I will do is the Battle Standard. But I'm not going to get that money in ages, so I'm going to have to go with the Battle Standard. Yeah, it's the only choice that works. Going for the Southern Employment is just hard. Like, I... Farming Indebted was the right play for the Royal Dude. But I don't really want to farm Undead if I don't have him. I mean, Indebted, not Undead. I was, I was trying to say Indebted. Because I want to go closer to the fantasy thing and go for the nice Follow the Tracks quest. Something simple. I don't want to rut. Because if you're playing against Indebted, it's risky. Because you have to constantly verse insane numbers. I don't recommend Indebted farming for early parties. Because getting overwhelmed by numbers is rough. And if you start getting bad rolls like I do, <laughs> you're not going to have a good day. So I don't recommend it. If you can pull Indebted into other fights, then yes, I recommend it. Uh, you guys don't walk walking on the grounds because the blood's seeping through your socks. Saka hurts himself a little bit and we lose six meds. That's not the end of the world. You'll be fine. There are hyenas about. But they don't find us. Good. We had a two-day caravan through two sets of deserts and didn't get attacked. Chat, this is the great run. 200 experience, plus the training camp complete with almost 300 experience. No one takes an injury. Everybody gets experience. It's GG. Level ups across the board. That is glorious. I need to choose Lushkin's build now. Um, what did he roll? A three and a three. He's rolling well. He rolled well with health. He rolled okay with resolve, which means he needs to grab it. Three and three again. Okay, Lushkin, you have potential. So I don't need to make you a Butcher's build. We didn't get a famed Butcher's Cleaver, so that yellow roll did not secure a build for you. I can secure a Spear build. And I think that's the right play. 500 for the extra upgrade? Yes, Dre's this, definitely. Party's full at the moment, surprisingly. We have a full party. Uh, but yeah, it takes a little bit to get us to a next milestone. I think Spear Build's just the right play here. So we go Colossus to start. Do I go Camp Cooking? Do I think I have enough to do Cooking and Spear Build? Yeah, probably. Balance is good, but I can't get it now. Excuse me. Uh, one, two, three, four. Let's just do the build out fleshed. We go muscularity for a spear build. Thrustmaster, that's eight perks. Plus the one is nine. Plus one more. I only have access to underdog here. Is there another perk I'm desperate for? Maybe resilient? And maybe Executioner. <sighs> and maybe Pathfinder. So I either choose two cookings or Pathfinder and, ex and Resilient. Or Executioner Resilient. So if I ditch Resilient, oh, but then I could ditch Perfect Fit. I think Resilient's more important than Perfect Fit. I should take the cooking. I, I probably should. I think I can afford to ditch these perks here to afford cooking. So, do I grab cooking now? Double strike? Oh, it's not that. It's not worth it. Double strike's not as good as it used to be. It was broken in the past. It's now weak. I mean, on a spear build, it's not bad, but I'd rather go for 15% damage all the time on Thrustmaster. And I'd rather go for Executioner, which is more guaranteed than Double Strike. I just, I rate Double Strike weaker these days, unfortunately. Because if you miss the attack, it just wastes it. 
So you have to be, like, constantly accurate in order for Double Strike to work. And you'd think you'd be accurate with spears, but, you know, yeah, it can happen. Thrustmaster 9000. Exactly, exactly. Let's fight the efforts. <laughs> no. Uh, I'm going to go with, uh, I think I'm going to go with the medium armor, even though it's the wrong choice. Plus one melee defense. It might make a difference. It makes more of a difference than camp cooking at this point. But I will get camp cooking when I need it later, just not now. Uh, Sock of the off tank with the plus two, plus three, plus four. It's all right. It could have been better. Plus three, plus three, plus two... Yeah, sure, that's not bad. It could be worse. Let's go with Student. Let's go with Gifted. Or do we go with Colossus first? No, we want the defense. We need Gifted. That's looking nice. 25 defense, 24 defense. 21 defense, fall zero. What are you looking at? <clears throat> you are looking at Gifted as well as a tank. I don't think I want to go for that melee skill, even though it's very tempting. Yeah, I think I'm just going to ignore your melee skill for a bit. Once you start getting all the resolve you need, I might pump some melee skill. Nycrix, you beautiful thing. Plus two, plus four. What a glorious roll. What a wonderful level up, my man. Let's get you some health. Hundred and three health at level four, seventy-four melee skill, eighteen defense. Eighteen defense without a shield. Sheesh. Same with the throw build, plus two. Ooh. Yuck, that's horrible. Plus two, plus two. Really? Minerals? Ouch. Is there a spin that I missed? I missed a spin? Oh god, it's a necro. Plus two plus two again. Are you kidding me? Sing, you are hitting the butt end of the stick today. At least you have gifted. Oh, I should have gone fast adaptation. That was a mistake. Gifted's not as good as fast adaptation. But it's fine. 57 range skill is pretty good. It just could have been better. Do I have overwhelm? I do. I just don't want to give it to the spear dude right away. Uh, but not on the spear dude. No, I don't have overwhelm on the spear dude. I was thinking about someone else. No, sadly not. I can't make a Spear Overwhelm build. Usually you do that with a dodge build, but medium can kind of make you slightly fast, but I'm not really trying to go super fast with it. Now, what's the goal for the campaign? To show off all the cool stuff. Because this mod has so much cool magics. There are some dungeons I think you can do as well. Uh, according to the mod's description, they have 13 legendary dungeons. And uh, they're pretty scary. I think I've trialed a couple of them in testing. Not to spoil it, but I just... I didn't realize they were dungeons. I think they're just random locations on the map that that are technically dungeons. As like a single layer dungeon. Or is it a 13 layer dungeon? There's an infinite dungeon that can tiff the limit of your mercenaries as well. I don't know. I don't know if they call them dungeons or if they're just the legendary locations. But yeah, I found some really cool locations, so we're going to do that. Go to the arena? Mm -hmm. We could actually do okay in the arena with the druid. We could maybe make some money. Uh, Mr. Druid, what are we doing? We're getting roots. That's 100% what we're getting. No doubt about it. Melee skill, and then these two. Good rolls. We have our normal roots. We have the root that kills people. We have the wolf that helps kill people. Maybe. Turns out I can't skip ads by reloading the page. Hashtag I tried. <laughs> it's worth an effort. It's worth an effort. Uh, is the... Arena here. No, then it's not worth me going to find the arena, sadly. Uh, mercenaries are full. Do I try a quest here? Yes. It goes west. No. I want out of the desert, not in the desert. Okay, I'm out. No, no, desert was fun. We leave. Prospering village. That's a citadel. I don't want to go to the citadel. Okay, we're going to the Black Nation chat. Oh, I missed the spin. Yeah, you're right. Sorry, Starface. I'll get the spin. Thanks for reminding me. Desert spins in the south can be really good. So I'm going to walk back to the city in case we get like a belly. No, we can't get a belly dancer. Fudge. Oh, it's random events. <laughs> How did I predict that? How did I predict that it was going to be random events? It's totally rigged, chat. I'm innocent. Totally rigged. That wasn't you guys. 
I immediately looked to Twitch chat. I immediately looked to Twitch chat to be like, hey, you guys totally baited me on that one. No, you didn't bait me on that one. That was an actual crash. First crash of the stream hype, chat. Hype for the first crash. The spin was bugged respin. No, 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 no. <laughs> I have to do yellow instead. What a shame. I know. Shame. <laughs> That's what I get for rigging it. It's my own mistakes, chat. Okay. Let's steal from the mimes. We get the hood, the loot, the crowns. Nice. No, we're not crashing again, Legion. Nice try. You almost timed that. Almost. Uh, it's the dude that'll give us... 60 bucks for... No, I'm, I'm really poor at the moment. I don't know. You guys don't need any beer. You guys have drunken too much. I'm really poor. Um, the Falcon wants to go out for a bit. I don't care about the Falcon, so I'm going to let it out for the quest. For the option of it getting us something free. Yeah, let her out. Yeah, that Falcon might come back. I denied your beer, Rebel. Yeah, you better, Rebel. You know it. Your mead is no longer an importance to me as a, as a company leader. I'm taking it out of your pay. And it saves us a day of pay, chat, if I spent money on the beer. Uh, but yes, we do get the nice hood, which I can give to Nykrix and... Do I give this? I can't give this to Nykrix. I want to give it to Sing at the moment. I have to get a new helmet. Why didn't I buy anything when I was down here? I probably should have. Anything cheap? No, I mean, I'm in the south. What am I expecting? $13 helmet? Yeah, I guess that is cheap. If it saves your noggin, it's worth it. Hmm. Anything else that's cheap? Not much. 149 for a 65 helmet's pretty good. 190 for a 45 is expensive, but it's a good nimble armor. Do I buy the helmet? I don't desperately need it. Nah, I'll save my money. I'm not gonna regret that decision, chat. It'll be fine. Now we're gonna be totally safe getting out of this desert, please. Game, thank you. Oh, I don't like nighttime. Nighttime is evil. Supply caravan, save me. Footprints, good. Hey, we're safe. Okay, please be a good quest. It's a delivery. Schneeberg better be the next city over. I'm going to be sad. Follow the tracks, that's good. Schneeberg? No, oh, that's crap. Ah, Schneeberg's not too bad, but it's not close enough to Fantasy Town. we got to go visit the town, chat. We have to. Delivery cargo to the east. I'm going to ditch that. I'm going to go for the follow the tracks. And I'm also going to check the marketplace, because please tell me they have something. Uh, some armor on somewhat of a sale. Magician's Robe, 59 bucks. For a 40 piece? I mean, that's not bad. It's not amazing, but it's good for nimble builds. So you know what? I'll buy it. Yeah, I'll buy it. We've got a Magician in amongst our midst. Nykrix, there you go. You look great. Suits your eyes. Uh, what else can I get? No, Tabard's too expensive. Gambeson? It's expensive. Tempting. You know what? Let's save our money, chat. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Okay, out we go. Fighting we go. Uh, as long as everything's repaired. Good. Uh, southeast, this way. Oh, they're running. They're runners, chat. Let's go get them. Come back here. 
Oh, son of a... We may have an issue. At least it's a three-way. If it wasn't a three-way, then I would be a little bit more painful. Oh, and they've got high ground for their slinger of all things. What kind of map generation is this? Why is my dev tools on? Why was my dev tools on? Okay, go away, buddy. I was moving the map around, and apparently the dude just spawned in front of me. Uh, you saw it, chat. I didn't do it. Anyways, um... Fudge. I need to not die to ranged fire. I think I just go south. Yeah, I'm just gonna go south, chat. Screw that. That's a spim clause? No, no, no. That was a spim accidental joining and then getting rid of. It's an equal opportunity. Get defensive on the high ground? No, because I'm just gonna get peppered. I'm just gonna go south and let these guys fight each other. The more that I'm away from everybody, the more they can fight each other and I don't have to deal with it. If they rush my ass immediately, then I'm gonna have to deal with it, but I don't want to do that. I don't need any loot from this. What day are we at? Definitely not 20. Not even close to raise this. Oh, they did walk up to my face. I knew they would. I did a mistake. I walked forward instead of just straight down. That's fine. We'll make it. We'll make it, chat. It's because we didn't buy you bread. I know. This is definitely my fault for not getting you guys extra food. But they're ignoring us. Yes, the pitchforks are leaving me alone. Oh, I can kill this dude. No, it min rolled. 20 to 15, it rolls a 20. What? What? Was there a Rigged. spin that I missed? I missed a spin? Oh, God, it's a necro. Ah, it's too early to do combat spins, but I appreciate the spin, Sabo. Or Sayo. I'm going to have to do that after the combat. Oh, 20%? Ha! Suck it. Oh, don't do it. It's us six versus the three, so it could be worse. 50 po Sing, you glorious thing! You rolled a 54! <laughs> One shot kill! Let's go! Did you miss the result? No, no, no. We're not doing a spin in the fight, Apoth. We have to wait a bit. It's still too early. Fall zero, good 68. Yeah, I know, I know. It's too early to do spins. Even though this is a hectic fight. It's too early on. The spins are too powerful. It's too powerful. Yes, fight each other. Enjoy the combat. I know I wasted a shot, Night Angel. I know I did. It's fine. It is a mistake that I do make regularly. Because I'm trying to keep combat fast. But it's not the end of the world. Why do I already have a Bardish? Because someone spun a yellow. That's why. <laughs> it was just a really good spin. Uh, do I put the dog out? No, that's a mistake. I think I go for a Force of Nature here. Right? Do I go again on the same dude? I can't. No, I have to go here. Let's do that instead. It's a famed one? Yeah, it's a really good Bardish. It's a famed one. He fails to break out. Good play. Walk up, stun the dude, and we win. Nice! The green beard looks unnatural. Well, he is a druid. <laughs> that is the point, Stefan. But it does look funny. Definitely out of place. not bread, it's moss. Yeah, it's moss. Yeah, kill each other. Do it. Let me have to not have to worry about so many enemies. Druid is the best control character in the game, so definitely happy to have him on our side in a fight like this. Of course, it's not bread. <laughs> it's definitely not bread. Sing, you're doing amazing. I'm so glad I got you into a ranged build. Lushkin, what a play, what a kill, what an 83, 86. 
Uh, now, chat, I can do the whole teleports behind you. I can take refuge on this high ground. Once they're done their combat, they'll slowly migrate towards me. That's amazing! Fingers faster than your braid, says Mohawk. <laughs> hey, it's alright. You both have the same joke. It's good. Definitely with the bread versus the breed versus the beard versus the the mossy moose. It's no sucks to control anything, so the druid's gotta step up. Exactly, Night Angel. Exactly. I can't control the fight, so the druid's gotta do it for me. Now he gets it. Druid's so strong. The druid never fails me. Uh, Sing, we go and hide that. We gotta get this high ground. All we need. They're starting to fight back a bit, but I think the brigands are losing. So let's step it up, boys. Get to that high ground. I might also bait the slinger to go to a lower ground so I can snipe back at him if I get everybody onto the high ground. Because if he has high ground versus me, that's going to be really annoying. But if I have high ground versus him, it's going to save my life. Either way, we get paid. Look at all those XP, wasted XP. I know. But look at all the death that we could have had like we did earlier in the stream, Stefan. And look at all the death I'm avoiding. I'm being a good commander for once. It feels weird. Yeah, you can't see us from there, buddy. X to doubt. Hey, hey. Do you see all the lack of death that's happening here, Drazus? Do you see how healthy my boys are? I'm not doubting myself one bit. <laughs> Don't join the doubt train. I'm fine. I'm doing fine. I'm not worried in the slightest. All I see is cowardice. Remember, cowards save lives, Starface. <laughs> That's the motto to remember. We go for fights that, like this once they have a few more levels, bro, and equipment. Yeah, I, my armor kind of sucks, so if I take too many bad hits, I'm not super keen. The degeneracy of the hamlet is nothing, I fear, when compared to the condition of surrounding acres. Oh, you called it, Night Angel! He just killed a dude! He got the one-shot headshot on the poacher! You literally called it, and his head's busted. That's a literal headshot. What a call, Night Angel. But then again, Slingers are good at doing that, so... Not the hardest call in the world. But Starface, good quote, man. Good quote. Okay, are they coming after us now? Yes. The bandit rabble down here is they're gonna get chased. Uh, Sing, would you like to do the honors of a 39? That's it? 44. Ah, uh, it was worth a try. Oh, Snow, I am Snow always plays safe until he doesn't and gets insta-punished. Well, that's also slightly true. Oh wow, that slinger is better than my bro. 37 and he gets luckier. He's not better, he's luckier. Slight difference in disparity. Can't root, can I root him from here? Oh, oh, I can get him before he leaves. Sing, you're going to get some bonus XP. Sometimes cowards do survive. Star screamed to Metacatron. <laughs> Hey, hey. Sometimes they do. But this thing is gonna one-shot headshot a snow bro, says Night Angel? No. No, no way. My helmets aren't that bad. Mostly. Sing? Duh! You almost had it. So close. <gasps> the slinger ran up. What an idiot. What an idiot! I called it. The southerners were stalling. But then they did the dumbest play ever. Oh, I can't rush him. The slinger went into the valley. That's amazing. Can I put him in? Yes! I can reach him from here with the root. Root is so freaking overpowered. It's over. It's over. They lost their leverage. We win. Wildman in the Maid Rose. Perfection. Exactly. 
Nobody knows how magic works. They can't tell the, ma the wild man he's wrong. Oh, the headshot! Sing, you beautiful thing. I don't want to charge them because they still have the, the spear dude and the um, pitchfork dude. I was going to say staff dude. I was like, that's not right. He's not a staff dude. What am I talking about? I'm just going to keep sniping the slinger, and I think we just win. Can't camp in the fight. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm camping right now and it's working. So I'm not complaining. Nope. Gonna keep waiting. I'm letting this dude leave, I don't care. Sing, you keep going after this dude. 36s. Eh, right, chip damage is chip damage, chat. And they need to fight uphill. Oh, he's gonna go a bit higher. Then I can put him into the damage route. I walk this way and damage root him. Why can't I see him from this angle? Dang it. I gotta move Sokka out of the way. Yeah, we're gonna get some good loot in this fight. I'm looking forward to it. I can unleash dogs soon as well. Uh, Lushkin, actually you need to move. I think you need to go here. It's bad to put you one level lower, but I think it's okay. Because I can do this. How can I not see him? Wait, why can I not use Force of Nature, but I can use Root? Oh, wait, did I use up two Force of Natures already? Did I already use two of them? I thought it'd be grayed out. Maybe that's why. Okay, never mind. I'm panicking and confused. I know I used it once. Did I use it twice? I'll keep blaming the system every day. Oh, I took a headshot. But he didn't get one shot in the Night Angel. Nice I try. Spin? Oh god, it's a Necro. Sing's getting exhausted, but Sing's trying her best. Uh, I don't like the headshot that I just took uphill. As a 5%. Lucky headshot. <sighs> okay, we're still playing the slow game, Chad. I don't want to lose this. Yeah, yeah, you can enjoy your s lucky... Yeah, I think you're right, chat. I think I did use it twice. I'll keep ruining his life, though. Snow Daddy's got the vines. Also, I think I need to get ready for them trying to walk up. So, Nykrix, you get the... Uh, yeah, you got a little bit of armor. So, if they walk up this way, you got them, man. And then Lushkin can go and assist you as well. Seven percent. Good luck. Sing! That was beautiful. Spearwall? No, it's not worth it. Spearwall is not the right choice here. I want them to engage me. Spearwall changes the AI's behavior into going, Hey, I don't want to attack that. I want to go flank further. And I don't want them to keep flanking further. It's annoying. i just rather them keep coming after me. <laughs> Start the fight. Don't end the fight. Uh, actually, wait. I want the Indebted to walk up here. So going here is the right play, even though if he walks there, that kind of can hit Sing. But one stab won't kill Sing, so it's fine. They're still going around. They're not engaging me, which is kind of annoying. Ha! The Slinger's exhausted. That's what you get, buddy. That's what you get. Slow death. Aha, you walked one space forward, you cheeky bugger, didn't you? You know what I can do to that? I can do this. Or I can do this. Yeah, let's do this instead, because then I can get Spalzio to walk from there. Okay, we engage, chat, we engage. 
Ho ho ho, you fool. Uh, we bring up the dog now. Oh, dog could take the high ground. That's even better than Fall Zero taking the high ground at the moment. Double 83s and he's almost dead. Fall Zero can... Not do anything. Let's just sit him here for a second. And then Nykrix? Is this the right play? Do I trust you? I hate the fact that this indebted walks in next. But he'll be fighting from a low ground and you literally have 18 defense. Yeah, this was the right play. I think I'm okay with the play that I did, shot. 71% was worth trusting in. Uh, that is our... F yeah, that's the right action to do, buddy. That's the right response. <laughs> yeah, after seeing a Bardish split a man in two. I think, I think this dude has the right idea. It's GG, boys. What a game. What a fight. The wild man has done well. Now we chase them down to their deaths. Uh, we kill this dude first, though. Yes, dog. Chase down the archer. Good job. And then because the archer can maybe give us some armor, we now win. Oh, actually, wait. I can get the dog to chase. Nykrix, get the... Yeah, bring... Go after him again. Do it. We got the dogs. Hey, Eddie. Welcome to the stream, man. Good to see you. Uh, I can stop the Nomad Slinger from running. Good kill by Fall Zero. Don't hurt my dog. Don't even think about it. That Slinger's gone through a lot of vines. Not a happy day for him. Dog with 71's. Nice. Yeah, that dude escapes. That's fine. But now, here comes the fun. Uh, it's up to Nykrix to go here and then kill him next turn. Walking up to take a hit is probably not worth it. So I'm not going to risk it. 36. Good luck with that. 25% on the dog. Really, buddy? Is that how you want to run this? Oh, I can't see because of the tree. Oh, the good dog kill. Oh, the good dog kill. Oh, come on. Please tell me I outspeed that dude. Please tell me. I do. He's, he's exhausted. He's completely exhausted, chat. He's down. He knew it was going to happen to him. It's over. Oh, GG, boys. GG. Good fight. We took a little bit of damage. Not much, but yeah, we played both sides beautifully. We got an ancient breast me. Oh, because that's because I killed the dude. I was like, how did I get that? That's going to go into the recycling bin. As in, like, the deleted bin, because I forgot that I accidentally spawned that dude in. We get the Nomad Sling! Let's go! Uh, 153 bucks, and uh, actually a helmet. Nice. Nice. I mean, what are you talking about? That's not cheated. That... The undead indebted, remember that that's all it was. They they had it on them. You saw it. It's not planted evidence, chat, if they actually had it. <laughs> oh, good times. Anyways. Upgrades, people, that's what we like to see. Sing gets a brand new sling. Sing is just happy as can be. We also get a weapon upgrade for Fall Zero. We get a weapon upgrade for... Oh, actually, no, Snow already has the same weapon that I care about. Do we get a weapon upgrade for the Claw Club? No, the Blacksmith Hammer is... Better against armor. But no, 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 the Claw Club's better. Claw Club's definitely better. Uh, and then a Tier 3 attachment for Lushkin. There you go, buddy. Nice. Salvage all the crap that I don't need. Good stuff. Back to town we go. We get paid. Spin reminder. Yes, there are two spins because that fight took a while because I was playing both sides very, very long. 
But there are two spins, and it should be Seob's spin, and then it should be Starphase's spin. So thank you for the reminder, Starphase. Much appreciated. Or did I miss your spin as well, Starphase? DevTools are still on. Nope, they're not. Thank you, Holy Crimson, for double checking. Did I miss Starphase's spin? I might have. How long ago was it? Oh, yeah, yours was the recent one. Yeah, no, 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 that's all good. Yeah, so I've got Seobs and then Star Phases. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Yeah. So I'll do Seobs first, and you got the level up. So where would you like to see that level up, my big guy? We've got Lushkin, we've got Saka, we've got Fall Zero, we've got Nykrix, who's a beast. Sing, who's surprisingly doing well with 57 range skill. And Snow Daddy, of course. And just two spims miss. Yes, I should do more spims. Uh, and then we'll do Star Phases spin on top of that. So once uh, Seob chooses his level up, we'll do the nice spin for Mr. Star Phase. If you don't know who to choose, you can always just let me choose as well. Uh, random events for Star Phase. Okay, good. Let's see what we get. Hey, random events are good. Especially since we're going to enable fantasy random events. Fantasy random events, which might break the game if I enable them. Okay, we saved before, we save afterwards. Concussion for Nykrix. Because he didn't eat his food. That's a 25%, I think. Great. Stinking Spartans. Uh, to live without it. Okay, it didn't like that event, so we will be right back. Fantasy events? I, it sounds interesting. I don't know what they are. Uh, they're probably a bit more dangerous, in my opinion. Maybe they're random fights that jump out at you. Or they're just going to make me crash the game more often, which is probably... I missed? I missed a spin? Oh, God, it's a necro. Probably the more common outcome, I will tell you that. But Noah's going to get a spin after I do a couple more events. I get the Flask of Blessed Water from our lovely, lovely monk, Sokka. Thank you. I'm not going to use it much unless I spawn another random undead in front of my face. Sing finds a lucky dark tunic. I mean, those were kind of okay events. Not something fancy. Uh, the one that spawned the uh, fantasy bro events didn't really count too much. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do one more event. Great. I probably should have done that. Why are you paranoid? Snow Daddy, what are you doing? Okay, that was bad. Those are bad events. Not the best events. Concussion. Afraid. And water in a tunic. Yeah. Not super great. 35. Wait, why is it 35? Oh, because it's the dark tunic. I'll give that to Snow Daddy. He now looks evil. Great. That's what we wanted to see. Evil Daddy. I know, great event, Starface, great. You're the black cat in the game today. Hey, hey, someone has to take the fall, and you know what? You're you're doing a very worthy sacrifice. Wasn't there another Fantasy Bros campaign? This is the first time we've ever played Fantasy Bros on stream. So no, we haven't done any Fantasy Bros before. We've done Magic Origins, which is the one where we had all the magic, uh, the, the monsters in our party. But that's not Fantasy Bros, that's different. I think Seob has gone AFK or something, so I'll give the level up myself. So where do I think the level up wants to go? Nykrix, or do we do Snow? Hmm. Do we want to get the Infinite Wolf? Or do we want to get Axe Mastery? Level on the Barb? Hmm. You want the wild man leveled up, chat. Okay, okay, you've swung my vote. Nykrix is now the highest level bro on the team. Plus one, plus three. Sad roll, but the defense is still going strong. And some more HP can go strong, too. We want men to be split in two, and you know what? You may as well have it, chat. Because now we have glorious split man and split a little bit better than it was. And also we do more damage to shields. 36 damage, so that's not too bad. Can't wait to get muscularity going on this dude. 
Oh, it's gonna hurt. The enemy, not us. Uh, before we go back to town, I need to fix that concussion, so... That's of very big importance. Should not be camping next to a fortress of remnants, though. I'll tell you what, it's not a good idea. So away we go. Come on, autopathing. Save me. Thank you. Was there more spins? Oh yeah, Mohad was spins. Sorry, man, you just added it at the end. And I thought I was safe. I thought I was all done, all caught up. But you just sneaked it in. Uh, heal. I mean, we could heal the concussion if you really wanted, but it's going to be healed in one to two days, so as long as we don't fight for another day or two, whilst we go wandering, we should be fine. So I'm going to go and spin again. Oh, God. Well, this is seemingly the blessed run. So... <sighs> Didn't you already get a yellow, Moha? Or who, who got the first yellow? Was it you? can't remember who got the first yellow. As if you got two yellows in a row, man. I got some questions to ask you. And it was you. You got you got you've literally two yellows in a row. You want to get armor for the barb? Of course you do. Dear God, they're almost exactly the same. But the 10 for 145 is better. Stalwart Spadefoot. The Iron Guard's Calor is not good enough. One 12.2 armor per one fatigue compared to 14.5 is so much better. It's a golden barbarian. It's perfect. It's perfect. I'm the devil on your shoulder, Moha's the angel. Yeah, pretty much. That's that's what it is today. We've got the devil and the angel on the shoulders. It's beautiful. What's the wheel for? It allows chat to interact with the stream and to have fun on the team. Uh, good things or bad things, depending on when you spin it. But it is currently day five, so we can't do combat spins for a little bit longer, so most of the spins will be very helpful. And that one was very helpful. A hunt down with terrorizes, I'm not going to do that. That's a bit risky, especially with our current situation. So, chat, you know what? It's time to go to Fantasy Town. Actually, wait. Almost time to go to Fantasy Town. I need to buy some food. Now we can go to Fantasy Town. So I can show you guys all the cool stuff. It's been... Three and a half hours, and I haven't even shown you the main part of the mod. Because we've not been able to get to it yet. <laughs> I didn't buy you bread, it's fine. Oh yeah, you gotta save before you go into the place, but I did save. I can save again, just to be safe. Because you never know if it's gonna crash or whatever. Because there might be some bugs, but it's fine. Okay, so this is what Fancy Town always looks like. It's always neutral to you. Even though it says it's evil and it hates your guts, it's fine. It doesn't hate you. Uh, it always has a red text. It always will have a hiree, a thieves market, and an adventurer's guild. Interestingly enough, uh, they're different to what you'd expect. So hiring is hiring, but the dudes you get are almost 95% of them. Uh, all the cool backgrounds. I've only seen Nightwatch on some random occasions. So at the moment, I think it's 100% cool backgrounds. Yeah, 100% cool backgrounds. So, you've got... No, it's not 100%. I did some testing. It's not 100%. For some reason, I saw Nightwatch in my testing, and it was like, that's not a that's not a rare background. It is a rare background. But for some reason, it's... Yeah. There's Lubu. Yeah, it's a Wulin. Which is Eastern Empire stuff. So he's got a really cool hat. I love it. Um, but yeah, they're expensive. How balances the mod? Um, I don't know. Maybe? But yeah, 50 gold per day. So, here's the thing. These backgrounds are good, uh, but they're expensive. So you need to be very careful how you build your team, but you also need to be rich. So you can see as to why, chat, I wanted to start with the Royal. Because the Royal knows how to create money. We would have been rich by now if the Royal was in our team, but then again, the Druid is overpowered, so... Good that we kept a druid. We can get more druids. So if we think the druid's amazing, which we know it is, we can just buy another one. So we can just be the full druid team. I would love to buy... Uh, can I buy Mommy again? No, I don't think I can. I don't see one of her here. There's a spell sword. 
There's the fighty dude. There's a necro. These dudes are cool. The demon slayers do some pretty good damage. There's a wolf knight. And then this is the best support in the world. Like, enchantresses are insane supports. You think minstrels are good? Huh! <laughs> These dudes are crazy. Um, and the wizards are pretty good AoE damage. Uh, if I was to buy anyone from this list, I'd probably... Oh, there she is, the Amazon. Why am I so blind? She's right there. Yeah, we could buy Mommy again. Um, and I'd love to, because she's great. And I'd probably maybe buy a second druid. Maybe a fire dude or a wizard. Where's the guy that I liked in melee? It's not the warlock, that's the gren grenadier. Where's his symbol? Where did I miss it? There it is. These are the Bakus, these are the furry people. They're the ones that uh, have the really good melee attack thing that I would love to have on the team. So this, there's a certain team composition that would be nice to have, but you can't always do it well. But, does it always have all the backgrounds? No, 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 it doesn't. So this will be a random list. It doesn't have every single background. Like, there's no elves in here that I've ever seen. Um, it doesn't seem to have some backgrounds more often than others. Like, there was only one warlock in here that you saw, and there's a half-orc. There's a couple of half-orcs. There's one shaman at the moment, but last time I was in here, when I was testing, there's a lot of shamans. And there's no umbers at the moment, but last time I tested, there was a lot of umbers. So it can be very random, and it changes like a normal recruiting. But yeah, it doesn't always have all the backgrounds. Just play like a 300 days series, like we all demand for. I know, you guys want some long series. I've done some long series, but... Not 300 days, according to my memory. But regardless, here's the other thing you can do, chat. You can buy some cheap food. Uh, buy some medicine. There's some gambling, because we love gambling. That's just very expensive gambling. It can now rearrange your armor. So you can gamble on any armor piece to make it, like, cosmetically good. But then you can give it 200 to 35, 350 durability. Or between 20 and 40 fatigue. But it's random. So you can gamble on armor and helmets. The helmet one's not here because it's not in stock at the moment. But you just grab and drag this onto any armor piece, and it just changes Was it into that. a spin that? that I missed? I missed a spin? Oh god, it's a necro. Alright, I'll do the spin in a bit, but I want to finish this first. Uh, there's some cool spells you can add to your characters if you buy them. So Wind Force, Throw Dirt, Boulder Throw, Forced March, Purifying Flame, Body Check, Kick, and Hide. Maybe Purifying Flame's the better one out of all of those. Only fix enemy undead targets. Oh, no, no, that's the healing one. Oh, okay, that's the one that does it against undead. No, no, I don't want that one. Uh, green Vials heal all temporary injuries, not permanent injuries. Uh, there's Nets. There's Offhand Swords, which I don't think work very well. I don't know, I tested them and it didn't seem like it did what I expected it to do. Um, there's Ring of Protection, which gives you extra defense if your armor is lower than 400 proportionately. So the more nimble you are, the more armor you get, I think. Which is really cool. If you have Nimbler Battleforged, it screws you over, and you can't use this bonus. There's also the Berserker Ring, which is, means if you have Nimbler Battleforged, this perk will not work. 50% maximum damage. So if I give this to our Axe Bro, and I don't give him Nimbler Battleforged, he can have 50% maximum damage, which is disgusting. Also, there are Ninja Stars, which are ranged weapons that are pretty cheap. They have 10 ammunition. They do very little to very most very good damage. It's very, very random. Um, and I think they do a little bit. I think they have a special ability as well. So shurikens are cool. Now, what else is cool is you have Throwing Rings, which is another throwing weapon, which is cool. You have Jousting Lances, which work with horses. As you can see, there is a horse in stock. It is the expensive horse, not the cheap horse. Uh, horses are technically shields, and they allow you to run across the battlefield very easily. Uh, what else? I really want to buy a Bamboo Spear, so I'm going to buy one of these right now. Bamboo Spears are really powerful because you can get permanent melee skill from them, and I will show you how. Uh, you can get permanent fatigue? No, permanent melee defense or fatigue? I think it's permanent fatigue from the fist weapons, but I don't want to buy that. Because permanent fatigue is not as important. I might get it later, though. Well, maybe I could get it now. But the problem is it's a two-handed weapon. According to my memory, it's a two-handed weapon, right? Yeah, you can't use a shield with it. You can't use a shield with the spear, either. So I don't know if I want to keep it. I'll put it back. Uh, also, you can get two-handed katars, which is really cool. Uh, you can get throwing bolas, which are 
10 to 80 damage, so they can do some pretty good damage. Uh, you get a Buster Sword, which is also a Dragon Slayer, 100 to 120 damage, really good damage on that weapon. Does hit really hard. Uh, you got a Katana, the Nadachi, which I think is a Katana, it's a two-handed Katana, whatever. Really cool stuff there. Can I choose to disable the mod, add strong enemies until you're ready for the mod content, just like how you build Castle when you're ready in the Fortification mod? Yes, but it doesn't recommend that, Stefan. So you can play this mod on a save file, but it recommends to start with a new save file just to be safe. So it's a good question, but it recommends it. Yeah, it, it's... Fantasy Encounters with the event mod is a one-time only choice, but Fantasy Encounters is... I don't think you encounter fantasy enemies unless you choose to, but I could be wrong. Um, there's a Rune Glaive, which is a... Is this a reach weapon? No, I think it's a melee weapon. But range defense gives you max damage, which is interesting. Uh, there's a Kursangama. Kursaringama. This thing's really cool because it does a lot of damage. It has a very cool ability called On Hit, 15% chance to strong bleed 250 damage for two turns. So you have a chance to just like one shot a dude if it's a human. With a bleed on a 15% chance to just kill somebody if you go through their armor. So like a Hedge Knight could die in one turn if you just, you know, get the bleed frock. So that's pretty cool. There's also the really cool pistol. 20% XP gain is pretty good too as well. Uh, unfortunately, its damage is normally crappy on this weapon though. Its damage choices are bad, but the bleed's good. Uh, the Hextech rifle is really good. It's a sniper rifle basically, and it acts like a sniper rifle. So it's just good. It's nice. Uh, lightning Staff is pretty strong. It has a lightning uh, abilities on it. It doesn't have very good stats, but it does actually have lightning magic attached to it. The Arcane Staff has arcane magics attached to it, which is pretty good as well. Um, and that's pretty much the explanation for all these ones. And I'm definitely buying the bamboo one. Yep. I might buy a shuriken. But I don't know if I want to. Negative 10 melee percent range skills. And stuff. It does give an overwhelm debuff. Huh. Do I risk it? I'm paying 58 bucks a day. That's not too bad. Do I give shurikens to sing? Hmm. I can also quest with these dudes, but it's too risky. The other thing that I need to show you guys is the quest, but that's that. I'm not going to do that right now. That's a bit scary. Maybe I think we're strong enough. I'll save. I might do a save scum, because I don't know how... I don't have as much experience with the enemies in a early game situation, or just any situation. But I can do the easy quest and hurt the burrows. Yeah, I'll, I'll show you how it's possible, chat. Uh, let's... You know what? Let's buy the shuriken. Let's give it to Sing anyways. Do I have quick hands yet? No. Throw Shuriken does... Oh, 10% chance to permanently increase range skills. Oh, that's right. It's a training weapon. Yeah, of course I'm going to do that. Yeah, I'm going to Shuriken, of course. Uh, so, the Shuriken is the training weapon for ranged bros. You can get up to 7 free range skill. The Spear, which I'm going to give to Nykrix, because I love him, uh, has a cool ability that has a 20% chance to permanently increase your main melee skill by 1. Must have less than 55 and less than 7. Oh, no, I can't do that because he's got more than 55. Except when he has a concussion. No, it's not going to work. So the Spear is probably better for someone like Fall Zero. Because he's got really bad accuracy. Yeah, let's do that. Because I kind of want my tank to have a little bit of accuracy. And I can't give it to the last because he already has 62. Concussion meta? I mean, if it helps me build more stats, it is a good concussion meta. But I don't know if that's exactly how the game works. And I don't want to waste time finding out. <laughs> At least in a way that risks his life. So I'm not going to risk his life to find it out. We do some science chat, just not all the science. But here's, I can show you what the gloves do. I'm going to put it back into the store. But the gloves give you a 30% chance to increase your maximum fatigue by 1 if you have less than 105. And it gives you plus 1 for 7 times because of maximum 7, I think. 
So yeah, spear for the win, uh, gloves for fatigue, and shuriken for range damage, which is range attack, which is really cool. So last but not least is the Adventurer's Guild, which I will save before I show you that, because you can only either get into it or out of it. And as soon as you do it, you can now do a fight. It's an arena fight style quest. It says, visit the adventure to get the quest, defeat all enemies. Difficult to increase with each success of the guild's mission. 560 bucks. It's not going to crash, Genoxys. I appreciate you trying. But it's not going to crash. It's about 500 bucks to start. It's an easy arena. Or if you don't want to do the arena, you can do this as a side job. And you can get people upset, injured, overworked, sad, and you get some free money. And then people get really don't like it when you do the side stuff because it's really it's it's a detriment to the party, but you get free important emergency funds. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go back and show you what it is. I'm also going to do the spin before I forget Sokka. I was just trying to go through all that information download on you guys, but I did want to do the spin before I forgot. So I'm going to do the arena fight because I kind of don't trust myself, but I want to try it out. Uh and I oh wait we have the concussion. I have to wait the concussion out, then I'll do the arena fight. Uh, that's a positive trait. So I'll take that, Sokka. Can't use your third spin today because it got bugged out. I rolled the same time as someone else. Oh, that's annoying. That's a Twitch thing. I Welcome can't fix that. So It is something that's happened in the past. <laughs> no, 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 don't worry. It's Lemon. No worries, Lemon. Mr. Piaz, thank you so much for the reset for two months, man. Love your content. Keep doing the good work. Appreciate it, man. Much appreciated. Glad you're enjoying, and thank you for the support. Uh, Sokka wants to survive, so we'll buff him. Of course, of course. And it's the uh, the positive trait. Yeah, I was just double checking. So as a paranoid night blind dude, you are now brave. Oh, that means I don't have to spend more resolve points on you, and I can give you some more accuracy, some more health. Hey, every point on something that helps you makes me put it in somewhere else. And uh, then that eventually helps you even more. Perfect. So what I'll do, chat, is I am going to camp give ourselves some more meds and wait out this annoying injury which I hope goes away very soon because there's very bad places to earn money here there's three castles a small town and a castle next to the fantasy town so this fantasy town's really hoping that we survive until mid late game where we can start getting those noble quests as when we have noble quests unlocked this fantasy town's going to do amazing jobs for us i'm going to wait till midday Please tell me that the injury's gone. It's gone, let's go. Let's go, let's go into the fight. Now, there's a chance this fight's kind of easy. There's a chance this fight's kind of hard. They're now offering 700 crowns two days later. From 540 to 700? Are you kidding me? Well, in we go. Oh, we're dead. What? How do we beat that? There's no way we beat four cavalry. I'm glad I can save scum this one. 143 LZJ LLS. Thank you very much for the follow, man. Much appreciated. What the hell is this fight? How are you expected to get 700 bucks for this? That I don't agree with, but okay, we'll try it. Okay, you missed your 36%, you missed your 42. That was a 35 that you hit that hurt a lot. Uh, Sing, could you... Oh, you're rolling 95s. Well done. Uh, they all have the exact same stats, so let's just go for one at a time. Double Overwhelm, good. I now need the dog. And now I can't do any Force of Nature, which is really annoying. Oh, I can't get through that armor. Is there a spin that I missed? Okay, I missed dog. Spin. Oh, God, it's a necro. Okay, that's a little bit. I need to shield wall this. I have to shield wall. And then fall zero. As much as I want you to earn your me your ranged, your me your melee skill, you need to triple shield wall this or else we don't win. I have to. 50%, 60%. Are you kidding me? What? What? 
How are they hitting all their 50%? This is ridiculous. My shield wall of triple shield wall did nothing. That's ridiculous. Welcome to balance. Yeah, so, Stefan, when you're asking, is this mod balanced? I don't even think this mod's balanced for vanilla. Four cavalry against an early game party on day, what was it, day eight? There's no way, like, a day eight party is going to win against this. 49, that's a really nice high roll. What a waste of a high roll. Day 7 or day 8. Yeah, like, there's no way a day 8 party is going to beat this. Unless you have, like, full... Full of OP bros. With really good ar Like, how are you going to win this with good armor, either? Okay, that does no damage. The bamboo. 82 we hit. Like, Mike Nygrix is the only person who can win this fight for us. Oh, 7 health, my butt. How is he faster than the dog? Come on. Son of a biscuit. The idea with cavalry is you use a spear wall. Why don't you try it? I didn't trust myself to try it. Do the spim claws? Yeah, like that's gonna help. Okay, we kill one for a spim claws. It's too late though. But yeah. Forty damage, yeah, it's not enough. Yeah, spin claws I don't think would have helped unless I spawned the guys like literally next to them. But you can see how like the the horses are really good. I did get a kill though, that's surprising. But Nykrix did well. But don't worry, Chunt. I did say I was going to save scum this if this was too much. Because I can't gauge these fights. My first fight to test out this mod <laughs> was against mosquitoes. Like, four mosqui three or four mosquitoes versus three or four cavalry. Not even a freaking question. Okay, we're missing everything. Yeah, it's, it's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. So, that's why I was like, hey, maybe I'll need to... I, I know, next time I could maybe use the Spear Wall. Maybe it would make a difference. Is it going to be the same fight? It's an ambush? It's got horse archers? It's a Mongolian attack. I mean, I'm impressed. But how are you meant to win that? Okay, please tell me they don't do too much damage. I'm intrigued, to say the least. They have less armor. Oh, the headshot! Horse is OP for sure. Like, they have so much mobility and a little bit of free defense. But you can't use a shield on a horse. That's the thing. The horse is the shield. So, f in one way, horse is OP for offense, but horrible for defense. So, I, I feel interesting about horses. So I might win this fight. If they drop the horses after the battle, that'd be insane blood mess, because it's a loot item. Actually, that's insane if they do that. Okay, dog, go for it. Do orcs have mounts? Not that I've seen. Oh, that dog hit him in the head. He's almost dead. Okay. Ranged horses, not as bad. Make sure the horses into lasagna. I don't think so, but I appreciate the thinking, Diagrant. No zone of control. Is he got a he's got a boar spear in his pocket? He's got a spear in his pocket. That's too risky. They all have spears. Oh, they're just the same as the other dudes. They just want to use their ranged weapons first. 55-55. Come on! Why? Oh, it hurts so much. Oh, Sing's dead on double 34s. Are you freaking kidding me? 
What? Chat, I cannot be bullied like this. It's too much. And then I take a... That did not enough damage. He's on 9 health. Forty six is a good hit though. RNGs is supporting them. It supports everything I fight. That's an eighty percent. How did you move? You can't move when rooted. Okay, that's bugged. Not bugged, that just should be patched. That one hundred percent should be patched. How did you move? And break out twice. Is that their ability? When they get surrounded, they just instantly teleport? Oh, I don't even know. There's a stun I wanted desperately. Pony not rooted. Oh, no, 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 the pony's the shield. So the pony isn't like a thing, it's just... It's, it, it just... I don't know. I don't understand. How did it teleport? Don't break out. Oh, 73. Come on, game. Yeah, these guys are hard. Not as hard as the previous ones. I'll tell you what. Those previous ones were painful. Oh, he just is a... It's a, it's a dash. Double headshot? Excuse me? I know I've already lost this fight. But you don't need to add insult to injury, buddy. Horse doesn't know F the rules. Yeah, pretty much. That's so mean that they can do that. And how many action points do they have? They've got nine. So hear me out, chat. That dude teleported and still used... Four, eight action points to try and break out of the... He tried to break out twice. So that means their teleport thing is a free action? That, I think, is bullcrap. If I fight cavalry in the swamp, I'm fine. No, I won't. No, 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 Diagran, I won't. They won't let me do it. Unless it's sprint. If it's literally sprint, I'm gonna get shot to hell. Oh, he's gonna take high ground. Of course he is. If it's sprint specifically, then a swamp will screw them. But I don't know if I trust the fact that it might be sprint. Oh, they do such a good job of kiting. We're getting kills, chat. But I still don't think it's worth doing this arena thing this early on. I'm trying to prove that I can kill these dudes, but I don't think I'm proving my point. Something bad's gonna happen. These two can't kill this guy. They're not strong enough. Footwork. And then he can run far. I dodge a 32. 80% Nykrix is amazing, but then he literally teleports through the people. You can't even do that with Sprint. Sprint has to be in a straight line. That's not sprint. That's not sprint. I don't know what that is. Is it leap? Is it leap with like six tiles? Wait, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, this is crazy. But you know what? Somehow he can leap with. Oh, they got that. Eddie, I didn't even notice. They have fast adaptation. Why do they have fast adaptation? It looks like a buffed leap, yeah, Moha. It does seem to be. Why do they have fast adaptation? Okay, doggy, go. Go get him. Oh, he's fleeing. Let's go. He's fighting cornered against the wall. He's stunned. 
Wait, maybe can I go? Can I win? I might be able to win. No, don't give me hope. Don't give me hope. I've already lost my thrower. I'm I'm redoing this fight because I don't want to, not redoing it. I just don't want to do this fight. Oh, fudge, fifty six. Yeah. I think it's over. She's gonna die. No, Fall Zero's not dead. Oh, I failed a 75% chance to stun him. Horses are animals, they attack faster than nature. Yeah, that's probably it. I'm a sad, sad person. No. Oh, the just the. He flit. He can flee the fight? What? It's an arena fight. I am confused, but okay. I was not expecting that. We've learned something new, chat. They can flee the fight. Yeah. Anyways, I'm going to load to the save point because then I don't have to accidentally fail the quest, which makes things unhappy. Well, not unhappy, it just makes you lose on the opportunity to do, like, the easy side job. But, yeah, no rules for anybody, apparently. Apparently. There is a spin by Nemorax. Yes, I have to use Nemorax's spin. Thank you very much, um, Moha. Can I flee as well from the fight? Maybe. We'll try it again. Let's see if I can flee from the fight. What? That looks like it's got green eyes. Those don't look like normal spiders. Why am I on the edge of the map? It spawned me. Can I flee? I can flee from the fight. Is it always four enemies? Mm, maybe. But I can flee from the fight. So it's kind of like an arena fight, but it's also not. What do I do if I leave, flee? What happens? Quest failed. Rewards cannot be received. I guess that makes sense. Alright. I mean, with those spiders, it they only seem to be... They seem green-eyed. They seem weird. What the heck is that? is that? It's staged like an arena fight night angel. Which is why I'm... Is it like a vampire Valkyrie lady? Four of the new backgrounds. Maybe it's one of the backgrounds, yeah. They don't look friendly. But they look easier than the rest of the... Mm, that's debatable. I'm slightly interested to see if they teleport. They don't teleport. Uh, spear walling with a pole arm. They look like they're wearing makeup. That's what they look like they're wearing. Eastern Spearmen know if historical correct their accuracies through the roof. Well, you know what? I'm inclined to believe that. And with Spearwall, that's not a fun thing to worry about. Thirty damage, a little low. Might be able to kill the forty-five. Oh, I can stun her in it. Let's go. Let's go. Got, caught her in a stun. That one tries to escape and still spears. Wait, what? It's a one action point. No, it can't be a one action point spear wall. Korea. Yeah, Korea is good. They can attack two tiles. Did I forget that? No, they didn't attack two tiles. She's using it as a spear wall instead of attacking with it. 
I did probably forget that that is a two-tile attack weapon. But she didn't use it like one. Yeah, see, Moha, that's the thing that I'm worried about. It's four action points to break free. Then how did she spear wall at the end? And it's one action point spear wall because she spent all of her nine action points. Seemingly, seemingly. I'm scared. She failed the first and then broke out the second. And I now risked going against the 31, which wasn't too bad. Missed an 80. Of course I missed the 80%. The Overwhelm's helping. Oh, they got fast adaptation. Okay, did I get a permanent melee skill fall zero? Yeah, I did. Nice. Wow, she's dead. I'm just scared when she attacks. What's gonna happen? Like the reposts. Yeah, yeah, like the reposts with the talents and stuff. It's automatic spear wall at the end of the turn if they don't move. That's what it is. I figured it out. Okay, fall zero, 45. Fall zero, still 45. Dang it. If they moved, it was also spear wall? If they moved, I think they had to manually do it, but it seems like it's automatic without it. Seemingly. But after the stun, she got the spear wall, which seems like... Maces ruin these dudes, which is great. She can't attack from two tiles! Which is weird why she didn't do it earlier. Okay, these dudes aren't as bad. I'm okay with this. Uh, am I gonna get hit? Probably. Oh, I'm too exhausted. The dog dodges. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. All of us versus the one lady who has the better weapon. Breaks free. Footworks. Of course she's got footwork. It doesn't say she has footwork. Do I have my mod options on wrong? No, I have enhanced enemy tooltips. The game just doesn't know what they have. Great. So I don't even know all of her perks. That's not a good thing. Summon the wolf behind was a better choice. <gasps> new app. Yes! You saw that. I got a new... Yes, positive melee skill. And it already shows it here. One training stack. Good stuff, fall zero. Now she's surrounded. Now she's gonna die. Nice. Okay, so the elite Korean warriors are not as scary as, like, everything else. And I still get loot from them. They have growth pearls, weirdly enough. Is there a spin that I missed? I Five missed a spin. For 120s. Oh, God, it's a necro. That wasn't too bad. Good XP as well. 770. I'm okay with this. We're learning, chat. And we got good helmets. Now, we're the elite warriors. Now we got a spin, of course, because Arzo is getting ready for a spin. Nemorax, I think I missed a spin, didn't I? Yeah, save it would be wise. Oh, of course. That's exactly what we're going to do, because we found a fight that we can win. They had pretty bad accuracy. They did with their spear wall, which means they didn't have, like, a perk that let them do this. Where the... No, it's not that one. It's this one. Yeah, they didn't have Spear Wall Mastery. See, that's what confused me. They seemed like they were Spear Dudes. 
but they didn't have Spearwall Mastery, which allowed them to keep Spearwalling regardless of people next to them. So as soon as one person broke their spear wall, it wasn't a threat anymore. It's obviously that first person you're scared of, but then we were, they were rolling them 30% 30, 30 to hit our 25 defense melee dudes. And spear wall normally has a minus penalty of... I can't remember if it has a minus penalty. I think it does. No, repost has a minus penalty. It's half damage when they're hitting with a normal thrust. So yeah, you don't take very much damage if you try and break a spear wall. So yeah, it's interesting. Imagine first strike on anyone who engages in footwork. Yeah. Yeah, scary stuff. Uh, let's go and get uh, Nemorax's spin, then Arzo's, because I did forget Nemorax. I'm pretty sure I forgot it. Let's get that down. That is a minus a bad trait. I think I have some bad traits Yeah, on Snow himself. I also have the bad trait on Sing. I have a bad trait on Lushkin. Actually, I need Lushkin's fixed. He's the most important. I'm going to be honest. That's the one that hits the most. So thank you very much, Nomorax, for that. Craven to get an extra 10 resolve is gigantic. So now all we need to do is spin again for Arzo and see what he gets. Hopefully it's another bad trait removal. I think that's... It's a pixel into the gold. How did you do that, Arzo? That's a literal pixel into the gold. Enhance. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a gold. That's three yellows. We don't get this. We haven't had this luck in ages, okay, chat? You know what? We've been wanting this luck for so long. We've had a couple of months dry streak, I think. It's been a pretty dry streak, so I'm okay with this. So, ours is going for the three-headed flail. I can offer you a one-handed mace or one-handed hammer. And that hammer is pretty freaking good. Uh, that mace is pretty good, too. That hammer's got good damage. And that mace has minus two fatigue on it. Plus decent damage. Both are pretty good options. The hammer's got extra armor ignore, which is what you want. So you can just smack a dude in the face and take all that damage into him. And then the mace has just bonus damage as well. Mace is good early because it reduces fatigue. That is true. Maces will give you a bonus 10 fatigue. And then the stuns are also helpful. But the hammer also always inflicts 10 damage to armor. To hit points regardless of armor. And also has the ability to destroy armor. 146 to 217. Plus inflicting the hit points. Plus you can do that twice per turn. But then there's the stun. These are very two very difficult choices. The destroy armor is a big thing on the hammer. Because you can destroy, like, dealer's choice? Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to have to build for the team, I think. What do we have? We've got our spear build. Got our off tank with a little bit of accuracy. And our tank has no accuracy. What do I want? What do I think a late game bro is going to use? 39 to 58, 39 to 61. If we're solely looking at damage, the hammer is better. It's just downright better. 39 to 58, 97 to 145. 39 to 61, 42 to 67. The hammer wins outright. The only time the mace is better is because it can stun. And in all honesty, that's not a good enough, a good enough excuse for me to choose the mace over a weapon that does just so much more damage. I I just can't accept this hand. This is mace. It's just not good enough. Early game, the, the stun is valuable, but this is going to carry us, especially if we can go destroy armor for up to 200 damage twice per turn if it's accurate. Obviously, the fatigue's a problem, but, you know, it's, it's the cost. Yeah, I gotta go hammer. I do like the fatigue cost reduction on the, the mace, though. If there was fatigue cost on the hammer, it would be the best thing in the world, but I'm going to go hammer. It's gotta go. Stun will carry out of a bad fights. That is true. 
The stun has carried us out of bad fights. But all I need to do is just give the stun to a different person or whatever. But hear me out, if I was in that cavalry fight and I had this hammer, I'd feel a little bit better. Not by a lot, but a little bit. The stun is still valuable late. Like, it is. It is still valuable late. But you're not going to stun every single turn, and you're not going to run out of fatigue eventually, so you're going to have to rely on damage. So, I don't know. I just think that, in my honest opinion, the damage bonus and everything valuable from this weapon is worth this weapon. If I only wanted to care about the stun, I can give a dude a guitar. You can stun twice a turn. Or if I wanted to worry about stuns, I'd give him the claw club. Like, just saying stun is not good enough for me to say I want to keep this weapon. I gotta go with the hammer. I just have to. Yeah. If it was a better mace, then maybe, but I just, this hammer's too good. If I need a stun, I'll still keep this in the back pocket so I can, like, switch to it. So it's four action points minus. But for damage-wise, I'm going to need to start going through armor. So, very good call, and beautifully done, Arzo. Thank you, man. Now, one cool thing is uh, there's no more quests today. This Adventures Guild refreshes every two days. It's not like the arena. Arena's every day. I think it's every two. But, yeah, that's pretty much the Fantasy Town. There's nothing super fancy except for the fact that these get bigger and harder. Uh, the Thieves' Market does refresh every now and again and gets you all these really cool items. The training items are fun. The horses are cheaper than 10,000 sometimes. These are the best horses in the game, which is the armored horses. I didn't test my theory if horses die if they go down to zero durability, but I'm assuming they could, because it technically works as a shield. But the cheaper horses are like 2 grand, I think, and the most expensive are 10 grand. And eventually we need to get some cool backgrounds. So, that is the goal. We want to get some more money to get these backgrounds down pat. That's going to be the tricky part, chat. We did earn a decent penny for our crazy fight, and I'm going to keep that, of course. Is it every day? It's not every day for the Fantasy Town thing, I don't think. For my testing purposes, I might be incorrect, but I don't think it was every day. Celebrating Harl Hammerton coming to Warhammer 3 with a can smasher. Gotta open those cans, of course. Die for the inches, Guildroof must be hell expensive, they'd be flexing. <laughs> they'd definitely be flexing. Uh, I think we go for this beast fight shot, and I think we can lure it into a location. Yes, we can. We take those. We can also lure it into something else. There's a supply caravan here. Spiders, come on. Come on, spiders, you're faster than that. The caravan's getting away. Oh, actually, the Crown Stag Company. Hello. You know, you're here defending the city. Oh, caravan. Actually, I don't care if the ca... No, no, I'll, I'll keep it for the company. Company's better than the caravan. I'll cheese it all I want. Chat, the spiders are annoying. I might still try getting level ups for Fall Zero's attack. And same with Sing. But for the most part... Double 27, 28. Okay, Sing, just starting to impress, aren't you? Must have less than 55 range skill. Oh no, Sing has 57. That means I can't learn more from shurikens. Dang it, I shouldn't have leveled him up. Should not have leveled him up. So if it's not 24 hours, it is... It is 24 hours, not everyday snow, there's a difference. Yes, I know that star phase, but that is kind of interesting. It's not like what I expected. I'm used to the recruits changing that way. 21, nice. Combat spin time, it's a little early. It's a little early, but I appreciate the uh, the want. The want. Help me if the guard of first choose the star phase. Nice, okay, so then that's maybe why my testing came out with some interesting results. Hedge Knight, go for it, buddy. Do I walk Sokka up? Let's just put him here for the moment.
Let's put fall zero here. Just been told it's sirloin steak tonight. Meat's back on the menu, boys. Exactly. It's gonna be yucky meat, because it's... Oh, wow, what a snipe. Uh, it's spider meat, but, you know... Definitely steak. No, eyes, no clue why I use the alert command since I'm leaving my PC on anyway, so suck it. <laughs> well, technically lurking is when you're AFK, but, you know. Oh, that's a good kill. Uh, so, you know what? It doesn't matter. We'll still enjoy the lurk or the non-lurk, regardless. Save the Hedge Knight. We did not save the Hedge Knight. Oh, 79, my butt snow. How did you miss that? Sokka misses 58. Come on. Oh, spider survives. Thank you for finally hitting that, Sing. Wait, can we steal this one? No, 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 the crossbow. He missed. Out of four spiders we killed... Out of five spiders, I think we killed three. Or was it four spiders? Oh, uh -huh, we did good. We killed three of them. Saka's heading off. We gotta see Vin Diesel go to Mars. Nice. Have fun with that, man. And uh, we'll see you soon. Uh, that's a good easy quest, chat. I don't mind the free money. I'll say yes to that. spin that I missed? I missed a spin? Oh, God, it's a necro. Sakael, thank you for the spin. Much appreciated. We will see what sort of buffs we can get for the team. Is there anything I'm forgetting to buy from the shops? Not really, right? 157. Kind of just need to save up for the good bros and to get more roster size, chat. That's what I'm really worrying about. Make the most of our current situation. Actually, don't sell these just yet. Sell them to Big City. You want some bread? Mm. If there's some bread there, I might buy some. But first, it's spin time. That was almost another yellow chat. You guys gotta stop getting so lucky. Uh, it's pink, so let's take some random events. Uh, Lushkin, you know what? Go help him out. We need the money. He said he wanted fingers. So, he got a finger, chat. Just, you know, maybe not the dead man's fingers. He got a living man's fingers. 250 crowns is still a good amount of money, and three permanent resolve on our frontliner. On the dude who was originally Craven, now gets 43 resolve. It's perfect. We'll fix that in due time. It's permanent injuries. It's not the end of the world. Such a good random event. Such a good one. Five tools and supplies. Nice. Who needs to hit anyways? Yeah, yeah. If you can't have bread, you can have cake. And if you can't have cake, you can have fingers, chat. Paid work, you say? Paid work? Of course there's paid work. There's always paid work. Paid work everywhere. Uh, we do not raid the stocks of the round. We can't. It's one of the only darn towns that looks after us. Final event. No, no, that doesn't count. Stop giving me crappy events. Give me the cool legend events. Grandpa fell down a well. We saved Grandpa a second time. Man, you guys are good. Okay, fine, fine. Those are all the events we can get. Dev tools. Could you kindly? Yes, good. Uh, wait, you said there's paid work, but there's no paid work. Uh, game? You are lying to me. Yeah, I'll buy some bread. The there you go, Night Angel. Snowcall? <laughs> no, 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 don't worry. It's lemon. 20 bread for 57. It's worth it. It's worth it. Totally worth it. Tolok, thanks for the reset with Prime for two months, man. Much appreciated. Thank you for the support. Glad you're enjoying. We are currently at 102 Renown chat. We have to grind quests. We really have to grind quests. Or we have no way of getting increased party size and everything else we need. So chat, we gotta go into grind mode, okay? Gotta knuckle down. And we gotta ambition mode for money. Because then we can do our ambition back to back to back. Please tell me this is worth it. It's a location, let's go. Tell me my fortune, old woman, or do I get the valuables from her? She could give me the dagger. 
Dagger. I'm gonna go with dagger. We always get the dagger chat. Dang it. You're not gonna tell me I grow tired of this and die. No. No. Don't tell me I'm gonna lose, old lady. You're wrong. Oh, well that was easy. She should have given me the dagger. I'm telling you, she did it wrong. You're the blackest cat. You shouldn't predict things that were opposite of happens. I uh, yeah, the opposite happening for sure. Uh, salt is on sale. I'm so buying the salt before my amb ambition triggers. Because then... No, I don't need any of you guys. Don't need any of you. Okay. Then we go up to... Why are there so many castles in this one area? Oh, I go to Havelberg. Okay, let's go to Glasenberg. Sell the salt. Make the money. Get the banner. Get a new ambition. And then go up to the big city for more quests. We always get the dagger equals not getting the damn thing. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. No idea. Sell the gossamer. We need all the money we can get. Sell the flask of water. I'm not going to use it. You know me, chat. I'm not going to use it. It's not that amazing. Uh, let's sell you. You're not worth selling. 2.5 grand. That's a great start. We then quickly camp for the ambition. Weapon upgrade for Snow Daddy, of course. Uh, now what do we have? Trading allies. Allies is easy. Wait, no one likes us? Oh, they're... You're so close to loving us. We did three things for you. Dang it. I want to be loved. That's all I want, chat. Weapon upgrade, though, is nice. Okay, up to Havelberg. We'll get them to like us whether they like it or not. We die of old age, Pog, says Finlander. Yeah, she said we're getting old quickly, though. <laughs> we will die of a very quick old age death. Plus one stakes just take up room in the stash for all eternity. They do, even though you want them. Oh, hello. Find a location. Yes, please. Uh, north. It's probably in the darn forest. Ugh, I hate locations in the forest. I'm going to predict it's on the right side of the forest. I meant left side, chat. Middle. Middle left side. I predicted correctly. Can't love you already fell in love with three-headed flails. Oh, I'm sorry. I mean, what the flail doesn't know, that the flail doesn't know. Just just letting you know. In, in case you, you didn't know. That the flail could maybe, you know, not find out. Maybe. <laughs> More bread. No, the bread's too expensive. It's 72 bucks. I bought you $57 bread at the other place. The bread over here, they're charging with interest. It's not worth it. I can't get away with cheap bread anymore. Ugh, it's the worst. Okay, so we're not making friends here. Why is the game not letting me make friends? There's another big city up here with only a single quest on this place. Ugh! Dialogy and fantasy means magically aged until death. Yeah, pretty much. You ain't getting away with that that easy, Dre, is this? They're not letting us get away with it. The Hex will probably convert us into, you know, dying early. Already cheating on three-headed flails with the pole flail. Don't want to complicate things even more. <laughs> I hear you, man. I hear you. Fold the tracks for 500 is pretty good. Or delivery to just somehow make friends. I'm going to probably have to do it. Uh, follow the tracks. We have to do this, chat. Please don't be in the swamp. It's my only, only guess and help question. Please, 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 please. No, 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 no. Come back, come back, come back, come back. It's on the hills. Good. Sheesh. Drain plug is best. Yeah, that is also true. You can't really um, abandon the drain plug in its time of need. Also, Sing, I'm going to be honest. I don't know if I believe in the shuriken. Do I believe in the shuriken? I can throw two of them at once. Oh, but it costs a little bit extra fatigue. 
Why haven't I not been doing that? Oh, because it's half the accuracy? But twice the hit. Oh, that's actually worth it, kind of. Statistically. Statistically, that's worth it, because 47 times 2 is 95. <laughs> Look at me throwing, throwing, trying to throw 95s. Uh, and 72 is a 1. It's not combat spin day. It's not combat spin day. We're not ready yet. It's not late enough into the game. Would be nice, though. Uh, Nykrix, do I trust you? Yes. Snow, do I trust you? Not really. Um... That's a nice hit. It could have killed. You min-rolled, practically. So that's a disappointment. Lushkin, your body armor sucks. Sit up here, buddy. And then Sokka, what are you doing? That'll work. Hit the dog. Good stuff, fall zero. Double 52s. did eight damage. What a horrible roll. That's so low. I could have rolled up to 50 and it rolled down to five, which is eight. Yeah. Okay, Sing. Maybe that's why I've not been doing those double throws. But you know what? It, statistically, it's better. And every now and again, statistics does win. According to statistics, of course. <laughs> Uh, fall zero, do I put you in a dangerous position? Sure. You almost killed. So close. Good hit by Lushkin. Snow, 75. Good kill. Lushkin's fine. Trust him to break your heart. Yeah, yet. Yet is the trick, chat. Was there a spin that I missed? I missed a spin? Oh god, it's a necro. No, it better not be. Sing, don't fail me. You rolled a 9. Can I start rolling better than, like... It says you can roll up to 50. Where are my 50 rolls, chat? I don't believe in the 50. I think it's a lie. Helmet incoming, says Moha. Hey, man, if you get 3 for 3... I don't know what to do. I don't know what I'll do. I'm already losing my mind that you got two in a row. 22%, thanks, buddy. Appreciate you. Could I kindly get this double 53? 25 plus the 5. That was a good roll! Okay, we're getting good rolls for once. Love to see it. Let's go, Lushkin! Hammer! Oh, come on. Saka, you tried. 82, we tried. How am I not getting 80s? Sure, it seems like it has gotcha game rates. Yeah, it kind of does. And it seems like these weapons that are training weapons, they seem very gotcha y. <laughs> the whole gambling side of it. It's fun, but it seems really nice and gambly. 26, the very low roll. 20 to 50, chat. Gotta remind yourself how bad my numbers are. Oh, don't you even consider killing Sing on double 37s! You could have killed Sing if you accidentally got two melee kills. I, I can't do this. You absolute jerk. You almost killed my dude. <sighs> yeah, I did let him get to him, technically. But I also expected the shurikens to get the kills. So, then again, if the shurikens got their hits with the good damage that they needed to, I wouldn't have... Yeah. 
If I had Sing back one tile, that might have been the slightly better play, but still, that was painful. Why'd you give the hammer to Helen Kelly? <laughs> well, you see, all of my frontliners are kind of Helen Keller at the moment. 58, 56, 46. Not really the best characters. That was meant to use when you got high range skill. I know. But it's also meant to use when you got low range skill too. Because it's got a higher accuracy. But then again, the first one is better because of, yeah. But I, I know Night Angel, it's, it's for both. Both can be used. Both is good. Fall Zero, what are we doing? Are we grabbing... Past Adaptation. No, yes. Excuse me. You've got one stack of weapon training for one permanent melee skill. Keep keep training, bud. But as a tank, what do I want you to have specifically? Pathfinder's pretty good. I don't think you're going dodge build with this. Although you could. But I like that health roll better. No, I don't think I'm going to go dodge build specifically. But because your accuracy is garbage, I think faint's not a bad play. The dodge still will give stats. That is true. I have to go nimble. So going dodge nimble is still okay. Plus 14. Like, I'm not going dodge build, but a 14 is a 14 shot. And with the shield out, it's 47. Holy crap. Yeah, no, I think that's okay. I mean, the armor situation's not amazing, but at least the defense is high. Yeah, we go with those. Dev tools is turned off, thank goodness. Yeah, we go dodge tank. Uh, and far out. Like, you're amazing with your defense anyways, full zero, so no matter what you choose, you'll be fine. And I can go staff tank. No, I can't. Yes, I can? Staff tank's a possibility. But no, you do have... You've got shield expert. Who's the tank that doesn't have shield expert? None of them. They both have shield expert. Uh, it's probably guys I killed in the past. Then it's fine. Then they're nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about, chat. Technically, is Snow's filler word? Technically, you're technically correct. <laughs> I have many filler words, chat. Just, I use technically a lot. Because it's an easy one to use. Specifically, talking about technically is a... kind of roundabout way of... imploring the use of coll colloquialism and... Lexiconography to, to to really just get to the around the point of what you're trying to say. Yes, probably <laughs> in one form or another. Possibly at a certain time of day. Well, actually, <laughs> that's the one that should be my filler word. Instead of saying technically, I should be like, well, actually, <laughs> it's got to be this way. <laughs> That'd be a great filler word to have. Yeah, that wouldn't that wouldn't inspire any more memes at all, chat. Definitely wouldn't put me in that category. <laughs> did I do the spin for Arcadius? Uh, d uh did I? Who's Ashley? <laughs> yeah, who? Ashley? I don't know her. No, I don't think I did the spin. But yes, the actually is what Finlander did. Yes, that's what he did. And I was like, wait a minute, no, I didn't do the spin. He was referring to the other thing that we were talking about, which was free stats. Let's go, Arcadius, my man. Who are you? Who are you buffing? I know it's gonna be Nykrix, right? It's totally gonna be Nykrix. And no, unfortunately, it was not another yellow. How are this mod yet? Duct tape. Hey, welcome to the stream, man. Fantasy Bros, cool stuff indeed. Basically, it's like kind of like a Legends mod, but. 
Kind of not at the same time. But yes, obviously we got to buff the animal over here. The animal in the room, 75 and 21, plus now 78, 24, plus the extra health, plus everything. It's beautiful. He's now at minus one range defense. Took him that long to get there. Nice. Magic and stuff, yeah, it's it's more fantasy, so it's more magic backgrounds and that kind of stuff. Uh, it has some really cool new backgrounds that are pretty strong. So it's built on a higher power level. So, like, the enemies are a lot scarier, so you have higher power level bros. And uh, some very interesting enemies in the game. And some not-so-difficult enemies. And a horses, obviously, because that's in the title of the stream. Which have been very scary for us. We don't like dealing with them. Cargo to Condix Haven, uh, two days south. Please tell me that's within our scope of what we're trying to work around. No, I don't want to go there. That's too much effort. I'm going to Trogenschatz, screw that. <laughs> it's too much effort. Oh, hi, Brigands. We need more Renown, chat. How does this fantasy mode work with the NGHs? I wouldn't suggest them together, but I'd have to double check with Abyss Crane and NGH, and I'll have to ask them. I wouldn't think it would work together. If you did them together, it'd be pretty insane. But I cannot vouch for them working. NGH works with PTR or with just Legends. So I guess you could do it, but you can't use PTR with this one, Highest Mongo. PTR does not work with uh, Fantasy Bros. As far as I know. Horses work in Legends only if you use this mod. And yes, the horses work. But not the way you expect. They're shields. Which is weird. But it kind of makes sense. But then it kind of doesn't. So it's weird. But yeah, hopefully, hopefully that helps and explains a little bit of everything. We'll eventually buy a horse when we have the money. Having the money is the tricky part. Can this? Can I Snow Daddy kill, please? Exactly 35 damage. Are you kidding me? That's amazing. I rolled the exact damage it needed to kill her. Was there a spin that I missed? Finally, I missed let's go. Spin? Oh, God, it's a Necro. No, it's not day 20 yet. There's no way it's day 20. Okay. Oh, hello. Hello. Yeah, I knew you have to sing. I knew you would. I need to kill him before he gets there, though. 67. Good kill. Guy has a shuriken. Yeah, he's got a shuriken. He's having fun with it, too. Oh, good hit. Shuriken. Mr. 75. Double 51s. Let's go. And they were both horrible rolls. But they did a little bit of damage, so that's nice. I'm scared of these guys, so I am going to walk backwards. And backwards again. 47 instead of the 35 that I needed. Nice! Chase down the archer, and it's nice GG down here. First you need a bro and get that horse? Yeah, that's true. No stats from that one fall zero. That's okay, you're still training. The Bamboo Spear is not the Master, it is the Apprentice. Still learning. Shovel Dude. <laughs> You've come to the wrong place, buddy. But I'll entertain you. With our lovely Wild Man. Uh, I'm still worried about this Rabble, though. So do come a bit closer, buddy. Uh, wait, what just happened? Oh, I healed myself? Because of every turn you get a little bit of healing? Fatigue-wise, I guess, is probably what I'm talking about. Sure. Anyways. Patience is a virtue as they try and seemingly run away. Okay, I guess it's dog time. Go, Wolfie, go! Nice, good catch. Please one throw up shirkins. I did throw one shirkin the first time, and then I threw two. Just because you don't like my luck, and just because I don't like my luck. Spirit Wolf's broken? I mean, it does good damage. Don't know if it's broken, per se. But he does have better accuracy than normal wolf, which is what I really like to see. 
At level... Oh god, I missed a 73. Uh, at level 10, I think the Spirit Wolf's gonna be a nice... Just, just nice in general. Because he gets buffed with double damage and whatnot. But at the moment, he feels like a wolf that's just a bit more accurate. Which, at this stage of the game, is not broken, but just really good. With all the other stuff added, it's definitely not broken, per in that sense of things. Oh, come on, Nykrix, you're just toying with your food now. And you're also getting bashed by a shovel, so maybe stop toying with your food. The wolf has a lot of defense, though. He's doing well. Double 87s, nice. Stop toying with him, Nykrix. You're missing so many 80%, man. Wow, the wolf is very, very fast. And the shuriken kills with a beautiful headshot. Nice. <coughs> uh, that's 191. So very worthwhile fight, plus the extra renown we get for beating them. And we move over to a small sound. Except, there is a spin by Moha that I almost missed. So let's go have a look. Little bit of support. That's a minus bad trait. Exactly what we need to clean up something on our bros. I do want to fix the fragile on Sing because that is getting scary. I don't think I need to worry about the Craven on Snow just yet, do I? I mean, he's still afraid, so I guess there's that. Nah, let's let's fix Sing first. You tried for the triple Mohawk, you tried. And you know what? We can't fault you for that. It wasn't rigged enough. It was very close, though. You are very close on the mark. But now we just keep the luckiness to Sing, so then maybe... Maybe now you'll get another one. It's clearly another yellow, you just can't see it. I Remember, I do need to go to my eye doctor, chat. I haven't had my checkup in a little bit. Yearly checkup's coming up. So, you know, technically, that I, I'm looking at a distance, it's small, colors are colors, but eh, it seems like it's a red. <laughs> I'll do an executive decision on that. Uh, Sing, you need quick hands, right? Fast adaptation, you're doing good for accuracy. So let's go quick hands to make you move the weapons around more easily. Plus three, plus four is pretty good. Good roll, better than your previous rolls, for goodness sakes. And we will give you some health. Nice. Lushkin, with the plus three, plus three, you've done amazingly with your rolls. So big congratulations there. And we can't get spear build just yet. Do we go resilient? Yes, because we're not rich, and we're not worrying about can cooking just yet. Uh, and the money we're going to spend is going to be on a brand new background. Saka as the off tank with 25 defense. You're going to need more defense before you get anything else, but I can't get you your shield mastery yet. So do we go medium? Yeah, you're going to have to get medium eventually. Plus two. It's something. Yeah, let's go for melee skill. Not a bad time to give it to you, man. Not a bad time. A lot of salvage to do, so whenever we get to our destination, I might have to spend some time cleaning up this darn inventory. So yeah, we'll do that. Colossus is not a bad idea. I just wanted to go and start the defense a little bit, in case we get some more nice armor. This is your Eye Doctor. It was us both, says Finlander. <laughs> oh, oh, thanks, Mr. Eye Doctor Finlander. I, I didn't see you there. Maybe, maybe for a reason. Uh, but now, nice to see you. <laughs> Mob, Mind Over Body, Holy Crimson? Is there a Mind Over Body build that I missed? It's mainly just for, um... For the, uh, the Druid. Hunt Down with Terrorizes. I could definitely lure them into a caravan or something. But before I do that, let's do a nice little casual day 11 salvage and injury repair. Nice and casual. 
And then the game wants me to buy right knee slots. No, not yet. Remember the last time I shot stupid direwolves across the map and wanted them to find themselves into a caravan? That went well. So of course this one's going to go even better, chat. Of course it is. But instead of that, they're offering me a bring it location. Been following and watching your VODs for a while. Love the Cell Swords mod, but man, are the random bounty hunter groups rough. Lord Swagulon, thank you for the thousand bits. Much appreciated for the generosity, man. Welcome to the stream. Glad you've been enjoying the VODs and keeping up with them all. Definitely a lot of content out there to enjoy. And the Cell Swords mod. Yeah, Cell Swords pretty cool. Uh, I haven't played the recent update of it, and we do need to play it. Uh on stream for some soon-ish. I'm waiting for some update. I, I've got some stuff waiting for cell swords, But the random bounty hunter groups are tough. Yeah, the Desperados, I think, are what they're called. Sheesh, they're painful. But I'm glad you're enjoying it, man. Much appreciated. Hence, Mind of Body, is there anything the Druid can scale with Resolve? Uh, I thought the dog... No, the dog doesn't scale Resolve. It scales with level. A lot of things will scale with level. Uh, I don't think there's anything that scares, scales with resolve with this druid build. No, it's just the mind over body. Which is very valuable because you're going to be spending not a ton of F, uh, not a ton of fatigue on all these things. But when I'm going to start getting insect swarm down and miasma, miasma thinks like 30 fatigue. And I think insect swarm is it was 15 but i think it's 20 or 25 so going for the mind over body is still a pretty good call and if i want to down the line i don't have rally hmm that would have been nice druids having rally would be the perfect trifecta wouldn't it oh they have song of life okay yeah, i might try and add that to the build somehow that is very tempting Field Triage is a really disgusting heal as well. We'll see how we go, chat, but I might try and do something like that. Cell Swords is fun. Well, I think... Is there a spin To a I certain missed, degree. I missed a spin? Oh, God, it's a Necro. To a certain degree. Cell Swords is a pain in the ass. But it is a fun mod. Ah, oh, Scabbled, nice spin there. I'll get that down before we start chasing down these beastie boys. Hopefully, the spin gets us a nice minus bad trait, maybe. I've got still a few bad ones to worry about. That was really close to a yellow. Insanely close. But that's random events, and my eye doctor will completely, completely uh, attest to my statement. Uh, Sing wants to help the kid. No, I think I have an apprentice on the team. Instead of crashing the game, Tolak, I think I'm going to try and maim the kid. And the crowd goes wild. And the kid is in two pieces at once. Folded like an omelet. It's perfect. It's perfect. The kid does not know how to walk straight for the rest of his life. And we can proudly have a reduced reputation for it. So great. We did it, chat. It's all done. This is still the blessed run as expected. So thank you for the lovely event. Uh, there's laborers that I can't add to the team because we're full. Dang it, that could have been a free background. Bad timing, bad timing. And I'm not buying your map for 12, 1100 bucks, you crazed lunatic. I'll do one more event. Uh, Tsaka's paranoid. That doesn't count. Hey, let's beat up some prostitutes, chat. We beat up some kids. Prostitutes can be folded like an omelet as well, I'm sure. Anyways, uh, get their valuables. Attack those pathetic guards. We get a signet ring, a dagger, a bludgeon, 191 crowns, and Sing only suffers a crushed finger. Man, those prostitutes can't fight back. That's how it works, chat. <laughs> easy crushed finger, nothing to worry about. And easy money goes our way. So, uh, yeah, how about those, uh, brigands and, uh, beasts, chat? Uh, who cares about getting paid to kill things if you can just beat up prostitutes? It's perfect. Or, and kids. Yeah, you gotta beat up the kids as well. 
Some things never change. Snow abusing kids, name more iconic duo. Exactly. Exactly. You gotta be famous for some reason, duct tape. There's always something. Or infamous. But then infamous and famous are just from two points of view, right? It's just from a different point of view. And from my point of view, the Jedi are evil. <laughs> oh dear. It's good stuff. Good memes. Uh, I think I'm going to go Brigands instead of Beasts first, because there was a caravan that left recently, and obviously the Brigand one's a little bit easier. I can get some more levels before I go into a crazier fight. I'm sure that's not a good hill to die on, says Stefan. <laughs> I'm not dying on the hill, Stefan. We're just having our lovely fun with the... Oh my goodness, there's footprints. Oh, well you fools, I can fight you at night and win. Infamous is still famous. <laughs> yeah, Angle and Calvomar, yes. If you look at it statistically, Infamous is still famous. <laughs> Whether you like it or not. Oh, 44, why did I waste that on a dog? What a roll. That's a high roll from Sing, thank you very much. Then again, the dogs are annoying, so they deserve it. Infamous over famous, since you can be infamous and famous. Oh, you could be both. Da, 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 da. Yeah, that reminds me of the... Whenever somebody says, why not both? It reminds me of that meme. It just clicks in my brain. The, the meme advertisement for the tacos. It's horrible, and I love it. It's, it's just so dumb. And I'm going to make you all suffer the same fate. There we go. There we go. It's this one. It just... I don't know why, but every since this is why not both, this always plays in my head. How do you decide between crunchy and soft tacos? Porque no los dos. Oh, hard and soft tacos. Video fiesta. Why? I've seen that ad way too many times. I don't know why, but I've always seen that ad. So it's just, why not both? Da, 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 da. Just just plays in my head. It's horrible. But I can't change my life. <laughs> uh, some things never change, chat. Thanks, I hate it. <laughs> Top tier ad. Exactly. Exactly, you gotta use kids in all of your ads, chat. Creates more revenue, and it creates more memes. Oh, 25? Why is it such a low roll? Uh, why are you showing real food in the middle of the night? Because I'm hungry now. If you're, if I'm hungry, you're hungry, chat. That's how it works. Influencing's a hard job. <laughs> if I say potato, you say tomato. Potato, tomato. If I say pizza, you say Little Caesars, which I haven't had in such a long time. Snow, why not both? Why not both? <laughs> exactly, why not both? 5% puncture my ass! Really? Don't puncture my ass on a 5%, you darn stinking thug. Oh, I hate when the enemy AI is just like, hey, I can cheat the system. I know what RNG is going to roll next, so I'm going to roll a 5% because I know I'm going to get it. Like, really? In no logical situation are you ever going to get a 5%. Ugh. My suffering's immeasurable, my day's ruined, says Dre's this. Yes, that's a good meme as well. Nykrix goes for the split, gets one of them, that's not too bad. Snow's ass got punctured. Yeah, it, it happens, the thugs just do it all to me. This is why you don't go out in public without, um, protection, chat. You just never know when you get punctured, when you don't expect to. 45, that's a big roll, let's go. Big rolls for the everybody, let's go. Gotta give both options on a spin, says Cake. No, that's not how that works. <laughs> I appreciate the effort, but that's not how it works here. Okay, uh, Overwhelms times one. Do I outspeed him? Yes, I do. Good. I missed 100% of the 5% shots you don't take <laughs> with Stadinator. You can put that on a plaster on a wall. And you miss 100% of the 95s you do take. <laughs> we gotta make gotta make that a meme. We have to. Oh, permanent. Yes, permanent melee skill. Let's go. That has to be a meme. 
you miss a hundred percent of the five percent you don't take, and you hit a hundred. You miss a hundred percent of the ninety fives you do hit. You miss a hundred percent of the five percent you ninety fives you do hit. Yeah, that's the one. Oh, that's too good. What's the mod name? Ah, uh, it's the Fantasy Bros. Or playing with Legends as well. Wait, what? Oh, uh, I, I was slurring it up, chat. I was, I knew what I was saying in my head. So it's, you miss one hundred. Where was it? One hundred percent. That'll probably work. That sounds like it's good. No, I'm not angrily typing. I'm typing up my thoughts. And I think my thoughts are okay, chat. Can I change this to be font? Can I make it just bigger? You miss 100% of the 5% shots you don't take, and you miss 100% of the 95% shots you do take. Welcome to the Snowman Club. <laughs> I'm not calculating numbers. I'm trying to write it down correctly so it sounds okay, and it sounds correct. So you miss 100% of the shots. Yeah, basically, that's that's the thing. <laughs> so you miss 100% of the shots. Yeah, that's basically it, Heck <laughs> You never hit. That's all it is. Welcome to XCOM, welcome to Battle Brothers. <laughs> that's the meme. There's no meme, you just don't win. <laughs> I just had to say it right and write it down right because I was I was jumping between my words and going I was I thought I was saying it right the first time but then I wasn't so that's why I had to write it down just to be safe 33% I'm not hitting that and I'm not hitting 36s either so uh, I don't know what I was thinking was there a spin that I missed I missed <coughs> a spin Oh, God, it's a Necro. Nope, it's not a Necro. It's a decapitated body over here. Very slight similar differences. Uh, but Nykrix is the culprit regardless. And we'll spin after this fight. Nice. It's like the game's world where there was no wins. The game just got tougher till you lost. There's no joy, no winning, just suffering. It's kind of like how some roguelikes are, where they're like, you have to improve. But only improving just makes you live a little bit longer and feel a little bit less pain for a little bit longer. Yeah, losing is fun. Exactly, Dre, is this exactly. That's all you'll ever get to feel is more losing. And you will enjoy your fair share of losing. Hey, dog, don't steal my kills. Don't do it. I'm trying to, I'm trying to farm for stats. Did I get the extra stat? I don't even know. I got a peasant flail, that's nice, at 80 bucks. You know what? Because I did this brigand quest, I'm feeling a little confident. Maybe that's a bad thing. But I'm feeling better, chat, and I might be able to go after these beasts with a good, clean conscience. Plus, there's only two weapon stacks on Fall Zero at the moment, which we want more. And there's no weapon stacks on Sing, because Sing's too good for the weapon stacks, sadly. So we save, we spin, and we go after some beastie boys. Wait, this isn't Legend of Zelda, says Gagbolt? No, it's not Legend of Zelda. We finally have no legs. We cut them off. Probably from falling from fall damage too often on Zelda. So now Zelda's just a stump of a person. And we have to use a moped to get around now. Or, what, is, what do they... Build a motorbike? Build some sort of machine. Self-destructing machine that is going to get us around the world. And or just, you know... Permanent injuries, that'll be it. <laughs> Power streams on a single combat spin? Well, because we kept dying, Barlow, and that is how this works. Can't do much if you're dead. Uh, that is a random event. In the middle of the forest, you say. Middle of the forest. It's day 12, we're making good headway, chat. We lose food. 
because Nykrix tells us some of it's gone bad. Thanks for telling us. We'll be right back after these messages. If you or a loved one have been diagnosed with mesothelioma, maybe you are hanging out in the forest too much, and you've decided to eat some berries that your wildman bro has decided to give to you. And uh, you may have probably wanted to heed his vice previously, and now you have decided to get yourself stuck with a bad disease, and there is no insurance policy for that at all. So, uh, sucks to be you, have a good day, and now return to scheduled programming. We're back! Anyways... We're alive, and we're spinning! With... Dice! And I beat full zero with a 15 to 10! Let's go! Beautiful. And I'm not gambling anymore. So, $300 is ours. Good events, good events. Lend him a thousand... Wait, what? There's a man sitting in a daze. My child is ill. I'd borrowed a thousand for medication, but those blasted thieves have stolen it all. They disappeared, making a discovery... This is bait. This is not an event that I'm used to. This has got to be bait. Chat, you can't goad me into bad financial decisions. Even though that's what you always do. Lending this random dude who got his money stolen to now lend him money that it's probably just going to get stolen. Fudge, chat. You're the worst. Repay this favor someday. If this dude's like some sort of deity and he gives me like something fancy. Lent money to a stranger out of compassion like spending reward. He better pay... I just lost a thousand bucks. He better pay me back. He better do it, chat. I'm gonna wait. Our monk seems to answer about the shadows. Oh, it's the puppet shadows. And gets a permanent resolve. Nice. Okay, so interesting random events. Fantasy mod better have given us a good event. I mean, it's the first fantasy mod event. It's a one-eyed man in the fantasy mod, maybe. But for science, we've lent money and um, are hoping for a future reward. Kind of like how we're hoping our raven comes back. Because remember, we let that falcon out. It's not coming back yet. We paid him a thousand, so you're only out zero. You want a hundred free crowns. <sighs> yeah, that totally makes sense, Covers. It's just a zero that's missing. <laughs> That's the way to look at it. Oh boy, okay, let's go fight these beasts. Let's earn the money that we just lost. I need to bring it into the militia if possible. Oh, it's Nox. Okay, that's not too bad. <gasps> brigands! No, no, no! Come back, Brigands! Fine. Gotta cheese this, chat. Gotta cheese it. The Raven will come back. Remember that last Falcon out? Yeah, I know. I've had a Falcon return. Oh, dear God, it's a caravan. And a militia. Okay, these guys are screwed. Zero is no crown, so amazing investment. Maybe the surprise reward is a boat. <laughs> so we can go sailing for the rest of our days, chat. We need a yacht. There need to be yachts in Battle Brothers, and we need to flaunt our wealth. Let's combat spin this fight. Yeah, you guys can combat spin this fight. I'll give you a combat spin for this one if you spin within the next four minutes if we can lose or win in the f next four minutes dear god he just one shot him yeah chat you ain't got a chance oh but there's now a corpse I may have spoken too soon never mind I may have spoken too soon and they're walking backwards okay yep that's gonna be a free tier two Hmm. Fighting with the caravan has actually helped you with your ambition because they will like you more. Yeah, that too. That would be nice. But except I've... No, oh, no, no. I haven't done that of ambition yet. No, I have. Yeah, I have. Because I'm onto the, uh, the banner ambition, aren't I? I'm losing my mind, chat. I can't remember what ambition I'm on. Must have been a headshot. Yeah, headshot most likely. Uh, the poachers are actually pretty strong. Wait, he walked up to us? 
Oh, okay. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Get wrecked! Yeah, these guys don't stand a chance. Except the tier 2 might stand a chance. You're holding the banner, my dude? Oh, yeah, you're right. I do have the banner. Chat, it's uh, 1 in the morning. I will blame it on my sleep. <laughs> and on the fact that I'm... Very confused about that one-eyed man thingy. It's not, I don't think he's one-eyed, but you know. He's very interesting, to say the least. Five damage. I min-rolled. I could not roll lower. 38's a lot better than five, Sing, so good job. Uh, no, we missed that. Baby steps ended, Finlander? Wait, what baby steps? For me, it's early evening. Well, then you have no excuse for being tired. I'm just going to tell you right now, Saren. You don't have an excuse. I have the excuse. And I will ride that excuse for the rest of my life. But you just don't have one. And that's the difference between you and me. <laughs> As I, a time zone enthusiast, time traveler, I have all the excuses in the world to tell people that I'm tired. In the future, because, you know... You guys are in the past, I'm in the future, and that's how it works. That's just how it works. One minute. I think we win in one minute, chat. I don't think you're going to get a combat spin in time. They're fleeing. Unless the tier 2 pulls out some miracle. I think we got this. I'm not putting fall zero forward. No way. I don't know who wants to deal with that tier 2. He's fleeing! Ah! Sucker. He's getting sniped, though. How's the weather at the moment, Apoth? Uh, it's a little bit cold, but it's not... It's cooling down because it's winter. So it's not too bad. Some days are a little bit warmer in the middle of the day, because in Australia it's never, like, cold. You're baking over there? Sheesh. Heat wave or something? Winter, it's summer? No, 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 it's winter. It's the middle of... what? Well, not the middle of winter. It's almost the middle of winter. Kind of the middle of winter. Is there a spin that I missed? I missed a spin? Oh, God, it's a necro. Yes, yes, you got your spin, chat. I doubt you're even smoking over there, Apoth. It's a red. It, watch it be a dog. Watch it be rigged. Nope, the traitor's militia captain. There's literally a militia captain right in front of us. Where's the other militia captain we had? There he is. I'm so blind. So it's now militia captain versus militia captain. I mean, we could get some good armor. That's a good helmet. I want that helmet. Okay, let's go get him, chat. He better not flee. Also, I can stop this guy from fleeing, too. He's trapped in vines, but you can't see it because he's a tier 2. Because the game doesn't like it when they're different sized. I feel the militia turning on me now. Yeah, if I fight the militia and then they fight me back, that's going to be funny. It better not. I should be okay, chat. I'm totally going to be okay. Uh, if you get headshots on me, I'm going to be pissed. But you have got garbage stats, so let me go here the dog out? No, I don't need to risk the dog's life. He's still confident. That is worrisome. He breaks free, but he doesn't stand a chance. Okay, what happens with the captain? Tier 1 leaves. Captain, I think, just waited. And he didn't learn a new stat. I'm not moving forward just yet. Come on, 89%! Oh, you're trying to go the fancy way around. I see it. That's good. That makes you closer to my dudes. 
And the other captain. Okay, he's dead. Good play. Now we move down. Okay, this way. This way. One, two, three, four. That's a bit close. Oh, I trust that he's not going to do anything stupid, right? The spirit is not going to move, is he? He probably is. He's probably going to ruin my life. Hmm. Uh, anonymous gifting. Thank you so much for the tier one gifted to the community. Don't know who to thank, but appreciate the support regardless of whoever it is. Thank you so much, man. Glad you're enjoying. And uh, Captain Forty says, uh, "Mad there wasn't a stream, but you're already streaming. <laughs> That's the way to do it. Just get upset that Snow's not streaming, and then be like, oh wait, he actually is streaming. It's a good time to be alive." And enjoying the stream. That's that's the good outcome. It's it's the bad outcome if you, if I'm not streaming, and you have a reason to be upset about it. Oh dear God, he died. The militia on militia action chat. The militia are turning on themselves. Evil around. Oh, that's a thirty percent. That's not good. When do I force spim tap claws? Spim claws redeems. No no no! You're not forcing me to spim claws. Spim Claws is my own decision, chat. I'm allowed to make my own decisions in this game. And and that's a very, very valuable and sacred decision to myself. Of when I want to screw myself and make life more difficult for me. My life is not super difficult when it comes to spins at the moment. But when it does, I have my way of surviving. Which is not right now. <laughs> Oh, that was a nice 25, which is really low. He hit Force Quest. Force Quest was, like, the most dangerous thing, in my opinion. It was one of the most deadliest things. If we get Force Quest back, it's going to be something slightly different. Slightly different. I'll have to think about it. Mr. James, you normally don't spin right at the beginning of a run. Oh, don't steal my kills. Don't do it. Uh, you normally don't spin at the start of a run, no. Hill of Two Bushes would have been a good spot. This one. Yeah, that wouldn't have been too bad. But a hammer to the face and we get him. Oh, we get the cleaver and a little bit of armor. And the shield. Nice. I didn't get the helmet, though. He had the best helmet. That's alright. We live without it, chat. We live without it. We're sad, but we live without it. So, uh, Butcher Cleaver for the win. I don't know who's going to use it, because accuracy isn't the greatest thing we have. So I probably could just, I mean, sell it. Uh, the armor piece, though, is an upgrade for... Yeah, you do need it, Blushkin. I'm sorry. Your armor sucks. Just going to be honest. Uh, Snow Forest Daddy does level up, though. And I think it is... I can't go in 6 Swarm, which is sad. It can be Summon Wolf Time. Which means we now have another doggy to bring out into the fights. And we're just getting stronger, chat. It's just that good. Easy fight. Easy money. And how's our renown after we hand this in? There's no new quests, but we're up to 2,500. Nice. And friendly civilization might be... <gasps> it's done. It's done. <laughs> Excuse me, we're at 500, it, we need to get to 334, we're at 500, we need to quickly camp, chat, we could get really close. Is it southern states? No, 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 not the southern states. Trade goods are now, uh, 12 enemies maybe, 12 enemies is the one we can do. So from 333, plus the quest, plus the ambition, 434. We are so close to increasing the party size. One ambition is all we need. So we need to find something that's 12 enemies or more. That's going to be interesting. Interesting. We can summon dogs. Seems like free confidence for the enemy. It can be, but wolves are slightly different to dogs because they're a little bit better in damage, stats, and whatever, and health. They've got like 90 health when dogs have like 60. So they don't have armor, but they're kind of okay. It's a free summon per battle, so it's not like it's costing me anything. And they're good against archers and, like, rabble and stuff. But, yeah. 
Mar party size limit, is that a campaign setting? Oh, oh, um, party size limit is different in uh, Legends, where it's tied to your renown level. And increasing your renown level increases your party size for most origins. So it's a progressive thing, which I really do love. I love how it's done, it, and it really marks the progress of your game. It, it follows along the progress of the game, and it does a really good job. Uh, I think we go back to Farn Stat, because there's no quests left over here. Yeah. So we ended up after recruiting. Did we spin for Barlow? Wait, did Barlow spin? Yay, yeah, we did. It was combat spin, Star Phase. We did a combat spin to be nice, because of how stacked the fight was. And we killed a militia captain. Uh, I don't know if I want to do this cargo. Maybe. But thanks for double-checking on that, because no, I didn't spin his, comp, spin his spin outside of combat. Up to 2,800. Ooh, we're getting close to buying a cool background shot. It might be in perfect timing. I can sell the clear. Oh, I need to repair that and sell it, maybe. I think I do this delivery, just because I want the money. And because... Specifically... That's a long trip. It's not a good delivery quest, but it resets me back down to Konigshaven, and might get me in a fight, and it gets me to another big city to refresh their quests, because all the other big cities have been running out of quests, sadly. So, yeah. Better that enemies get the confidence with from some of them rather than killing a brother, and also them rather than killing a dog that I spent money on. Oh, Havelberg ran out of quests, I think, didn't they? Uh, they have a tier 4 and a tier 1. Yeah, they ran out of quests, chat. So it's good that I went down to Konigshaven. Definitely a good choice. I'm not regretting this decision. See, the alternative would be worse. So, you know. See, see, I knew as soon as, as soon as I saw the tier four, I knew you guys would be pushing for it. So I'm really glad I didn't have to worry about it. See, you can't you can't bully me into doing the tier four, because I just can't do it. And by the time I come back, it's probably gone. So oh, oh no, chat. The tier four is just undoable. What a what a horrible Horrible time to be live. <laughs> Any hint on what the Tuesday stream is going to be, or is it still Hex? Uh, no, Sunday's was Hex, which is today. And it's now turned into Fantasy Bros. Tuesday's was Red Courts, and now it's just Legends. Because we're playing with the new mod to play around with the uh, new changes. To test it out, technically. But also to enjoy Legends a little bit. But it's Peasants. Yeah, we're playing Peasants. Which is not technically tomorrow for my time, but it might be tomorrow for your time. Because it's still a day and a bit away for me, because it's a Tuesday and it's a still a... No, it's actually Monday. Wait a minute, it's Monday now. Why do I always think this stream stays on a Sunday? When it's technically Monday morning, my time. Yeah, it's, it's technically tomorrow plus eight and a half hours. So eight and a half plus twenty four is thirty two and a half hours away. Is the next stream from now? The the American time zone stream technically. Was there a spin that I missed? I missed a spin. Oh God, it's a necro. Oh H two O. Yes, they do. They hundred percent do. That's something I showed in my hundred days videos, and that is still a thing for legends. And if any other mod attaches to legends, it, it usually still keeps that uh, effect. So towns do grow and get bigger and add stuff and all that kind of fun stuff, because that's part of the world economy sub mod that's added into legends. Legion's going for a spin, which is nice. I'm gonna see if there's anything good for that. It is a positive trait. Love to see those. We've got Lushkin, Saka, Fall Zero. But I know you're just thinking about Nykrix or Snow. It's got to be those two. Streamer's Choice. Oh, wow, you are too kind. Who would I give it to? It's a good question. I mean, these two have been buffed a lot. But I'm going to be honest that Nykrix doesn't have many positive traits. Snow has gotten mad. Hmm. It says random trait, but random positive trait is pretty much what it's meant to be. That's what... Some of them... Most of them are positive. It does say random, but it's most of them are positive, so that's why I call it positive trait. And that's why I call the red one minus a negative trait, because that's mostly what you use it for. 
Any bros died in this run so far? Actually, no. We've done really well. Third time's a charm, right, chat? First two ones, so great. I could add pause it to the spin text. I could, but then I'd have to edit that in my other... It's, 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 a, it's not a text, it's a photo. <laughs> it's a photo of text. I'd have to edit it. But I could do it. Um, but let's go and give Mr. Nykrix a buff. I know. I want to buff the other guys. I don't know who needs it the most. Maybe Fall Zero needs a buff. I mean, he already has Iron Lungs and a Patient, which is great. Maybe Lushkin, because he feels down. He's he's a good bro. He's doing well. But he did just have to lose a bad trait. Let's get... Okay, we, you, you guys are going to buff him anyways. You're going to buff Nykrix. Let's buff Lushkin. Dear God. Okay, he's fine now. Lushkin's perfectly okay with this. Oh, I love the Inquisition perk trait. I love it. I love this trait. Such a good one. This is what you want all your frontliners to have. I mean, you can only really get it once. But it's such a good one. So, nicely done. I mean, if Nykrix had it, I'd still be happy, but he doesn't really need it so much. But Lushkin, nice. Well done. Well done. Now, hey, we have two new quests. Three-day caravan back to Trogonshat, which is a long way away. Or a three-star fall of the tracks, which I am very interested in. So we save up, we go fall of the tracks, then we do a caravan, obviously. It's the only options we really have out here in the middle of nowhere. Game's not giving us too many options. That's not a fall of the tracks. Uh-oh. They're gonna catch me. I'm slow on the sands. I'm a slow snowman. Down in the sands! Are you freaking kidding me? Go away! Oh, why? Why? What did I do? What I do deserve this, chat. It's fine. I've got a druid. I'm not panicking. You're panicking. Freaking hyenas. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. We take the high ground. Who do we go for? Do I uh, do I root? No, no, no. I root this one. I then go here. I then go here with the sixty-four. 95, get a permanent melee skill. Kill with the hyena here. 45 and a 10, perfect. Okay, see, I didn't need to root this one. I was fine. Then, Nykrix takes the top flank as he tries to flank in. Right? Because then I can't leave Sing alone. That one runs up. We dodge a 27, 27. He comes back around because he's an idiot. We run up here with Nykrix. We stop this one so Nykrix can get to him. And then we just win. Double overwhelm, it's over. Didn't get a free stat, that's okay. It's GG. See, I was fine. I didn't need to do the summons, the summons were too slow. The root is just so strong. It is the strongest thing to have crowd control in this game. Oh, I missed an 80%. Come on, Nykrix. You're not meant to be missing so much. See, now I shouldn't do a root. Now I should summon a friend. Because now it's bait against the dude that doesn't have its shield. But he is really tanky because he's got a good dodge. But now if the wolf tanks for me, I'm fine. Yeah, it's over. Fails. And it's GG. Not a single point of damage taken. See, I, the enemy thinking they can beat me with four hyenas, not really worried. The enemy thinking they can beat me with 13 knocks, that is a bit more annoying, because I kind of agree with them. Why did I low roll that? Oh, unfortunate. Hey, Nykrix hit once. Good job, buddy. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> okay, away, Nox. Go away. Stop bothering me. Come here, thieves. Into the fight we go. 12 enemy goals. Go for it, says Night Angel. Oh, you are correct, technically. 
You are very correct tonight, Angel. Fudge. Yeah, I might have to do it. We're seeing ten enemies here. It's gonna knock me enough for the ambition. <sighs> Why do you have to be right? Just spim claws for tw two for twelve? Yeah, I don't want to spim claws twice for twelve. <laughs> I don't know if it'll count that way, actually, to be honest, Barlow. Will it count if you change the number in combat? Or does it count based off of what you started in combat? And I'm not doing it for science chat. So that is an interesting thing to think about. Do dogs count? Yes, dogs count as enemies when it comes to the count of enemies. Dogs don't count when it comes to patrol quests, but they count as enemies, technically. Science failed. I know! Science has failed us. Or I have failed science. It's probably that. And I think I'll lean towards that one as well. Uh, Singh, could you kindly throw a beautiful, beautiful shirk in there? What's the bamboo spear? How does it get stats? Oh, sorry, Death Row, you weren't here for that. There are some training items in the game, and there's three of them that I've seen. And one of the abilities on every training item, which is usually their main attack, except for the spear, it's not, uh, is weapon training, 20% chance to permanently increase your melee skill by plus one, must have less than 55 melee skill, and less than seven weapon training stacks. So that technically means... To get the maximum plus 7 melee skill out of this weapon, you need to start the bros training and continue the bros training from 48 melee skill. We're at 48 right now with plus 3. So we have 4 more melee skill we can teach fall 0. So this is... It's not overpowered in the slightest. It is not. This is really bad. But... It's really balanced. It's not bad. It's, bad's the wrong word. It's really balanced. Because it allows, like, level 1 bros that are really, really down on their luck to do a little bit of weapon training before they level up, before their stats increase, to get them over the mark of where you want them to be. It's a weak weapon, but it's useful to get people up. It's not a strong weapon in damage, but it's a lot stronger than, saying, a basic spear. Because it's 20 to 40... Gives you 3 defense, 25% ignores, 80 against armor. Excuse me. So it's it's definitely feeling stronger than a Militia Spear. Its special attack does pretty good damage. Because it has 40% accuracy. So yeah. It's strong with 60% hit chance. Yeah. It's insane with 40% extra hit chance. 20% for thrust, 40% for focus. It's nice for that. But I mean, the damage isn't insane, but it's good against things like Thugs and Rabble. Fix the Stevie Wonders and the Helen Kellers of the world, which is great. Not that there's anything wrong with those people, but they do not have the accuracy they need in the early levels. So Fall Zero did not get the 20% drop. Dang it. But he's getting there. He's working on it. Snow misses an 85. You're a disgrace, buddy. Yeah, they're starting to go back a bit. Good for pure tanks who didn't want guest tax to start. Exactly, and that's what that is what Fall Zero is. He's a pure tank that I don't want to put attack into. So instead of having to spend points on him, I'm using a weapon to give him plus seven, which is when you think of it in that term, that's amazing. And I love it. Do you want to use a combat spin this fight? No, it's it's literally rabble. <laughs> no. Appreciate the enthusiasm, though. Good polearm for new bros. Does it reach? No, it's not a polearm. It's a two-handed spear. Though it does look like a polearm because it's really long. But it's not. Thank you, Snow, for not being failure there. Don't think I can catch this dude. He's fast. Wolfie has decided to miss a few times, which is unfortunate. So is Sing. Actually, Wolfie might be able to catch him. 
Yeah, I should summon the second dog now that I have the time. This wolf is fast as well. Don't go for the same dude! Uh, kind of expected that. I'll run him down. We gotta get this loot. One, two, three, four. Oh, wait, wait, he can catch him! Ah, double dog wins. Nice. Is there a spin that I missed? I missed a spin? Oh god, it's a necro. A spin and a lovely gifted sub. Thank you, Lord Swagulon. Much appreciated for this sub to the community. Absolutely appreciate the support, man. And uh, congratulations to Erdna94 for your gifted sub. And Apoth for the zoomy spin, which we will do right after this. Poacher is holding his ground. Desperate. And afraid. Dogs might kill him. But I'm going to try and steal a stat, and I can't get one. That's okay. Not the end of the world, just try to farm those stats. Because it, it helps. It helps every little bit for our poor Fall Zero with the plus three. That's, wait, plus three is just like a a two-star click-up. It's a gifted for his melee skill, so it's like, it's worth it. It's 188 bucks to buy the bamboo spear, roughly. So, I mean, I'm not complaining. Do I fight them at night? No, I fight them during the day. Come here. Come on. Don't you catch me. Oh, it's stupid autopathing. No alert for the sub? There was. I swear there was. It was a gifted sub. Who did the sub? Yeah, the Swagulon gave out the gifted. Did someone do a normal sub that I missed? Not that I can see on my activity feed. But I'm glad most everybody heard the, heard the stuff. We had the spin right after. Yeah, yeah, the spin was right after. Yeah, yeah, that's why it was. It was both at the same time. How many shurikens do you get per fight? Seems like a bit. It's ten shurikens. So it's a lot of shurikens. And I'm running out of ammunition, so thank you for reminding me. Um... What was the spin? Oh, I didn't even do it, Apoth. Sorry, I didn't do the spin yet. <laughs> I was too busy worried about fighting the Nox and running out of ammunition. So I'll do it after this fight. Sorry, man. We have a nice high round. We're going to do our last stand here. This had better not go bad. I did not want to do a night fight. I didn't want to do it. Combat spin or post? It's post combat. Post. No, 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 no. I can't do a combat spin. It's too scary. Way too scary. Uh, do I bring up Wolvie Boys? Yeah, I think I have to. Don't die on me, Wolf. Oh, I forgot this is a... It's got spear wall on it. I forgot about that. Probably not the best thing to put on our dodge tank, but you know. Yeah, because she missed a 69. <laughs> oh, fall zero. I, I wasn't expecting much. It's okay. Better dead wolves than dead bros. Except for the dead wolves are going to give corpses, Captain Forty. That's the thing I'm worried about. If the dead wolves give them corpses, it could be really bad. Oh, he's going to get a kill. Good job, Wolfie. Oh, the wolfie took a hit. 31's at night. Is that even good? It's not even good. What about the staff? Am I going to hit better staff things at night? 43's. Yeah, I'll take 43's. I'll take high ground 53's. With injuries! And I'm a potent. I didn't even know it. Oh, they're going to try and eat the corpses, aren't they? Nykrix, I need Blushkin to save your ass. I also need the dog out. Snow, don't fail me. No, I missed a 76! That's not good. Just walk on the corpse, like nothing ever happened. 
I think a spirit wolf wouldn't leave a corpse, you know, being a spirit. Well, you'd think, and I could be incorrect, but I think it leaves a corpse. Oh, we're surrounded by six. Five. Oh, no. Lushkin's gonna die. And the spirit wolf's gonna die. Oh, we're all gonna die. The wolf leaves a corpse. I told you. I told you he would. Oh, we killed a knock. Lushkin, please. Please survive. Sokka, please. You're out of armor. Lushkin's dodging. No! He's gonna die. Give me my turn, you darn game. You have so many enemies on me. And he's dead. Struck down Sokka. He's not dead! He lives! The staff bashes from Sing. The 73 miss from Nykrix. Nykrix, you have been such a disappointment. How? How do you miss everything, man? I need you so badly. We've buffed you. The dog does better than you. What? Oh, and there's so many corpses I can't control. There are so many corpses I can't control. I have one wolf. Thank you, Violin, for helping. I don't know what to do anymore. I can't spim claws, that makes everything worse. I need a shield wall with Lushkin, because he's going to be fine if he shield walls. Dog, if you get this kill, that's kind of okay. Don't you dare eat. Oh, Snow's dying. Snow, you took a hit for us, thank you. Now I'm worried. Oh, stop hitting 41s, you stupid Nox! The dog did nothing? What? Why did the dog do nothing? Double 54s by Sing. Oh no, we might lose here. Twenty one's not enough. Snow, what are you doing? I missed a 74 again. Nightcrix, that took you way too long. I missed a 58. Come on, I can't hit anything and so it gets game over. Why is it game over, chat? The headshot was lucky. The double 48s are lucky. The dog gets the kill. The distraction? We outspeed? Wait, wait, we can win. We can win! No freaking way. Oh, son of a... We win. We freaking win. We do it! Oh, I need this... Oh, Lushkin, you might die, though. Lushkin has literally survived death countless times in this fight. There are so many times he could die. We actually clutch. How? How did we just clutch that? That was pure luck. Lushkin dodged so many freaking attacks. How did he dodge so many? That was pure luck. We should not have won that fight. We should not have won that fight. That, that should not have been a winnable fight. He dodged like 10-50% in a row. Sokka takes an injury, we can fix that. We can fix it. The fact that he didn't die outright means we didn't lose anything in that fight. Holy crap. Lushkin went big. Nykrix finally hit something. And Fall Zero with his spear actually did work. Sing was doing a bit more damage with that staff. More than he w she would have done or he would have done in these the shurikens which we ran out of. Snow missed some really important hits. Look at Snow's accuracy, 63%. That's bad, Snow. Stop failing for me. That fight wasn't worth anything except for ambition. And now we can increase the party size. So that's the only real value of that, which I think is still valuable. Eight contracts, five city-states. 
We'll do an eight contracts. It's just the easy one to go. Oh, that was risky chat. We'll see if there's some new party members that we can find. If not, I'm gonna actually, you know what? I'm gonna save money. Let's buy a mommy. I want to buy a mommy for sure, but I don't have enough money for it. I've got 30, wait, 37. That might be enough. Deliver cargo to Schneeberg. Maybe. Maybe I have enough chat. Ammunition. I know I'm out of ammunition, but it's too expensive at the moment. I can just go to slings. Is there a spin that I missed? I missed a spin? Oh god, it's a necro. Sling can just cheat and use slings. It's not that bad. But we do have the off-combat spin of Apoth and Death Row. So we'll do those two before I forget. We can sell these. I'm not going to make the necklaces. I'm up to 4k. I have a chance of getting a nice good one. Do I get rid of the Fianifer? Mm, no, I have a dodge bro, so I shouldn't get rid of it. Uh, I can get rid of some of these crappy weapons that I don't care about. I can repair the military cleaver. I have lots of tools. Yeah, that's a good idea. Repair the cleaver. Salvage the crap. Not the flail. The flail's not crap. The game keeps thinking peasant flails are crap. I keep telling the game it's wrong. We save. We spin. Exactly, highest Mongo, exactly. All the good stuff. That's a heal. We'll take those. Never punished. Elbow finished. Thank you so much, Mr. Apoth. No, that's a H. Why did I go H? V for Vitality. Sokka is fixed. It's perfect. He's back from the grave. And then our next spin is for Death Row to get some random events. Hopefully they're money events. Hopefully I'm not, you know, donating a thousand dollars again, chat. Hmm. I remove the fur and have a helmet now. Oh. Oh, I was meant to keep the... How much does the helmet sell for? A thousand bucks. Oh. Yeah, I missed it, Scabbled. That's my fault. Uh, what if I go... Uh, hear me out. If I go food... How much does the unhold thing sell for? If it's a hundred bucks, then it's worth it. Three hundred bucks. Then I buy back the Jagged Fangs, and that's 100 bucks total. And then I delete the Jagged Fangs. And then, technically, I sold the Hyena for a chat. There we go. Okay, everything's all back to normal. It was just a bad trade. Accidentally hit the wrong button. All good. So, uh, random events. We now need to save. There we go. Please give me my 1000 bucks back. Uh, you guys going to cow tipping. Okay. Who wants to go cow tipping shot? Raise your hand. Let's see if you get lucky. Let's see who gets the lucky cow tipper. I mean, you probably just get a broken nose. I think that's what they usually you get. Captain wants to go to cow tipping. Yeah, go go pick him for sure. Go Royal and pay Master Bro to pump the money. Yeah, maybe I have to. Uh, who goes and tips it? Let's see. It is. Snowforce Daddy goes and tips the cow. <laughs> you wonder what you're not in the party, says Starface. Cow tipping's fun. Too much fun. But I get to go and do it, and everyone gets happy because of it. Nice. No nose. The nose is not a problem, surprisingly. I just fell over in the mud. And the oiled crap. Yeah, the well-oiled crap. Nice. Nice. Are the events result for my spin? Yes, Apoth. They are from... No, no, no. Apoth, you got the heal. Death Row's got the the um the events. So these are for Death Row. Uh, we get an infected wound on Lushkin. Not good. No nose in the poop. Yeah. Lushkin no longer suffers from infected wounds. 
Well, then make up your mind, Lushkin. Why can't you make up your mind? You have an infected wound, then you don't have it. You put some leeches on it, you didn't put leeches on it. You now would... Somehow... He's hallucinating, chat. He's hallucinating. Parkour! <laughs> exactly, my angel. Oh, good stuff. I have to be right back. Because the event decided to crash. So, we will be back and uh, finish it all up with one more event. Oh, the game does know how to make things interesting sometimes. Definitely does. <laughs> Finally, it is... Oh, it's the Gambler! Yes, I want to do it. 125 grounds, give me something good. I get a wreath. Let's go. I know I said I wasn't going to spend money, chat. But hear me out. It's ugly. Wait, what if I... Hmm. I know there's a better way the wreath looks. A metallic wreath in the ancient stone. It looks good, but it's gotta look good on the right bro. Sokka? It looks better on Sokka. I can't put it on these helmets. Yeah, that's right. I think Sock is the right person to put it on. Because that, that kind of looks good. It didn't look good on anyone else. Yeah, yeah. The good old Roman Emperor. Doesn't so gamblers. I got them all at helmet layer level 3. Yep, exactly. That's how you do it. You just gotta get all of them. Nice. Okay, good events chat. Uh, Dev tools can go back off for the moment. Nice. And then we now have to find out where a Sneeberg is and see if I can make some money off saying hello to them. And I can, I can, okay. So we go to Sneeberg, we go find our new bro, and then I get to go to sleep chat. <laughs> Easy choice. I know I need ammo, but I'm not going to spend the money here. But I'm not desperate for ammo at the moment. I'll save money on not buying ammo. The sling doesn't need ammo, so I'll survive with it. But yeah, the fancy town's where we're headed. Schneeberg, you got a quest for us? Oh, it's a caravan west. That's where we're headed. Granite Fest, which is... Literally next to fancy town. Sweet. Easy stuff. I'll buy some salt to make some money along the way. Hey, hey, hey. Chat, we're going to get ourselves a nice fantasy bro for sure. Uh, I buy a couple pieces of food, sell the crap and gruel that I've been feeding you this entire time, switch it up for some new crap and gruel, and I'll buy you a piece of bread. Okay, chat, you'll be happy, healthy, maybe not as emphasis on the healthy. You'll be fine. We also need to heal you guys up. Don't forget that I've ignored your healings, chat. Infected wounds, what infected wounds? It's fine. It's fine. Yesterday's stream, they gave you a sub. Nice. Is it gluten-free bread? Um, How about you have a taste of it and you tell me? You're probably a better, you know, discerner of that. What am I? A baker? <laughs> we'll steal from the cart and get 30 tools. Holy crap, that was... Really good. I'll take that. Bread is bread, gluten or not. Well, yeah, I guess. There's different types of bread, though. But it still technically is all bread. <laughs> Yo, Eddie says, well. <laughs> well, you know, it'll work. I'm sure it'll work somehow. Some will find out. Whether they like to or not. Uh, let's go and make some more meds for the rest of this. As much as I want to do a camping tra training camp, let's just do meds. Fully healed. Yeah, I know, Starface. I was distracted by reading chat. We got fully healed really quickly. <laughs> Apoth says I'm the butcher and Barlow's the candlestick maker. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you get a bit of crowns, a bit of experience. We reach our destination, 17. Make a bit of profit. 449 for the cleaver. Do I sell it? No, because my new bro might be good enough to hold it. 
So let's not say we did, chat. We can sell everything else, though. Make room for the new bro. Make way for the new fantasy bro. No, I stock up on good stuff. Okay, let's go. Fancy Town, what are they going to have for us? Never sell the cleavers? Yeah, I know. Get a Baku. I'm keen on getting either the Baku, Mommy, or... Maybe like a wizard of some sort. So let's have a look what the options are. That's barely enough. I don't want to get a Lubu. I'm not super keen on their build. Enchantress, great. Oh, that's a 3800 for the Amazon. Or is there a spin that I missed? I missed a spin? Oh, that's tempting. Oh, God, it's a Necro. There's the unarmed dude. Don't want him as much. Uh, there's the druid. Expensive. Eight grand for a demon slayer? Holy crap. Hobgoblin. The demon slayers are expensive. <gasps> there's a money maker. But he's too expensive. Chat, we need a money maker. We need him. We need to make money with him. There's no... Oh, we could do the quest here. You're right, we could do it. I need to save before I end, because I don't trust myself. I don't trust the quest. We need the money printer for sure. We save. We do the Adventurer's Guild for 870, and we fight. It's spiders. It's only four spiders. Please tell me they're just weak. Please tell me this is free money, chat. It's gotta be free money, right? They can't be fancy spiders. I know they have green eyes, but are they really that fancy? Oh, that was a good hit. Oh, that was a good hit. Come on. Come on. End it. End it. No, I missed the 66. Oh, dear God, the hurt. Lucky 22% of all things. Okay, that missed. That's a big hit. Uh, distract. I don't want to lose Lushkin. He's got a lot of health, which means he's okay. The spiders seem pretty easy. Sphere wall. Come on, Lushkin. Don't fail me, buddy. Come on. 25%. Runs around the top. That's good. Doggy gets the kill. Come on, spiders. Please be the easy win that we needed. Dog goes in. Yes! Double dog for the win. We win. Let's go. They're not redbacks. They're not fancy. It's just four basic spiders. Easy money. Easy money and we get our royal. As much as we don't like the nobility chat, they pay the bills. Lord Goodobald. Every single fight we get into will be $200 reduced for us. He's expensive, but he's worth it. We have to get the royal. For what do I get the royal, says Drexus? You want him? <laughs> I know you want him. But we have to take him in. 200 gold, 20 for kill. He's paranoid and drunk. He's got great melee skill. His defense is guaranteed to be 8. Nice to start with. He's nice. He has nice perks as well. Happy to have him. So, uh, do I give him the Butcher's Cleaver or the Sword? The Sword has the accuracy... Give him a shield. Helmet-wise, 70s. His noble tunic sucks. Like, really sucks. So he needs a better armor piece. Sell that for $12. Really? Only 12 Ugh. Ugh. Does PTR work with this? No, unfortunately, Stefan. PTR does not work with this. Make him a banner, bro? I could. I could make him a banner, bro. His defense is alright because of the paranoid. Uh, he does have mind of her body, but he doesn't have rally the troops, does he? He's got inspire. 
But I don't see Rally the Troops any. Oh, there it is. I'm blind. And also, it's moved. No, he does have Rally the Troops. Don't know if Banner's the right choice, but it's not a bad choice. Because then that allows me to go, what? Paymaster perks to make even more money? With the barter percent? Paymaster plus convincing proposals. Plus he already has 0.5% barter on him as well. Banner does allow me to... It allows me to get away with doing Paymaster perks. It's not amazing, but it's helpful. Sword Repose, Dagger, Easy Kill. Yeah, I know, but his stats aren't like that amazing compared to like the first one we had. So the reason why our first um, dude was amazing is because he was the origin character. Because you know all these stars. So I don't think he's worth it for that. Needing for all the expensive bros. Yeah, I need, I need to deal with it. Because if he's paying 55 bucks a day at level 1. Because remember chat, remember, every time you level up a bro, their pay increases. Uh, ex not exponentially, uh, linearly. I think it's linearly. But yeah, every time you level a bro, they the inc pay increases. So we've got to find ways of reducing it. 42 is not worth mind over body. You are technically correct with no stars. You are technically correct. So what is he better with? Not mind over body. Uh, maybe I could still work it. 40, that's not 42. That's 37. Because he's drunk. Ooh. Clarity? Clarity's bad. Clarity is the 10% ignores armor. Ten, it's not worth it. 10% pay increase to star phase? Yeah, I think that's what it is. Something like that. Pay increases on level up? That's totally unrealistic. I know! It's the worst! Does Snow ever have a proper banner guy? Not really. But then again... Eh. <laughs> Is it really the end of the world? Sometimes it is. <sighs> I think I should just make him a banner regardless. Drunk guy who loves business. Love this bro. Yep. Seems like a bad choice. Your math is wrong with him being good hire for the gold he brings in. I know, but it's 200 bucks a fight and 20 bucks a kill. So if I can get him some kills... It's helpful, but it's not like the biggest thing. The fights are the main one. And obviously the barter percent. Yeah, Nimble's not bad, just to keep him alive so we don't lose him. I'm still leaning towards Mind of Our Body somehow. So what do you, 8 defense. I go with health, I go with... No, 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 I don't need to go Mind of Our Body, chat. Wait, 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 wait. Wait a minute. Recover is good enough. I'm going to be trying to do damage for a lot of the fights. I only ever need to rally and inspire in desperate situations. I'm not going to make him a complete banner bro. I'm going to make him a polearm bro. That maybe uses the banner until he gets maybe a better one. We'll see how it goes. The rallies for emergency situations... The inspires when he's too far away from combat to do something or where there's a better bro. And then all I need to do is make him somewhat of a damage dealer. Don't need to really pump the resolve. I pump his attack, I pump his defense in case of emergencies. And then I pump HP because he doesn't have Colossus. And then that's all I really have to worry about. So in order to do damage, I could probably do Executioner. Yeah, Execution is probably the right play here. Backstabber, he doesn't need the Accuracy because his Accuracy is good enough. And he's going to get Gifted. And with pole arms, usually you have a slight bonus in Accuracy at yeah, 10% for the Banner at least. Yeah. So Halberd is good. Yeah, Halberd's good Finlander for sure. But yeah, a quarter is money gets into his daily pocket for salary. I know Apoth, but at least it's better than nothing. It's better than nothing. You hope he dies. <laughs> you're, the, you're so mean to him. He's gonna be worth it, chat. He's gonna be worth it. Just see it. You, you just wait and see. 
You gotta have some hope. Also, sing congrats on the level up. Let's go with the throwing, throwing mastery right now. Fast adaptation. I'll get you your masteries later. Especially since you're rolling freaking twos! Why do you keep rolling twos? I know I gotta spin for the name chat, and then I gotta go to bed. Um, but I'm just trying to make sure I was working on this build to be like, what am I doing with this? Also, I need to save. And double check if dev tools are on. It's at that stage of confusion. Dev tools are off, good. And the combat spin, I know, I know. So we've got a pole with um with skills. So it's a, a polearm build this? with just a I couple skills. Spin? Oh god, it's a necro. And I'm also slightly considering shields up or a push forward on the side, but I'm at 10, so I've got need 11 perks. Uh, I could maybe consider footwork or one of these two. So shields up is useless in comparison to push forward. But then hold the line's pretty good too. 10 melee defense, immune to be knocked back, crowd defense. Oh, immune to being knocked back and grabbed. That's a no brainer. Hold the line's better. Yeah, hold the line. Duelist is useless for polearm. No, 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 this isn't PTR. PTR is duelist. Um, in Legends, duelist doesn't work for two ended weapons. Hold the line's good. This saves you against things like unholds. This saves you against uh, Nox eating you as tier threes. Yeah, hold the line is broken. If you can use it for its clutch situations. So this guy's just going to be clutch, chat. That's all. And orcs. Yeah, I forgot to say orcs. And snakes. Yes. So, yeah. This dude's clutch. Pull with clutch. And he needs a name. So, one of you lucky dudes is going to be our clutch dude. And he's our moneymaker. Yeah. And cavalry. Yes, because cavalry will try and push through your lines. So, hold the line is just gigantic in this mod. You need a dude with hold the line. Testing if the game is rigged with the new bro spin. Ah, uh, it probably is. It probably is. But the 100 bits might swing your favor, you know. I'll, I'll put in some extra numbers as I'm adding in these new names. Beep boop, beep boop, beep boop. Scabbled. Here is the... Here's your new bro. If it was you, I'd, I'd be going through the roof and I'd be totally voiced off of stream. But it's not. It's Pope Salami, so congratulations, man. Welcome to the team. Pope Salami the Clutch. Did I spell that correctly? I did. Welcome to the team, man. I know, Scabbled, I tried, but thank you for the 100 bits, man. It's Lord Pope. Oh, that's right. It is Lord Pope Salami. Does it fit? It does. It does fit Lord Pope Salami. Welcome to the team, man. Happy to have you. I know everybody wants the money-making bro, but he'll be cool. Pull with Clutch is going to be great, and uh, I think that is the full build. Because unfortunately, there used to be... Now, now, hear me out, chat. There used to be an extra perk. Oh, it's right there. How did I miss that? I'm getting tired. I missed it. I have to ditch Executioner. There's the 2% barter. I don't know how I missed that. So there's a 1% barter, a 2% barter, and then there's the one that gives you Paymaster. So you need all three of those to make a good Paymaster, bro. Every other Paymaster-styled perk is, is optional. But those three are musts. I don't know how I missed that. Uh, but hold the line's a must. Pull arm's must. Nimble to stay alive. Inspire and rally the for clutch. Would he be viable with the chain slash knife weapon? Guaranteed kills from insane bleeds and such. Chain slash knife weapon? Oh, that one, Holy Crimson. Oh, that's a good question. I'll have to double check. Okay, so hear me out, chat. We're doing some science. Thanks for the letter of bits, man. Um, let's cheat in some money. Because I don't have any money. Um, here it is. Here's the chain weapon that is really cool, chat. Uh, but you can only tell what the ability is when you hold on to it. That's a melee attack that doesn't do amazing damage unless it really rolls high. And then that's a melee attack with things that ignore... That's the guaranteed headshot. So the comm is really great. But it's not a reach weapon. Which is weird, 
because that you'd expect to be a reach weapon because it's on a chain. But it's not. It's a cleaver flail in melee. Yeah, yeah, that's weird, isn't it? It's a melee weapon. Yeah. No, both are melee. Both are melee attacks. None of them are reach. One of them is a flail attack, one of them is a cleaver attack, and they're both in melee. So it just it just doesn't do anything. Hey, Karen, welcome back to the stream. I cheated in this weapon because I wanted to look at the stats of it. I This is not one weapon we own, sadly. But yes, the reason why this weapon is disgustingly strong is because if you get lucky, this is a gambling weapon chat. This is a, this is you know how we love gambling with flails because flails are gamble weapons. This is the ultimate gamble weapon because obviously its main attack goes from 44 to 132 with the decapitate, and its lash isn't super amazing, but it's a good headshot. But the 15% chance to strong bleed for 250 for two turns is the ultimate gamble with 20% bonus XP, of course. You know that's not nice. But sadly, it's not a reach weapon, which would make this weapon godlike, but it's not, so sad times. Uh, to show you the other weapons, what's the other one I wanted to show you that could work? This one, I don't know, I don't think this is reach. It looks like a reach weapon, but it's a melee cleaver with a split. So, it's not a reach weapon. Which is kind of sad, because I don't think many of these weapons are reach weapons. Oh, there's horses in here, but they're just the fancy ones. The Nodachi is just a fancy sword. It doesn't have anything fancy on it. Uh, the Dragon Slayer is the one that I was really interested in, because this one hits hard. Yeah, that hits hard. 105 to 125 to hit points. 178 to 212 to armor. And then Cull is a 3 sweep. 100 to 200 damage, pretty much. Yeah, that weapon is beautiful. I want it. It's 10 free melee defense as well. So, yeah. Definitely clean on getting that. But other weapons, I'm not super phased by. The, the, oh, the gun I am. And obviously the magic ones are pretty cool. The lance is really good. Especially if you're on a horse. Like, if you're on a horse, you need a lance. If you're not on a horse, you don't need a lance. But, yeah, that's just my opinions on those weapons for the moment. Let's stop stream now, just come back. No, I do have to go to bed, buddy. I do. We're gonna stop soon. Which is very soon. No, Dachi's not reach. No, no, no. No, Dachi's not reach either. No, no, it's just melee. It's weird. There's not many... There's no reach weapons in the game that they've added that I've seen. And Dachi's basically got so many options. Swing, split, repost, gash, and slash. Video ideas. Use weapons that have insanely huge range of damage dealt throughout a playthrough. See how far you can get. That's an idea. Um... I do have other ideas, but I do... That's not a bad one, Stefan. Nadachi should do extra cav damage. Oh, yeah, that should, but it doesn't seem like it would. Cav damage is shield damage, technically. Need to test the wands? I'll show you the wands. Imagine you have the comma broke, charmed, and applying bleed on your avatar. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be pretty scary. Uh, but here's the two... Here's the two stabs, chat. Oh, the Nodachi looks so cool. Look at that. It's even in its sheath, chat. Look at that. It's in its sheath. But here's the staff that has it's the arcane missile, which looks like a gunshot, which is hilarious. Um, it ignores obstacles. It only attacks the select target. So it basically can't miss due to uh, obstacles in the way. So it just doesn't worry about things. So you can shoot backliners. Um, so that's pretty good for giant fights. And it does a lot of damage to armor. It's damage to hit points, not so much. But his damage to armor is insane. Once per turn. So this is just basically your just sniper. Pretty good. Lightning, though, on the other hand. Five times against five random targets. And it can attack them multiple times on the same target. So it seems like it's an AoE. Probably a 2x2x2. Two by two by two that ignores armor like chain lightning. And it can chain lightning to itself. So against low health targets, it's good. Using Fearsome with this build would be disgusting. If you had a Fearsome bro with the Chain Lightning Staff, you could decimate armies and make them rout before you. I don't think this is a high damage staff. It does it hit, uh, it's five times times that, so it's like, what, 50 to 100 and... 
15 damage. And that's quite a bit of a scope. So it's not like it's crazy damage. But I think the fact that it procs so many times can give so many injuries if you use Crippling Strikes because of the injury threshold. This can give so many free injuries and so many free uh, fearsome procs. So that's what the Lightning Strike's built for. And the Arcane Staff is built for just bullowing down people's armors. And sniping the, like, the perfect target. So yeah. Gotta get an Odachi this run because they look cool. They do look cool, I just don't think they're very strong. I mean, they're good just as like a two-handed weapon that attacks twice. But I, I don't really see the Nadachi as like an amazing weapon. But it's good, like if you want to attack twice with a sword, it's like the better long sword, I think. But yeah. Does Spearwall stop calf charges? That's what we need to scientifically find out. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know. So for science chat, before I go to bed, we need some science. Oh, there's no request today. See, look, it's still waiting. How long has it been since we were at the Adventurers Guild chat? It's not What's 24 hours. I missed? I missed a spin. Oh, because we just oh, we just fought. Oh god, it. it's a necro. I'm insane. No, just ignore me, chat. We already fought it. That's how we got the dude. Oh, ignore me. I was like, wait a minute, it's been so long since we came here. Yeah, it has been, but we just fought it. Oh, can we try out the gun? Oh yeah, I didn't show you guys the gun. The guns are really good. I'll show you the horses as well. Why not? Uh, the horse is a shield. It just allows you to walk around the battlefield really easy with 10 extra defense. But uh, that's it. It has... Nothing else. The gun, though... Hits hard. So you remember Q match locks when it was when it was Q match locks? That's basically what it is. Uh, it says when you hit the head, it's seventy-seven piercing damage, which sounds pretty disgusting. So it sounds like if you hit somebody in the head, it does a lot. I'm not sure if it just all goes through armor, but it sounds like it does. Uh, but this sounds like just Q's match locks weapon, maybe slightly buffed. So it's really nice. Musketeer run, yeah. A musketeer run with this would be great, but the problem is the musketeers cost so much. 6.5 grand per Hextech rifle. Like, you'd have to starve at these weapons to make it, like, a Musketeer run, because it would take so long to earn the money just for one of them. So long. Also, the guitars kind of suck. Mm. There's my money. More money, chat. More money. The guitars aren't really lust lustered in any way that I'm interested in. You can attack once per turn to do 40 to 50 damage. And if you hit the Ted, you pierce a bit. And it's very cheap attacks. Or you can swing across three people and do really good damage. But it costs like 30 fatigue. So the one attack, which attacks twice... Oh, it attacks twice! Never mind. That's actually not too bad then. I read it wrong. It attacks twice. Oh, they're actually not bad weapons. You'd have to make sure... Oh, I mean, the AoE's pretty good, so you'd want to... You'd want to reduce the fatigue cost. So if you had a mind over body build... Or just rebound, maybe? No, you couldn't get it to rebound, could you? Science, chat, science. That's a two-handed sword. Damn it. Do we have two-handed swords on any of our bros? Yes, we do. Okay, let's do it like this. It goes down to 23. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Medium armor plus 23. You could do it. Yeah, you could do this. That's viable. If you went Rebound, or even with Iron Lungs. She can do it right now with Iron Lungs. That's ridiculous. But she doesn't have Rebound. So Iron Lungs with Rebound, or uh, Medium Armor with Rebound. 
Oh, actually, no, maybe not medium armor. Medium armor is not strong enough. Is it strong enough? Yeah, no, 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 it's strong enough. No, 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 I trust medium armor. So, that's pretty good. Fisticuffs? Oh, we showed the fisticuffs when we went into the shop earlier. They just train your, um, fatigue. So it's like how the shuriken trains your ranged attack, bamboo trains your melee skill, fists train your fatigue. That's the only difference. It's not actually super powerful. It's very interesting with the 20 to 90 damage because of the extra level damage, but it's normally like 10 to 80. So it's a punchy boy weapon. It's all right. It's nothing fancy. Uh, Shadow Swinger, thank you very much for the follow. Much, or Shadow's Winger. It's probably Shadow Swinger, maybe. Uh, thank you very much for the follow. Much appreciated. Welcome to the stream, man. Hope you're enjoying. Just finishing up, checking up some weapons before we finish up tonight. Enjoying all that. Hey, King Walter, welcome as well. Uh, and yeah, okay, so maybe the Katar... I, I looked at the Katar Dangers wrong because I didn't read that they attacked twice. Little small text there. But you know what? They're actually pretty good. Huh. I'm still not in love with the Nadachi too much, and I'm still not in love with the Rune Glaive too much. The Meteor Hammer is a weird bola that is interesting. Minus 10 melee defense and range defense on the enemy. It doesn't seem like it's worth that much just to attack once with this weapon. And ignores the bonus of melee defense granted by shields. Like, this seems to be like the anti-tank weapon. But when you're using throwing weapons, you kind of don't care about people's shields anyways. Because your accuracy is so high. And when um, Amazon Mommy over there, when she's using Meteor Spear, it 100% hits people with shields. According to my memory. So it's not like it even matters that you're trying to ignore shields. So this this is weapon really confuses me. And it also costs 20 fatigue. Welcome to the Himalayas! Which is expensive. Stockholm? <laughs> no, 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 don't worry. It's lemon. Primark... Primark Pe Pepe, thank you very much for the follow, the sub, and the inflation, of course. Welcome to the stream, man. Thank you so much for the support. Glad you're enjoying. Uh, but yeah, no, this meteor whip confuses me, and I don't see a use for it. Except the fact that it doesn't use ammunition. That's maybe the only good thing that I really love about it. It doesn't use ammunition. Infinite uses for throwing weapons. But, it does it count as a whip, a flail, or a throwing weapon? Because it has the flail attack. It says it's a whip, but it's an unknown weapon. And it says it's a flail, mace, or a hammer mastery to give it 10% chance to hit the head. It's These unknown weapons in this game mode, in this game mod, is cool, but they're very confusing. <laughs> oh, good, never catch streams and just see you about to end now. Yeah, sorry, we are finishing up, my man. But thought you'd drop the sub for other hours of content. No worries. I do appreciate the sub with Prime. Definitely appreciate it. And glad you're able to support the channel. And glad you're enjoying all the content, too. Like, I've got a bunch of content, and it's lovely to hear that people are falling asleep to it, or enjoying the playthroughs, or learning from it, and whatever works. I'm happy to hear it. But yeah, you're saying it's a whip, and it's... It just looks like bolas to me. Yeah, it just looks like a bolo. But it also says it's a whip, but uh, it's confusing. Uh, so sadly, it doesn't seem like it's a throwing weapon much. But infinite uses is nice. Oh, and here's the weapon that I was really disappointed in the most. The left-handed sword. This is a parry dagger. But it's weird. I really don't like it. This is the weapon that confused me the most, chat. What is this mod? Oh, this is Fantasy Fantasy Bros. <laughs> if you think Legends is confusing, Fantasy Bros goes a bit above and beyond um, with all the extra fantasy that it adds in. It tries to go to the more magical side of fantasy and the more all sorts of weapons and horses and stuff, which is really cool. But yeah, gun, berserk swords, and punch daggers. I know, it's, it's weird, but it's fun. 
and we're exploring it together. Um, and I'm only in the dev tool mode at the moment because I, I don't have the money to buy all these things to show chat. But we did just recently buy a new bro that's going to earn us some money, so I'm happy about that. This dude, like, makes money every time we win a battle. He costs, like, 50 bucks a day at the moment, but he will get more expensive. But earning 200 bucks a battle is going to be nice. So back to what I was saying was the left-handed sword. It says it's 100% effective against armor. It gives you 15% bonus melee damage, 5 defense, and gives you the special skill of attacking with both weapons. But hear me out. No, the bro wasn't a rip-off Apoth. You, you're a non-believer. Non-believer. Shun the non-believer. <laughs> okay, so the slash here on a normal attack is 46 to 51. Dual attack uses both weapons... Oh, okay, maybe I wasn't... No, I was reading it right, but it's confusing. So maybe this attacks twice for 46 and 51. Because that's not what it's saying. No, that can't be right. 36... No, that can't be right. Because that confuses... Okay, so second adventure, hear me out. This confuses me. Because this weapon has no weapon value, other than its effectiveness against armor. And... Attacks twice what's confused. It attacks twice, but it says with the left and the right weapons. But the left and the right weapons have different values. This weapon has 80% 80 80 effect against armor, and it has 40 to 45 damage. This weapon has no damage on it. No damage values. And it has 100% effect against armor, which means you're shooting with two numbers at once, right? Or is it just twice attack? Is that all of it? It just uses the left weapon twice. It's just tricking me with the words, and it's probably just le left weapon twice. It's probably that. The other skill is repose, the other skill is slash. Yeah, it's probably just attacks twice and on the left hand, and it's just trying to be flavorsome. It's probably flavor text second. I, I think you're right. It's based off the main value of the main weapon, so therefore it's... It's just attacking with the main weapon twice, and it's just tricking me because it tries to be flavorsome. Which, I, I like it when it's a bit more straight when it says what it is. So that's what tricked me the first time. I was like, this is garbage because it's using the right weapon when the right weapon has no weapon, but it's fine. I understand now. It's just attacking twice with the main weapon. Yeah, darn flavor text tricking you up. But yeah, so attacking twice with the main weapon is pretty good because it uses one extra action point and five less fatigue. But then, hear me out, chat. Minus five percent chance to hit and ten plus percent chance to hit, so you're shooting yourself in the foot. I still don't like this weapon. I still don't like it. Because it's it's not good. Okay. Minus five plus ten. Where's my mouse? There's my mouse. Also, if I don't use this weapon, the damage is 50 to 56. 40 to 45 to hit the armor. 45 to 51. 36 to 41. Because double grip gives you 25% damage. This gives you 15% damage. It just, it doesn't seem worth it. I can't wear two of these at the same time because this is an offhand. I don't know, I'm just going to be honest and say that this weapon doesn't seem very lustery for me. If you're the double hit main weapon four times attack. Uh, what if I hit it with like a, a like a dagger? It's, daggers hit four action points, five action points. What if I have like a... No, is there anything that reduces the cost of... What, the daggers have a reduce, don't they? Yeah, let's see if it works with daggers. If that goes to a 3, let's go to a 4, it stays at 5. It stays at 5, that's kind of annoying. So you can't even cheat with daggers, where you go like 4 and then plus another 3 is 7. But 5 plus 3 is 8, so you can still kind of cheat with it. Because then you're hitting 2 daggers plus a 3rd dagger... Even though you can normally hit three daggers for a little bit less accuracy. I guess it's alright for daggers, but nothing else. 
What did the Dragon Slayer sword? Must have missed that one. The Dragon Slayer sword. Which one's the Dragon Slayer? The Rune Glaive or the Nodachi? Oh, you mean the Dragon Slayer. Oh, that one. Yeah, that one's really good. One Head Weapons could be OP. It could be. I just don't think it's as good. Because it's got the minus accuracy hit chance. It only saves you some fatigue. And it allows you to Was walk forward two I tiles. I missed a spin. Oh, God, it's a Necro. So I can understand why it gives you the duel. Wolfang, thanks for the five gifted. Much appreciated to the community and to me. And to the people who involved. Which is Jormundly, congratulations. Uh, Somna82. Lycopo... Lycopodded Tootie. Interesting. I hope I said that right. Said that right. Uh, Carmi Coffee 97 and uh, Potatoes Tree. Congratulations to all your gifted and thank you, Wolfang, for the support. Much appreciated, man. You throw a double shuriken with half accuracy and you thought it's worth you complaining this. Night Angel, Night Angel. That's different. It's different. Hear me out. Hear me out. The reason why the shuriken's different is because it's the same action point cost. Its accuracy is lower, so from 30% with minus 10 per tile to 5% minus 10 per tile, the accuracy is most definitely lower, but it's the same action point cost. So instead of shooting two shurikens per turn with four action points, going one attack, two attack, I can do four shurikens per turn by going two attack, two attack. And I can gamble more, and on a very high attack bro, this does even out to be useful. Whereas this does not seem as useful because it's a three attack, no, no, not three attack, let's go back to the four attack. Four attack times two is eight. Which means you need to stand still to a attack twice. Yes. With the bonus 10% chance to hit. With five action points to hit twice, I can move two tiles and then attack twice, which seems to be the selling point of this build. You can still attack three times. Night Angel, you're right, my math's off. Because five plus four is nine. Oh, I forgot about Thought about that simple arithmetic. Five plus four is nine. You can attack three times if you stand still. You can attack two times if you move two tiles and move forward to chase enemies. Okay, it's good. I was looking at it action economy from attack to attack basis. I wasn't looking at it as a whole. It's not amazing. No, it's not. I'm not going to say this is amazing. But it's it's better than I initially thought about it. So it's it's good. But it's not, like, amazing compared to things like the Buster Sword. Compared to the Flintlock. Compared to things like the Magic Weapons. Maybe even the Nadachi's better? Eh, maybe the Nadachi's better than the one-handed plus the offhand. Where did I put the offhand? I'm going blind. It's up here. But if I can get three times by standing still is not too bad. 2 plus 2 plus 10% to get in 2 moves, plus 2, yeah. On a very high accuracy, bro, you don't have to worry about the accuracy problem. And you can save fatigue if you walk 2 tiles and hit with the 2. Or if you stand still, you can spend 25 fatigue to hit 3. It's expensive, and I like a lot of options better. So I will never use this weapon, because it's not selling me the way I want it to be used. It doesn't seem like it's worth it. Unless you're doing things like Overwhelm, but then if you're spending that much kind of fatigue, you can't afford it. Unless you re unless recover. Three times for Overwhelm, this sounds okay. Three times for Fast Adaptation sounds okay. Faint, three times. I'm selling myself on it a little bit more every time I figure this out. It's not bad. It's not amazing. It's not bad. Hmm. I need one AP of sitting still. Yeah. I 
Buster Sword's accuracy is capped at 55, so really painful. Oh, with the Buster Sword. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Its accuracy is capped at 80%. But technically 55, but yeah, the Buster Sword's accuracy sucks. I forgot about that. I forgot to mention that statement, but it's really good for damage. Um, but you can cap it up to 80% because of Weapon Mastery effects. I don't know which ones it's going to do. Wait for NA for Ray and the other shenanigans. More than one stream up. Oh, for the Tuesday stream. Yes, yes, the Tuesday stream is going to be for the NA time zone. Well, I watched Cocaine Shark the movie. Wait, what was Cocaine Shark the movie? I'm assuming that's a reference. Unless it's a real... It's a real movie. What? I've heard of Sharknado. Bear goes on coked out killing spree in this insane first trailer for Cocaine Bear. What? What? I'm so confused. Cocaine bear need What? What is this chat? What are you guys sending me? What is this? What am I going on? Is this a fever dream or something? What is this? That's a hammerhead crab. Is this... Is this actually a movie? I'm so confused. I've heard about Sharknado, and that was hilarious to hear about. I haven't watched it. I'm so confused. It's a real... It's a real... Yeah, right. It's a real-life story of this sort of image. B-movie material. I... I don't know, chat. You guys watch some weird things. It, lots of meme movies, for sure. It's probably made on well cocaine. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of movies out there like that that are just made on cocaine, for sure. But the Guts Weapon? Yeah, the, gut, the Guts Weapon's cool. Oh, I think Slingers are good for an Inquisition run. Started with Witch Hunter. Yeah, Slingers are good for Inquisition, for sure. For sure. Uh, per Mastery is 5, so you need 5 Mastery, 5 perk points. Really? 5 perk points to fix that? Hmm... Yeah, you might be right. And it's not PTR, so you can't just cheat and use a uh, Weapon Master. Five Weapon Masteries just to make this weapon good. I mean, it sounds worth it. But that's a lot of perks. B is better than F. That is technically true. The bear didn't know it. Don't know how the bear used drugs, but it did. I mean, I'm sure bears can get drugged up by human trainers or whatever. But yeah. How many spins are you up to? Wait, how many spins did I miss? The Saren 92 one and the Shardor one, I think, are the only two that I missed. Did I miss Budgies? And Captain 40. Wait, did I miss four? Holy crap, you guys have gotten me talking too long. I need to get to bed. Fine, four spins, and then we finish up. Oh, goodness me, how did I do that? Let's go back to the save. <laughs> Moose can get drunk by eating apples. Oh yeah, they can eat um, fermented things. Okay, right, so this is back to what our team normally looks like, chat. We did have a bit too much fun with those spawn-in stuff. Five spins because you take too, too many long. Too long, chat, too long. But you guys needed to know, you needed to see all the cool things. And then distract me with shark movies. Somehow. Uh, positive trait. Okay, so who's this? This is for Captain 40. What are you giving a positive trait to? We have plenty of new guys. Well, the new guy is Lord Pope Salami. But we also have uh, Mr. Nykrix, our Carry Wildman, and our lovely Druid. We've got all sorts of options. It's for the Lord. Okay, sounds good. We get a positive trait for our Lord who is drunk, paranoid. Dev tools. And he's bloodthirsty! Let's go. That is gonna be nice. Fatalities are good to see, chat. So, let's go and spin again for... Whose turn is it? It is... Budgie. We spin. I save. So we make sure the progress doesn't get lost. Uh, that's a heal. We don't need it. So we spin again. 
Our Lord and Money Maker. Yes, we need the money. We desperately do. Random events. Okay. Now with the Lord at our side. He's drunk. Can I whip him? He just joined a mercenary company. He's happy. Yes! We fixed it! As much as I want to give him damage increase, chat. Um, I do care about his melee skill because it, he needs it. So he is no longer a drunk. He's not going to lose any random fancy items that we have in our inventory. Is there a spin that I missed? I missed a spin. The Lord cannot oh, be a bad God, influence. Oh, God, it's a necro. That was a very good event. Thank you, Budgie. Uh, we now need to do another event, of course, because got to have a couple of those. Uh, sort it out yourselves. Punch each other for the problems, Snow and Lord Pope. You hurt each other with injuries. Okay, good job. Are you upset? You are sad because you hurt yourself. You got flogged. Never mind. You both have injuries. You're fine. You'll survive. And how much of drug dealers airdrop the drugs into a forest for guys to pick it up? The bear found it. Duffelbag first ate some of the drugs on a rampage for about an hour before Odorous and died. But then what's that got to do with sharks? Is it just reimagined as a shark as a movie? But I did hear about something like that, little thing. Uh, Falls here get pooped on, but then we don't shoot it down because apparently Sling... Sing, who's a throw build, who's literally holding a sling, can't shoot down a bird. Okay. Great events. At least we got rid of the drunkard, so that's nice. Don't know the shark's part. Yeah, see, the shark part confuses me as to why they made a movie about the cocaine shark. It's the second installment of the movie. Oh, that's where I missed it, Digrin. It's the second in the series. Oh... That kind of makes sense, but then it also still makes sad noises. Uh, Saren92, we have a positive trait. Sorry for being delayed on the spin, but if you're still hanging around, do let me know who you want to buff. In the team that we have a nice positive trait across someone. For the Lord! Okay, good stuff, my man, good stuff. Bloodthirsty, paranoid... No longer drunk, so he's going to be happy about this one shot. He's bright. Oh, that gets him up to speed quickly. That plus student, 30% um, information overload is what we want to see. Perfect. Love to see it. Thank you, my man. Uh, what do we got? Shardor is next. Spinorama. It's yellow. Oh, Congratulations. We've had the luck today, and we've needed it. It's been perfect. Baby sh Oh, you know, you can time him out for two minutes, Dre's this, or one, or one or five minutes, whatever the option is. Time him out for a minute. Punish him for saying baby cocaine shark. Like, sheesh. He needs to learn. 60 seconds, there you go. <laughs> you deserve it, Tiger. You know you deserve it. <laughs> Oh, dear. Shardor, did you let me know what you wanted to get for the famed item? I don't know if I missed your message. No, I didn't. Okay. Hey, Akai Kenshi, welcome to the stream, man. Uh, just as planned, he bought it. Shardor's here anymore, he just bought it? Oh, okay, Shardor might have ditched, which is A-OK. -okay. He probably just came and bought it. No, no, it says he's... According to me, it says he's still here, but it might be eight. Oh, chest, chest, okay, welcome. Welcome to the team with a chest armor. Uh, dev tool. Ooh. Heavy plate, 23 for 213. Or another cherished swatter. I like the cherished swatter. Because 9.3 armor per one fatigue is really inefficient. And we don't really have heavy armor bros at the moment. Whereas 13 armor per one fatigue is more efficient. Do you guys like that efficiency thing? I like the efficiency thing. That's a brand new thing that Abyss Crane was telling me about that one of his modders... I forgot the name, so I'm not able to shout him out correctly. But there was a modder that's worked on this, and he's very nice. And it's very good to see that he's added some nice mathematical things. Efficiency's lame? Excuse you, Finlander. Efficiency's great. <laughs> Chairs can be used on medium bros, and if you want to look at our bros chat... We have light, medium, medium, light, 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 
light. So there's no reason for us to go for the heavy plate armor. There's just no reason. It's not going to help any of our bros, which is kind of sad. So we're going to go with the Cherished Swatter. Thank you very much, Shardor. Much appreciated. And for the person who needs it, I think I'm going to give it to Fall Zero. He's going to be our dodge tank with this beautiful thing around his chest. And he's going to still be dodge at 13 with this heavy piece, which is not really heavy. So, nicely done. For the Light of Lordaeron, exactly. He didn't learn, Dre's this. He didn't learn. Send him out for another minute. He will learn. It's through water torture, you know? Every small mouth, small bits. The water torture will work. <laughs> Uh, that's a red. Thank you very much for Captain Forty for the spin. Uh, is there a red I can get rid of at the moment? There's a Fear of Nobles, which Lush can, can get rid of. There is... Oh, the Craven on Snow! Actually, I need to get rid of that. I'll take it. I'll take it. There you go, Dre's this. Thank you for the nice time out there. So, Captain Forty, well, let's get rid of this, uh, horrible Craven that our lovely Druid has. And now he's only scared of the dark, which is okay. We'll live with it. That is your bonus. That's your second spin. I want a bonus spin for everything that you have done, but I because I missed all your spins. You guys are really trying to bribe me today, aren't you? I stand with Digris as Holy Crimson. <laughs> oh, you're horrible. Fine, I'll remit, do some repra... Uh, what, what do you call them? I'll reciprocate a nice... Spin just to spoil chat for a nice positive trait. Okay, chat, we get a positive trait. Just to buff the party to make you feel better. And you know what? We'll give it to Nykrix, because, you know, you guys are going to buff him anyways. The dictatorship stands, but the dictatorship can be generous. And Nykrix, with the unpredictable Spartan, is now seductive. There, you feel happy, chat? You have a seductive wild man in the party who somehow walked his way in here and is carrying us with a beautiful bardiche. Just, you know, magically it's happened. It's perfect. It's poetic. It's all you could ever want. The person who pays the bills, the person who creates all the trees and the dogs, the person that keeps throwing things at people just because they're upset, the person that keeps stabbing people to try and make them tank here, the person that tries to help as an off-tank and, you know, somewhat contribute to the defensive capabilities of the front line and, you know, smack them with a hammer. And then the person who's trying to learn how to be a better, you know, Spanish Inquisition person with the spear. That's the party at the moment, chat, and I'm loving it. We are going to have to try and earn more money next week. As you can tell, our money situation may or may not be in its best form. But we did earn a lot to get there, so I think next week we can power through a lot of money making because of our brand new pickup. So watch that money and see it rise next week so we can try and buy even more bros. I'm really keen on getting like a wizard. I've got to get another like Amazon mommy because I love these throwing weapons. And they're pretty cheap, like 38 compared to like 47 compared to like 82. These demon dudes are expensive. Uh, and then there's like flame dudes. There's so many awesome bros to get. Catch us on next week on DBZ. Yes, to be continued. <laughs> Is the mod posted in Discord? Yes, I got the mod list. I got the mod. Everything's posted in Discord for you. I did that during the stream because people were asking a bit. And I was like, you know what? I'll do it just in case you guys, in case I forget. Because I'm going to bed. Right now, Lubu should be OP. Lubu, as the, the lore dictates, should be OP. So Lubu himself will be OP, but the character background, I'm not really sold on their fancy abilities. I like the abilities of other backgrounds better. My muscle mommy and cooking sharks have been oppressed long enough, says holy crap. <laughs> nice, nice. How oh, is your tolerance for failure and death? Yeah, exactly. That's the thing. That's the thing. How long should you play till you're ready for legends, says Akai Kenshi? Oh, um... Yeah, we do recommend doing vanilla. At least one playthrough. So I'm glad the chat's guiding you well through the way that I've guided them. 
and the way that I always sell to people, just at least a one playthrough in vanilla. Try and get used to that playthrough style. And then the stuff you learn in vanilla can be pushed through into the modding scene. But I don't like telling people to just jump into mods right away. It's not really worth it. I recommend say, playing vanilla first. A single playthrough at least. I do say that. At least a single playthrough. Because some people are like, I really want to jump into modding. And I'm like, yeah, go for it if you want. But try and play some vanilla. I cringe when you mispronounce Lu Boo. Lee Boo? Or Lee Lu Lu Boo? I don't know how to pronounce Lu Boo, Stefan. How do you pronounce Lu Boo? I thought it was Lu Boo. Go to Google. Oh, you're gonna be so lazy not to correct me correctly. You're gonna make me do Google. Pronounce Lu Boo. Mandarin pronunciation of Dynasty War. No. no just tell me how to pronounce Lu Boo. Lu Boo. Lu Boo. Lu Boo. Lu Boo. I'm just being. It's, it's similar. Lu Boo. Lu Boo. I just put more Lu. emphasis on the U's. Lu Boo. That's close enough. I like doing the hard U's. Lubu. It just sounds... I don't know, it sounds It sounds like I'm saying it wrong. Look at the Discord. What did I put... What's in the Discord to raise this? What did I miss? Steam suggestions. Is there a spin that I missed? Someone I missed asked a spin. longer runs. You know how oh, you God, runs. it's a necro. Yeah, yeah, Holy Crimson's got a good idea. But what did I miss in Dre's this? What did, what did I miss Dre's this? When's Snowman streaming, bro, right now? Yay, yeah, 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 it's no streaming right now, done. Oh, the baby shark cocaine, that one. I'm not playing that. You want me to play that on stream? Stupid. <laughs> That's all you're getting. <laughs> nope. That's horrible. <laughs> Just somebody singing it like they were on cocaine. So I'm good. I'm good, chat. It's just the tired happy. That's all it is. We also have to do. Oh, did you just spin Wolfang? Yeah, I gotta stop. I gotta turn off the spins or else I'm never gonna go to sleep. But I will do your spin for you, of course. Okay, where are we? Ah, oh, level up. Nice one. Nice one. Man eater stream when? Meme stream when? I know. There's so many streams we gotta do, chat. Still don't know man eater. I'm assuming you wanna see sharks. Too many sharks. Got a bit of ooze to it sound, like loo boo. So just ooh. Just hold the O's. Lil Feng says, you know who. I'm assuming the Lord, because everyone's buffing the Lord at the moment. He only is level one. It's gonna make him more expensive. But I mean if he gets student early, maybe it makes a big difference. But I think everyone's buffing Nykrix, but he's so close to a level. I think in Snow or Lord is probably the better persons to level up. Fall Zero still is a level that I haven't done yet. I'm going to do it later. And then Sing is the furthest away from a level. But I think maybe Lord. Lord, we don't care about him anymore. <laughs> oh, you don't care about Nykrix anymore? You guys have given up on Nykrix and you're caring about the Lord. Fine, do Snow. Okay, yeah, Snow is a pretty good play, because then we can start getting Insect Swarm when we start breaking the game and now we're way too overpowered. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. I like your thinking. So, yeah, GG, we win. It's game over. We have Insect Swarm, the game is ours, no one can hold a torch to us, and now we just win. The most broken ability in the game. 
And it's even fatigue neutral, which is the weirdest thing. That swarm insects is fatigue neutral, because I keep forgetting it is. It's just too good. I know it's only single target, but I mean... If this was AoE, no one would play this game in any other way whenever having access to Druid. Um, but yeah, it's crazy. So let's go to bed an hour ago. I know, I know. I'm going to bed now, though. We finally finished all the spins that I had to catch up with. Showed all the stats and the weapons and stuff that I had to show. Just to make sure you guys knew all the cool things that were happening. Saw all the little meme things that I had to do. And uh, yeah, the Insect Swarm is amazing. It's perfect. What's, what's scrolls? Wait, what scrolls was I meant to have a look at? Drazus, what did I miss? No, I showed the scrolls. Oh, but I never equipped them and stuff. That's for future us to figure out. We'll figure it out later. I think I know some of these abilities. Like, hide is camouflage, demonize is the one that I think you scream at people. Uh, boulder throw seems like a boulder throw. Forced march. That seems like a movement thing. No enemies nearby move with one one tile without AP. Body check is caster's mass HP. You can just body slam them. Uh, mana force is something that all casters get to give you a little bit of extra damage and skill. No, it's just extra skill. According to your resolve. So having extra resolve is good. So I can put that on, like, the druid. If... Uh, he probably won't. I probably won't do that. Uh, and then throw dirt is the same thing as sand throw and... Yeah, there's, there's all sorts of cool stuff. But not all of them seem super usable. They seem very niche. Lu, Bu. Lo and Lu are slightly different. Lo, Lu. Lu, Bu instead of Lu, Bu. Symbol doesn't exist in English as far as I know. Lu, Bu. Lu, Bu. That does sound about right, Steph, and it does seem like it's just a different symbol. Because whenever you add, like, the dots on top, it just, it changes it the way that the English... Lee-boo. No, it's not Lee-boo. <laughs> That's very different. <laughs> Everything will be 20% still be good. Is this second adventure? Oh, yeah, with the, the insect swarm? Yeah, if it was just 20%, that'd still be crazy. The fact that it's 50%, it can shut down anyone. This is why I hate goblin shamans. Because if the goblin shaman just wants to target you down, and is the AI has, like, a choice... Whether to do vines or insect swarm, and it chooses insects, then you're screwed. Vines are painful enough, but insects is painful. It's like Lu Bu, Li Lu Bu, but you sound the like Li Lu Li Bu. Okay, you're. I'm making it harder than it has to be, and I'm also not good at this. But I do need to sleep. <laughs> so we'll finish saving up. I'll send you guys out on a raid. Get you guys some spin, uh, some snowballs, not some spins. Oh my goodness. Oh, what do you guys do to me? What does sleep do to me? I don't know what everything does to me. But 3 a.m. Justin. 3 a.m. Snow. 3 a.m. Time for the Day. 3 a.m. Lubu. 3 a.m. Deiter Lon Von Trotha. Adrian Dietrich Lothar Von Trotha. No, I'm not going to say it. I'm going to say it wrong. Oh, 3 a.m. Zoro. 3 a.m. Everything going on. Kitty cats are cute, though. They do make me sleepy. <sighs> Come on. Adrian Dietrich Lothar von Trotha. Lothar von Trotha. Trotha? Fudge. Asin cow dunkuna. Stop distracting me, chat. I need to go and do a raid. <laughs> Stop it. You guys are the worst, and you know it. Uh... S R. Did I spell that correctly? Yes, kitties. I'll be in bed in a minute. I'm going to bed. It's gonna happen. I'm sending my chat on a raid. They're gonna get nice snowballs. And I'm gonna get to some sleep. You guys are great. And yes, I do love you guys. Regardless. And, um... Yeah, I'll see you guys soon. I'll see you on Tuesday if you guys are able to make it. We're doing some more nice legends to enjoy the new changes. Try and work around them, see how they go. Provide feedback and enjoy a run with the peasants, because obviously the peasants are the best. And uh, you guys have a good week if, regardless. 
Yes. Regardless just means making sure you guys are having fun. Sorry, I have a snow. GF snow. <laughs> just because I love you guys doesn't mean having a GF is going to make a difference. <clears throat> but have a good week ahead. Thanks for hanging out and all the lovely generosity. And, uh... Yeah. I need some sleep. See you guys. No, 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 you didn't anger the cats. The cats just want me to sleep. That's all it is. Okay, good night. Bye.